अपील है कि हमें मस्जिद बना के दी जाए बुज़ुर्ग अपनी नमाज अदा कर सकें और ये छोटे छोटे बच्चे तालीम से मरूम हैं ये अपनी तालीम जारी कर सकें ऐसे चटाई बा के ऐसे नमाजा पढ़ने आए बच्चे भी आसान है ऐसे तरह सबक पढ़ने चटाई बा के बादशाह बिगड़ी होती है तो वो रह कहती है उनको सबक राधा दे मारा था लेकिन हमारा वो सहल नहीं था हमारे जो बूढ़े टूर नहीं सकते वो थे घरों में नमाज अदा करते हैं जो चल के वो सिटाई तक पहुँचे थे तो हमारे साथ जुमात में भी शामिल हो जाते हैं बहुत गरीब लोग हैं और जल्जले के मुतासरीन मारे हुए हैं यहाँ पे आए वो अपना खर्चात ही नहीं पूरा कर सकते हैं ये मस्जिद कहाँ से बनाएंगे अभी भी जिधर मकान जिसका बना हुआ है उसके ऊपर छत नहीं डाली हुई किसी ने तरपाल लगाई हुई है किसी ने चादर डाली हुई है अगर वो अपनी रिहाइश नहीं कर सकते तो मस्जिद के दर से बना देंगे कोशिश बहुत करते हैं लेकिन वसाइल नहीं जगह जो हमारे बुजुर्ग थे इधर आए थे उनकी यही ख्वाहिश थी कि हम इधर एक मस्जिद बना लें तो उनकी ख्वाहिश तो वो दूरी रहेगी वो तो दुनिया से चले गए मगर हमारे पास भी इतने वसाइल नहीं कि हम चंदा भी कर लें तो फिर भी हम जो है कि मस्जिद की नहीं काम कर सकते पानी की बहुत ज़्यादा मुश्किल है पीने का पानी भी बहुत ज़्यादा दूर से लाते हैं वो चश्मे है छोटा सा लेकिन वज़ू के लिए यह कट्ठा जा रहा है लेकिन शक तो है कि पानी गंदा है या साफ वज़ू बना लेते हैं लेकिन पीने का कोई इंतज़ाम नहीं गल बच्चे बन गई इस बे बच्चे नमाज पढ़ सो अस बटेरे भी पढ़ सा पानिया का भी अल्लाह इंतजाम कर सी हमारा मस्जिद के लिए इतना दिल खुश होता है कि हमारे बच्चे भी तालीम सीख सें हमारे बूढ़े भी नमाज तो पहुँचे मस्जिद करीब हो तो हम खुद भी मस्जिद करीब हो कि नमाजी बन जाएंगे कि ये गुमांड में हमारी एजान हो गई है जब एजान हुए कि हम सब कम छोड़कर अपनी मस्जिद में हाजिर हो गए बुजुर्गों को बहुत ज़्यादा मुश्किल है दूर दराज मस्जिदें और कच्ची आबादी है तो हमारे बुज़ुर्ग जब दूर दराज जाते हैं पाँच किलोमीटर जाके वो जाते हैं जमात के लिए वो जमात को पहुँच नहीं सकते जो बंदा हमको मस्जिद बना के देंगे हम उसके लिए दुआ करेंगे और अल्लाह से रो रो कर मांगेंगे अल्लाह पाक उसको और ज़्यादा मस्जिद बनाने की तफीक दे मस्जिद जी है बहुत जरूरत है नफरी भी ज्यादा है बच्चे भी ज्यादा है लोग भी ज्यादा है रमजान और मस्जिद बन गए थे तो मस्जिद भी तो तरामिया थे खुश हो के पढ़ सू मतलब है सर की खा के जुले मस्जिद अपना कुरान पढ़े तो उसको तकलीफ नहीं हुई बाहर मैदान है बिछा ये तो मस्जिद भी ये तकरीबन साठ सत्तर घर बने हुए इधर तो इनके लिए हमारे पानी की भी अच्छी जरूरत है और जो जो मेन मस्जिद है वो मस्जिद हमारी अगर हमें मस्जिद को मिल जाए सी कोई बंदा हो जो अल्लाह का नेक बंदा हो हमें मस्जिद बना दे तो उसकी दुनिया भी आखिरत के लिए बच्चे भी दुआ करेंगे और जो तो नमाज पढ़ेंगे उनके लिए भी वो दुआ होगी सदका जारी रहेगा हमारी अलखैर फाउंडेशन आगे यही दरख्वास है कि हमें मस्जिद बना के दी जाए अगर मस्जिद बन जाए तो वो अल्लाह आगे भी दुआ करेंगे और जो बना के दे दें हमें उसको भी दुआ देंगे कि याला इसको और मस्जिद बनाने की तफीक दे ये आस्क एस टू शो द रियलिटी वी शो डू द रियलिटी विद माय फोन आई कैन शो यू एवरीथिंग दिस माय कंट्री दोन दिस माय फैमिली आई डिड दिस फॉर गाजा टू शो द वर्ल्ड विदाउट एनी फिल्टर्स विदाउट एनी लाइज But it's all worthless. All useless. Nothing changed. My life in Gaza before the war was full of limitations and full of depression. I didn't have a plan. 
maybe for my life, but I kept dreaming about things that I want to have, I want to get, I want to reach. I found my passion when I was like 16 years old. I was creating my freedom with my hands and photography. I feel like I'm, I'm doing something, something that healed me from inside. I always dreamed to be a traveler photographer. I wish I reached people with my beautiful pictures of Gaza, not with our suffering. I didn't want to be a war photojournalist, but you don't have the option, you don't have the freedom to choose. I'm a Palestinian living in Gaza Strip, so I, I can't ignore or turn my back. At the beginning of the war, I, uh, I started to film and run in the streets. I was using my basic language, my basic English, my damaged camera body, my lens. The challenges of covering a war. For me, I'm, I'm from there, so it's different. It's like a double pressure on me. It's happening to my people, to my friends, to my family. Tourists were like the most targeted people. <laughs> Trying to cover and at the same time trying to survive. I saw it, I was, uh, I was gonna die. Because they opened fire on me. I got some threats. Who are you? Uh, I'm nobody. For Gazan, it's known that no color ID, it's the IDF. Can you maybe condemning Hamas so this can all end. I've reached millions of people in a few days in the war and I think maybe this protected me. Many journalists lost their lives. I lost 18 family members. I lost more than 12 close friends. Hatim is a paramedic. I lost Salah and Khalid, they are twins. I lost Mahmoud, I lost Ali. <laughs> I lost my neighbors also. I lost Muhammad, my neighbor. And he was a young guy, full of passion. And uh, they struck his house, full of immigrants, people who came from Gaza. So of people who evacuated Gaza. Don't forget also about the journalists I lost, the friends. So, uh, yeah, we lost a lot. So I was filming this and showing the world and no one stopped it, so... Why should I keep filming? For whom? So, this is the last time you will see me with this heavy, stinky vest. Uh, I decided to... Uh, evacuate today I didn't decide to leave till the moment I saw the Israeli tanks that reached the end of my street I live in a hotel room now well, it's weird. I can't enjoy anything. I can't feel happy about anything. Maybe I'll be useful from outside to make some noise, more noise. I didn't expect to be a famous by the war, but in the end, it happened. I don't like it, to be honest. Just like bring me back the people I lost and bring me back gas.
मेरा नाम करम बीबी मेरे दो बेटिया माजूर हैं पान ठीक हैं उसे आदि चुदा हैं उन्हें जो दिन को पदाशी तकलीफ है इमें उन्हें द अबू फाउद थी गए बस अल्लाह पाक रोजी रज के दें द पाए जरा वक्त अल्लाह पाक दें द पाए मेरा नाम फजीलत है और मरिया की बच्ची है जिस टाइम तक जलजल हो और चार नियत लेने दिमाग अपनी बच्ची आंधी है इतने अपने माँ पी कॉल करने का ही है बच्ची को फिर उसको लो बाद जिले तकलीफ़ है इसे ही है मेरे कारा लकराची हो गया ने वापस आया लकहात में गिरा बिच जिस ताक में और मेरा पेज नहीं दासा उस टाइम मरे प्रभु दी शादी और इनके दी और होते में नाला सिया दोने रहें दिया सिया कि जी भी अकाठी फिर शादी चोई तो फिर मुको काट छुड़िया कारो जिस डरे मरा सामान कर दी और इस डरे तला कासन तक यामत आसी बची तभी और मर तभी आज तक वो जासरा भी ना सा तो ये प्रभु सुन मुको वो भी गरीब है पर उस सुन मुको हेत दूरेसी बीच दुनिया ते अल्लाह का सदी खावन ना कहने और प्रामा को अल्लाह ना कहने का दे भी ना कहने का सदी प्राण ना मरन ते पे ना मरन बढ़िया खामियां कोल में जुल्दियां ते उसे त्रय हजार पे मुको दें दिया सी ते उसके बाद और चार साल में की ते फिर और मरा पांच हजार पे की ते और कपड़े तो नहीं हैं और पांडे तो नहीं हैं और पहुंचा कर दिया सारा काम कर दिया लगा पूरा कारा द काम जोड़े कर दिया उस बीच में कोई रोजी मिलती है और रात ही मरी बच्ची आती है मैं ऐसे का साल नहीं ऐसे को तो आंसर में आला देसी और ऐसे को तो आंसर सा कुल कुछ आसरा भी नहीं पंद्रह दिन हो गए इन सब जीनी पकी साल नो तू इकामाली जी तो आंट छुड़ी आंट के दा ना आंदा ते फिर हो नहीं होता किस भी थोड़ा गुजार दिया आप बताए लगा कसे वाले मरे किस भी नहीं होता जो गुजर के दिए यार मरे चीनी भी नहीं इस कारे भी पति भी नहीं और इस कारे मरे डालता भी नहीं किस भी नहीं वाले अल्लाह में आते तू देसी बाचा है तू बच्ची मर याद थी चमी तू मुर्गी नान दी ते तू घुस नान दी मैं हाथियाँ एक रात सांग कोला ताला दी सी ते तार सांग सी कुछ वार सांग हाँ सांग कोल केशा सी आना सर्दियाँ मुझे चौकियाँ गुजरीं सर्दियाँ मुझे तंग हो गया लक्का गुजार छुड़ियाँ नई लुकड़ियाँ नहीं हैं एक टाइ दोड़ियाँ दो टाइ दोड़ियाँ हर मजबूर नहीं हो भी मरी बच्ची का सेटेम मुको का समाधि दिया आती है मैं नहीं जुनी तू तंग हो नहीं सर मरा फाल चाहते मारे थे ना हो जाते सर मरा कम दे फिर मुझे ज्यादा कम दे फिर मर करो ब्लड तेज होने तो सुनार मुझे ज्यादा तकलीफ होती है हो जाते कार के मुको आती है मैं तू नहीं जुन में आती है क्या करा पहली वो तो उस तरह स्वीर डिट के पीव दी तो उसको पता तां लगी है जी कुलो जी मरा पे नहीं तो आखिर क्या मैं मरा पे मर गया मखान पहले मैं नहीं दस्या बच्ची कुछ तोड़ा पे है या नहीं उसको मैं तकलीफ नहीं दस्या आप तो तकलीफ सही है और बच्ची को नहीं दस्या और बच्ची को पता लगी और आखिर क्या मैं मरा पे नहीं मखान हमी देह लोग बड़े ने कपड़े तू ना बड़ा आगे थी ते किस तरह हैं मैं आती हूँ बच्ची ये मगे दिन चले इस तभी शुक्र अदा कर मरी गुजेश नहीं और मैं किस तरह बड़ा हूँ मर कुल किस भी नहीं आला तू देना वाले और बंदे देने में कुछ आधे ने उस तक गुजर के नहीं हैं ते बच्ची आखती है हर गल मैं किस भी ना करा कि और भी आती है मैं कितनी बदनसीब और कितनी चीज लोगों ने पेट अपरायन तो मरे कुछ भी नहीं तो बच्ची को कपड़े भी और ये चादर न ये जितने में काम कर दिया थे मुको भी चादर न और मरी बच्ची को भी चादर न सदे में इस तरह गुजरी है 
ਵੇਲੇ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਦੀਵਾਲਾਂ ਤੇ ਲਾਹੇ ਦੇ ਕਾਂਡੇ ਛਾਂਡੇ ਰਾਹੇ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਇਧਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਰਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲਾਗੇ ਦੇ ਪਲਾਸ਼ ਕਟ ਲਾਏ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ੇ ਨੇ ਛੱਤ ਚੜੀ ਹੈ ਹਾਲੀ ਚਾਦਰ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਮੋਰੀ ਹੋਈ ਦੀ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਮੋਰੀ ਨੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾਣੀ ਪਗਦੇ ਤੇ ਚਿਕੜੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਅੰਦਰ ਪਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਚੁੱਲੀ ਕੋਲ ਵੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੇ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਗੜਵੜ ਹੋਈ ਦੇ ਰਾਤ ਹੀ ਸੁਤੇ ਦੇ ਆਸੇ ਨਾ ਸਾਪਿਆਂ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਹਰਾ ਰੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਚਾਦਰਾਂ ਸਾ ਕੋਲ ਉੱਡ ਗਈਆਂ ਇਸ ਸਾਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਾਰ ਵਾਰੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉੱਡ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਮੜੀ ਬਚੀ ਸੰਤ ਮੇ ਦੌਣਾ ਸਨ ਇਹ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਤੇ ਘਟੇ ਰਖੇ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਪੜ ਰਖੇ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਠੋਕੀ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਲੱਕ ਮਜਬੂਰ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਮਜਬੂਰ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕੀਤੇ ਹਮੀ ਇਸ ਚਾਦਰਾ ਕਰੀ ਵੇ ਲਈ ਸ਼ੈਂਗਾ ਠੋਕਤੀ ਹੈ ਤੂੰ ਨਾ ਵੀ ਲੱਗੀ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਗੁਜ਼ਰ ਸਾਂ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਸ ਕੋ ਆਖਤੀ ਅੱਲਾ ਦੇਸੀ ਆ ਸਾਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਅਸਤੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗੁਜ਼ਰ ਕੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਖਰਾਬ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਗੁਜ਼ਰ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕੂਨ ਡੇਟ ਕੋਈ ਸਕੂਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਡੇਟ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤੇ ਬਚੀ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਉਸਕੋ ਅਰੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੋਂ ਉਸੇ ਸਰੇ ਮੁਝ ਦਰਦ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਅੱਖੀਆਂ ਪਕੜੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਨਰ ਸਿਰ ਪਕੜੇ ਦੰਦੇ ਗੁਰਦਿਆਂ ਮੁਝ ਦਰਦ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਖੜਾਕਦੀ ਨਾ ਸਰਕਾਰੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਖੜਦੀਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੁਝ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਵੇਟ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਵੇਟ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਹੈ ਪੈਸੇ ਕੰਨੇ ਤੇ ਮਰ ਕੋਲ ਕੇਸ਼ ਹੈ ਜਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਸਕੋ ਖੜਾ ਬਚੀ ਦੇ ਬਿਚਾਰੀ ਦੇ ਪੈਸੇ ਕੋ ਥਾਂਡ ਸਾ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੈਸ ਵੀ ਲਖਸੀ ਔਰ ਬਚੀ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਰਿਸ਼ਤੇਦਾਰ ਹਸਨ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਖੇਣਾ ਪੀਣਾ ਵੀ ਕਰਸਨ ਔਰ ਮਰ ਕੋਲ ਕੇਸ਼ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਔਰ ਬਚੀ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਪੇ ਗਰੀਬ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਜਮ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਵੇ ਮ ਕੋ ਅੱਲਾ ਪਾਕ ਦੇ ਰਜ਼ਾ ਤੇ ਚਾ ਦੇਵੇ ਔਰ ਬਚੀ ਦਾ ਜੈਸ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਅੱਲਾ ਸਵਾ ਔਰ ਬਚੀ ਸਵਾ ਮਾੜਾ ਕੁਝ ਸਾਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਵੀ ਪਾਂਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਤੇ ਦੂਈ ਜੇ ਵੀ ਪਾਂਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਤੇ ਲਕਨ ਬੱਚੀ ਕੋ ਆਪਣੀ ਕੋ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਪੜਾ ਲਿਆ ਬੱਚੀ ਕੁਛ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਮੋ ਬੱਚੀ ਆਖਦੀ ਔਰ ਕਿੰਨੀਆਂ ਜਮਾਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਆਖਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਕੋ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੰਦਾ ਜੀ ਕਿੰਨੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਆਖਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਇਤਨੀ ਮੈਂ ਪੜ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਅੱਛੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸ਼ਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਖਦੀ ਚਾਮੀ ਤੂੰ ਵੀ ਅੱਛੀ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਹੋਇਓ ਮੈਂ ਕੋ ਚਾਹ ਦੰਦੇ ਆਟਾ ਚਾਹ ਦੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਚਾਲ ਚਾਹ ਦੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਚਾਹ ਦੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਔਰ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਸਵਾ ਮੈਂ ਕੋ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਕਿਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਲਗੇ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਂ ਕੋਕੋੜਾਂ ਦੇ ਮੁਰਖੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਕੀ ਮਾਰ ਨੇ ਗੋਸ਼ਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਨਰਸ਼ਾਂ ਨੇ ਨਾ ਸਕੂਲ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਲਕ ਕਾਵੇ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਗੁਜ਼ਰ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਇਹਦਾ ਬਿਸਤਰ ਨੇ ਗੁਜ਼ਰ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੀ ਲਕਨ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਪੜੇ ਬਣ ਨੇ ਪੈਜ਼ਾਰੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਅਰਸ਼ੇ ਦੀ ਆ ਸਾਉਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕੁਝ ਆਸਰਾ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਅੱਲਾ ਸਵਾ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਜ਼ਰਾ ਆਸਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲਕ ਮੜੀਆਂ ਚਾਦਰਾਂ ਚੋਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਛਪਰਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਕੁਝ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਹੋਵੇ ਖੁਦਾ ਦੀ ਰਜ਼ਾ ਉੱਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਬੰਦ ਹੋਵੇ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਇਤਨਾ ਕਰੇ ਜੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲਗੇ ਸਭ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਚਾਹ ਦੇਵੇ ਬੱਚੀ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਜੇ ਬੰਦ ਹੋਵੇ ਜੀ ਚਾਹ ਦੇਵੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਪੜਾ ਲ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਉਸਕੋ ਵੀ ਰਾਸ਼ਨਾ ਹਫਤੇ ਵੀ ਅੱਲਾ ਮਦਦ ਕਰੇ ਅੱਲਾ ਤਾਲਾ ਦੇਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਕੋ ਦੇਵੇ ਅੱਲਾ ਪਾਕ ਤੇ ਮਰ ਤੇ ਅੱਲਾ ਪਾਕ ਫਾਜ਼ਲ ਕਰੇ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਕੋ ਚਾਹ ਦੇਣ ਖੁਦਾ ਹਫਤੇ ਦੀ ਅੱਲਾ ਮਦਦ ਕਰੇ ਉਹ ਬਾਛਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਲਾ ਨੂੰ ਕੋ ਦੇਵੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਬਾਤ ਰੱਖੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਰੱਬ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਕਰੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ
We are now in the neonatal intensive care unit, but the situation is the same with the intensive care department. My message is an appeal to the entire world to intervene and save all the children, to bring medical aid and fuel to the hospitals, and to help bring back all the medical staff that have had to leave to the south. The war must stop immediately. شب کی رانک زلفوں سے اللہ 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 Welcome everyone uh, to our appeal, uh, mashallah, uh, today's appeal uh, for Gaza and for all other projects that uh, we have been appealing for for the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, myself, mashallah here and Mullah Huzaifa here. Mullah, how are you doing? Yeah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, okay. How's all going? Alhamdulillah, all well. Ready for another night, inshallah. Ready for another night. Yes, and another week actually, inshallah, because obviously Monday is the Yeah, yeah, bilkul. So it's another week, another night, inshallah. And uh, yeah, um, it was, alhamdulillah, it was okayish busy over mm. the weekend, mm. alhamdulillah. And uh, people who have been donating, especially when we look at the figures that are coming in, yeah. you know, people have been donating directly to the call center, mashallah. But you know what? People need to donate because this is the month of Ramadan. Yeah. And we're, you know, subhanAllah, we're coming to the mid of Ramadan. Yes. You know, today is the 15th 
uh, Rosa for you as well yeah. and for many of our yes. viewers. The 15th Rosa is coming to an end in the matter of you know half an hour, possibly 45 minutes. Yes. Inshallah. The Pandra Rosa Khatam Hoge. And after this, it's down. Yeah, count down. You know, because we're counting down now. So, and uh, most likely it might be 29 first. It might be 30, we don't know, mm. what, depending on the moon sighting, uh, but it's definitely count down because we come to the peak, which is the mid of the month, and now it's the countdown towards the end of Ramadan. So in you know, Ramadan, you see even the past two weeks, past 15 days, how quickly it has passed. Mm. You know, yes, you know, we've been coming here doing appeals, and we say this every day, but even when you look at the, as a whole figure, a whole Ramadan, Half of Ramadan is gone and we haven't even you know, realized yet. Mm. You know, subhanallah. And now this half, it's going to be even faster. Normally when it's countdown, it's faster mm. uh, because school holidays, uh, is, uh, so we are home, you know, it's so quick uh, for the days to go by. And then obviously when we're looking forward towards Eid, you know, Orbi Johair, uh, you know, it goes faster, yes. you know, so yes, it's going to be, you know, the remaining 14, 15 days will go very quickly again, again, just like the first 15 days. So, you know, if you haven't, you know, taken, uh, or, you know, t taken the most of out of Ramadan or utilized uh, this opportunity, uh, the month of Ramadan, then subhanAllah, you've still got the chance, you've still got the, you know, the last, uh, you know, next two weeks there, you still have that. Uh, and make the most of it, really, you know? Yes, indeed. And uh, so far, mashallah, I have to be really honest, and uh, I think we all have to be really honest, that uh, people have been donating so well since the start of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, yeah. In, in fact, this entire, uh, entire year, well, since last year, uh, to be honest, when things went uh, uh, really, really bad uh, for many, many countries, uh, around the world and it is only you that came to the help and to the assistance and you responded to every appeal that took place and that was live here on Iqra television so Jazakumullah for that and I think um, the blessings and the jaza and Bahtarin jo jaza silah hai wo Allah ki taraf se ab sab ko milega we uh, you will all get uh, that I will get that we will get that inshallah and to get together we will enjoy the badla that we get from Allah the thawab and hasanat jo milenge as a result of our participation in uh, the, yani every single appeal that's what really and truly uh, count so again today to continue just uh, that we continue uh, 03000 triple nine seven eight six is the number that you uh, want to be calling and also oh two oh eight double six two four double five zero is the number for the studio that you need uh, to be calling uh, to agar is number ko dial karenge phir humse yahan par barai rast aapki yani baate hogi and if you want to call the call center by all means do so vapar call karke uh, donations dije in big big amounts because abhi dekhe ghazza ke liye our efforts uh, cannot stop. Gaza Kiliya efforts needs to continue uh, in a very, very uh, big scale. Uh, Ramadan food packs, Karle, uh, ya the yani iftar meals, Karle, ya tents, Johe. Now, wherever the people of Gaza are in Gaza, whether it's a Rafa, uh, borders ke pass, or whether it's in northern Gaza, uh, you know, once the Hamare items, our materials, your donations is in Gaza, inshallah, it will go uh, to the uh, right. Uh, I mean, all the people are there, are the right people. Gaza can the jitne bhi longe, sahi longe, yani mustaqine, and it is for them. Uh, we sit here, inshallah, again uh, in another iftar, and uh, like. Uh, uh, you know, we know, we all know, 15th um, iftar will be 15th iftar for most of us, 15th iftar or for Same. some of us, uh, whichever way you want to yani, phrase that, or baths of, or, and for a lot of people, yani, uh, 14th, actually 14th, yeah, 15th, Jobio, uh, we're in iftar. The bottom line is iftar, and we still have uh, more, we still have another half of Ramadan left 
to enjoy uh, 15 moftars or 14 moftars, inshallah, depending on the moon. Uh, of course, we will celebrate Eid. But this is the moment, people, in which you can, I can, we all can come together and yani, donate to the best of our ability, do to the best of our ability, inshallah, and give uh, as much as we uh, possibly, possibly can. Jitna, jitna, Hoseke, Utana, inshallah, there as much as we uh, can give, whatever we can possibly give, inshallah, we give. Ismail, let's not hesitate uh, in this at all. Kisi bhi tarikhe se, hum hesitate na kare. Kisi bhi tarikhe se, jo hai, hum isme, yani aage na ane ki koshish kare. Balke, we should be coming forward at all times and uh, we should be, yani, doing whatever we possibly can. So, ab sab se mein guzarish karta rahunga, the number jo apko that you need to dial is the number on the screen, 03000-999786. And also 0208-662-4550 is the yani, uh, studio number jo aap dial kare. And by dialing this, inshallah, we can go further and further and further. Inshallah. Yes, my brothers and sisters, look, we're going to go towards the iftar very soon. You know, in the matter of 45 minutes, you know, within one hour we'll be going towards iftar, inshallah. Now, we all are preparing for iftar. You know, no doubt, everyone is laying down their, mat uh, their, their mattresses, their dastakhan, yes. uh, the mats, you know, I was about to say, uh, <laughs> for the table, yeah, and uh, they will be going towards iftar. And you know, on the screen behind me, you can see exactly what is happening. And you know where this is happening? This is happening, subhanallah, in Masjid al-Aqsa compound. The mats, the Dastar Khan is being spread, alhamdulillah. And this is an everyday occurrence, alhamdulillah, we've been told. That every day, you know, Dastar Khan is being laid, these mats are laid down, subhanallah, and iftar is being given to the worshippers, the musallis of Masjid al-Aqsa, the people who are living in that, comp uh, living in that area, in, you know, around Masjid al-Aqsa. You know, what a beautiful, it's like, you know, people living in Medina, for example. Or li people living in Mecca, for example. Haramain, you know, this is one of the holy sites. This is one of the three holy sites. Qiblai awwal, Musalman ho hai. And people living here is as blessed and as sac sacred as the Haramain in Mecca and Medina. So the people living there, you are providing iftar to those people. Subhanallah. You know, what a blessing. And if you want, subhanAllah, you can call up the donation online and you can, can say, subhanAllah, I want to provide iftar for Masjid al-Aqsa. One iftar, ten iftar, hundred iftars, whatever you want to do. You know, provide iftar in Masjid al-Aqsa. What a beautiful donation. What a beautiful way to, subhanAllah, give. And even you're giving for Palestine. Jo hamara jo hai focus hai bhi. Gaza and Palestine. This is our focus at the moment in all of our appeals. We're focusing on that. And after iftar, I'm going to get, take, take you towards another project in Gaza, inshallah. So stay tuned in for after iftar as well. Hamusko bhi jo aapke saamne rakhenge. For the first time in this Ramadan, is Ramadan ne pehli martaba aapke saamne ye Gaza ke ek other project we're going to put in front of you. And what that is going to be, you're going to find out after iftar. So again, our focus is iftar. Our focus is Gaza. Sorry, uh, at the time of this iftar, inshallah, our focus is Gaza, our focus is Palestine, and inshallah, we want to feed the people of Gaza. Because you've heard all the news, you've heard, subhanAllah, some horrific stories yesterday. Well, I don't know if you've heard yesterday's stories, some of these are really horrific. Mm. You know, yesterday, you know, uh, the, the idea of they stormed Al Shifa Hospital, and subhanAllah, there's, you know, there's stories of rape and stories of killing and yeah. murder, subhanAllah. This is from yesterday, Allahu Akbar. When I read those stories we were sharing yesterday during the appeal, you know, you know, pregnant women being killed and raped, subhanAllah, um, it's so horrific. And this is not me saying this is all over news now. It's all over the social media. People are, you know, the atrocities are being committed on the people of Gaza is, you know, beyond our imagination, beyond our, you know, we can't even begin to even comprehend you know, how does, uh, you know, someone, you know, how does a human does that to another human? Just on that basis. Humanity, kaha chadi gaye, Maulana? 
It's, yeah, and, and it's, 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 it's worse than that, just on the point that you said. Um, pregnant uh, Jo Khavatine, um, they Allahu were, you know, raped. And not, it doesn't just stop there, though. No, no, no. It was in front, in of, front of her of entire husband. family, yeah. in front of the ch children and, they killed and husband. And they said if they move the eyes away, they will shoot them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, uh, you know, th that's how bad... Uh, it is now you know uh, there whatever it is it it will all come out inshallah in front of the world Allah. it will all come out in front of the world does, in and uh, you know uh, for for us to uh, sit here and not do anything yeah yeah uh, in fact we have to uh, we have to do our utmost best our level best uh, in in, in, in getting as much funds as we possibly can together uh, because a time will come when Gaza will need this uh, more than ever. Mani, obviously, Gaza needs us right now, Ismako Shakniye, but a time will come that uh, more funds will be needed. So, how great will it be if we, uh, if we ready ourselves, if we equip ourselves uh, yani in, the, in the right way? Uh, we never ever feel that we have enough and we don't have enough donations or we are not giving enough because um, at this moment in time the fact that the people in Gaza they don't have enough Ramadan food pack packs they don't have enough, uh, yani, enough to eat yani, ke liye to nahi hai. Uh, the, um, the kind of um, Yani hardship they are having to go through as I as we speak is yani beyond words. Uh, they, 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 they have they have yani nothing to feed themselves, the grown ups and nothing to give to the um, to the children. They have nothing whatsoever. So the more the more yani uh, we give to them, the less it is. And that's the honest truth. The more we give to the people of Gaza in terms of food, in terms of yani, uh, clean water, the less it is. So, we can never say that we have given enough to them because I, don't, I, I hope that day will one day come. But as I speak, that, you know, that day is very, very far away indeed. So, viewers, they came. آپ سے گزارش ہے ہمارے سب ویورس سے یہی درخواستیں آپ بڑھ چڑھ کے کالز کریں 03000-999-786 پر ڈائل کریں 0208-662-4550 پر سٹوڈیو میں کال کر کے آپ ڈونیشنز دیجئے اور اس میں جو ہے دینے میں کسی بھی طرح کمی نہ کریں انفیک گیٹ چو آگ گیٹ آدھرز انوالڈ جتنے or logon ko ab jante hai from your friends family family friends it will be nice to have everyone on board inshallah watching uh, this appeal as we speak as i speak and um, as inshallah more presenters will speak as the night inshallah uh, goes by yes my brothers and sisters so do come forward because you know it's about feeding the people you know what happens in gaza the attacks you know we can't physically stop that dua hum kar sakte hain but physically we can't go there, we can't aid them, we can't feed them, we can't we can't rescue them, we can't see to their wounds and you know comfort them and cuddle them or hug them. We can't do that. You know, is you know we are you know bilkul. We can't do anything. But what we can do, my brothers brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, is dua. Dua is the most powerful tool for a mu'min. The most powerful tool. Agar hum sahi niyat ke saath and with sincerity. Agar hum dua karte hain, Allah will listen. Because he says himself, in a ujibu da'wat ad-da'i. When a person calls me, I respond. Allah says in the Quran, ujibu, I respond to the people who call me. So that's the most powerful tool we have is to pray to Allah. You've seen what's happening. You, you see the atrocities that are being committed from a human to a human. Leave alone everything else from a human to a human. How can a human commit that on another human being? 
हाउ हाउ कुड दैट हैपन इंसान अपना सोच ले अगर उसकी वाइफ के साथ उसकी बहन के साथ इफ समथिंग हैपेंस यू नो व्हाट वुड व्हाट वुड दैट पर्सन थिंक बट ऑन अ जस्ट ऑन दैट लेवल माय ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर सो वी कांट डू एनीथिंग फिजिकली लेकिन हम यहां बैठकर दुआ करें सिंसियरली यू नो हम रोजाना अपने लिए दुआ करते हैं अपने लिए अपने फाइनेंसेस के लिए अपने बच्चों के लिए वी मेक दुआ एवरीडे डेडिकेट दिस टाइम दिस टाइम this time between asr and maghrib before your iftar time dedicate this for the people of palestine dua bhi kare and the second thing that we can do yahan baith kar in uk mein in our homes what we can do is to donate aap unke liye jo hai you give them a food pack you give them a iftar meal and you know help those families and after maghrib i'm going to show you some another project which you are already aware of it but uh, we are we will be launching for the first time this ramadan you know after iftar we'll do that but right now you know make that donation and make the dua inshallah we're going to go towards a short break inshallah after the break we'll continue stay with us assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh <laughs> السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ریسپیکٹڈ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان اسلام ماشاءاللہ واٹ ا بلیسڈ ڈے سبحان اللہ اینڈ آن دس بلیسڈ ڈے وی ار پیکنگ دا باکسز اینڈ ایچ باکس سیز بلیس اینڈ بی بلیسڈ دس رمضان ماشاءاللہ دس از فار ایڈ سپلائی ٹو غزا الحمدللہ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز 17th اف رمضان ماشاءاللہ ہسٹوریکل ڈے دا ڈے اف بیٹل اف بدر ماشاءاللہ سبحان اللہ ڈیو ٹو وچ رادر وی ار مسلم ٹوڈے الحمدللہ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everyone, subhanAllah. Brothers and sisters, last few days I was inside Syria uh, delivering houses and basically different aid items there. From Syria, mashallah, uh, today uh, we arrived in Jordan and straight I came to this warehouse. And mashallah, I just want to show you the preparation that is going on here for our next mega project, next cargo plane delivering aid closer to the border of Gaza, mashallah. So Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, these are the boxes which are being packed. This is not entire cargo, but part of it. Uh, once these boxes are packed, then tomorrow there will be another round, round and day after tomorrow there will be a third round of it. So you have today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, basically next two, three days to donate. I just quickly want to give you some glimpses of, uh, mashallah, the stock. Uh, what is going on in here, mashallah. Uh, so brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, this is the warehouse. where mashallah all the stock uh, has been placed here and subhanallah can you believe it this entire warehouse subhanallah all of it or most of it will go in cargo plane uh, packed in those boxes uh, there is oil here mashallah there is uh, starting with this let's see what it is here uh, the sugar mashallah three and a half kg sugar uh, mashallah uh, then there is a uh, flower packets there is uh, halawiyat uh, subhanallah and then on this side there is uh, tea boxes uh, so these are uh, the tea that is used normally in gaza so over there they don't use tetli or pg or whatever basically we use but rather different ones so uh, different food items mashallah here alhamdulillah uh, brothers and sisters the entire warehouse is full of stock mashallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you please donate as best as you can inshallah if you donate uh, within next two days ideally donate tonight so while i'm here i can pack your boxes inshallah so uh, subhanallah all this stock will be going uh, inside those boxes and it will go into uh, cargo plane inshallah i would like to see how many boxes or how many pallets you would like to sponsor inshallah uh, because this is going in cargo uh, we have made Uh, different size boxes uh, is durable boxes is strong boxes and is larger boxes than previous ones so that's why and the stock which is going in here in these boxes is uh, rather more expensive uh, is more in quantity so this one is costing us nearly 60 to 65 pound for 125 pound brothers and sisters you can sponsor inshallah two boxes uh, and if you would like to sponsor this one block here uh, 
these four boxes here. These four boxes will be uh, 250 pounds. The packaging has started literally just now as we speak. Uh, you can see oil is gone in, sugar is gone in, and uh, mashallah, the packaging is going on. So if you sponsor two boxes, 125 pounds, and uh, if you donate 250 pounds, then these uh, four boxes, four, uh, a section, will be on your behalf. 500 pounds will mean uh, two um, units, which is eight boxes, and uh, mashallah, 1,000 pounds means 16 boxes here, uh, mashallah. And uh, if you donate 5,000 pounds, then you will be taking, inshallah, entire uh, pallet uh, on your behalf. Uh, and we will deliver that uh, to Gaza, inshallah. By sending to aeroplane, uh, air cargo, this is not airdrop, this is air cargo, taking closer to the border of Gaza, uh, the nearest airport there, because air flight uh, goods have different process and different queuing system. So inshallah, uh, the previous cargo plane we sent entered very quickly, and therefore uh, this, is, uh, this seems to be much quicker than sending from Cairo and so on. So while basically from Cairo it might be a little cheaper, uh, this might be about 20% uh, more expensive, uh, but it is much more quicker, which means inshallah, within last 10 days of Ramadan, they will receive your donated food packs inshallah. So brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, on this blessed day of 17th of Ramadan, I would like to see how many of you will come forward and will sponsor how many boxes. Uh, if anyone would like to sponsor £5,000, that is one pallet, plus few more boxes also, inshallah, on top of it. So, Jazakumullah khair, brothers and sisters, you donate and we deliver in shortest possible time. Bless and be blessed, inshallah, this Ramadan with Al Khair Foundation, mashallah. We are delivering this in partnership with uh, King Hussein of Jordan. Uh, the King of Jordan, his uh, organization, mashallah, uh, uh, King Hussein's organization and Al Khair Foundation delivering in partnership. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this partnership and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your and our partnership of being donor and organization. Bless and be blessed this Ramadan. Fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, I'm in this village, mashallah, in Afrin area. And uh, just want to show you how nice these houses are, mashallah. This is the kitchen area, so their kitchen uh, items will go here. And this is basically a small external balcony. So it's an open area to put like their washing machine or um, their cylinder and so on here mashallah each house has two bedroom one kitchen one bathroom and one living room mashallah this is the bathroom in the middle uh, bathroom and shower together here and then two rooms on right and left rooms are um, not that big but it's reasonably sized mashallah uh, so uh, it's much much better than uh, shelters and uh, temporary shelter or tents and so on uh, inshallah we have these families on standby uh, they eagerly waiting for these houses to be completed and move in inshallah so it's going to take maybe another two to three months hopefully inshallah and their houses will be ready within few months inshallah i have list of all the donors uh, of the houses here uh, mashallah um, we have uh, done uh, 1000 homes here we have inaugurated uh, 500 homes today and uh, remaining 500 are almost completion mashallah so jazakumullah khair brothers and sisters bless and be blessed with something extraordinary this ramadan within these donation packs lies a story of hope Within our care, we carefully pack essential food items donated by you. The generosity that binds communities together is contained within us. With every donation, we are prepared, packed and delivered. And as we find our way through mountains and villages, we bring more than just sustenance. We bring joy, smiles and the promise that a brighter future is ahead. Your zakat helps to turn hunger into hope. 
Last year, over 1 million individuals benefited worldwide from the food packs that we delivered. And this Ramadan, it's your turn to make a difference. So remember, bless and be blessed with something extraordinary every time you donate. Donate with confidence. Donate without care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Respected viewers, my brothers, sisters, welcome to our iftar transmission. Alhamdulillah, we're here at uh, the iftar corner. Uh, and uh, that means that we are very close to our iftar time, especially in London and of course a bit later on throughout the country uh, in your own town as well. Iftar transmission, mashallah, is uh, here to just bring everyone uh, together, inshallah. Uh, all the presenters, we sit here and we talk and we remind our viewers and ourselves as well about the importance of this time the quality time that we have at hand just before iftar, especially between Asr and Maghrib. And we remind ourselves and we remind you as well that we need to do the most important th uh, thing that uh, we can do, which is the most important tool that we mu'mineen have in our hands, which is dua. And that's what we hear, we gather together. And you can join us as well in the dua as well. Say Ameen as well. And also remember the less fortunate. At this very time when we are hungry, when we are thirsty, when our mouths are dry, when our lips are chapped, and we, you know, we need to remember the people who, don't, who haven't had food for the past one day, two days, three days, subhanAllah. This is the time when we can actually remember and we can actually uh, you know, uh, give whatever we can and to you know, make their iftar you know, a, a, a proper iftar a better iftar than they already have. So let's inshallah remind ourselves, I'm gonna go over to Harun as well, and then Shaji is also here. Uh, like every day, we will listen to some uh, good kalam from Shaji as well, and ultimately we'll go over to Allah Masaf for, uh, for a few words of advice and uh, dua inshallah. Inshallah. <coughs> Jazakallah khair, it's uh, before iftari time, so my throat is a bit dried out. <laughs> well, alhamdulillah brothers and sisters, just like you at home, uh, you're waiting for iftari just like I'm waiting for iftari and we're all waiting for iftari because subhanAllah that is the time of the day where we can eat again. Uh, like Mulana Sahib said, you know, not everyone has the same blessings and the same, uh, you know, ni'mas from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are thirsty, we are hungry, but we, we are looking forward to the food that we're going to get. But subhanAllah, that is not the case with everyone around the world. People are subhanAllah in a situation where forget food, you know, they, are, they, they might not even be looking forward to bread. They might be looking forward to just water to open their fast. And we have seen videos from Gaza coming out where brothers of ours have said that, uh, you know, I start my fast with water and I open my fast with water because there's nothing else. Allah. So this is the reality on the ground. But Alhamdulillah, whatever Allah has blessed upon us and given us, we should do shukr for that. And shukr is not just by lip service. It's not by saying shukr Alhamdulillah, but it is subhanAllah through our actions. By showing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala physically through our actions, through our ibadah, through our giving in the part of Allah that we are truly grateful. Is for example, uh, you know, all your life uh, you look after someone and after, uh, you know, you, you pay for them, you give them a uh, good education, you give them clothes, even they're not your kids. You know, even if they're your kids, right, you give them everything and in the end, end, you know, all the actions are showing that they're not thankful and they just come to your face and say thank you very much. But subhanAllah, all the actions are showing that you're not thankful. So, you know, that doesn't really make sense. It would anger us. So if he angers us, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that gave us much more than we can provide anything to anyone else. And Allah is, gave us life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us, subhanAllah, the ability to walk, talk, smell, listen. You know, all of these ni'mas, you know, our heart is beating without us having to do something. We are breathing without us having to do something. SubhanAllah, it all works for us. 
So, you know, we, are, uh, we have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not just through by lip service, but through our actions, inshallah. And uh, I shall keep my message to this, inshallah, and I'll move on to Jazakumullah, Jazakum yes. Uh, I think we'll Shaji. move on to uh, Shaji. Shaji. And uh, we'll try to listen to a lengthy kalam today, inshallah, hopefully. Mashallah. And we won't uh, have to um, you know, ask him to be quick about it, inshallah. Jazakumullah. <laughs> Thank ناظرین اس وقت ہم افطار کارنر پہ یہاں موجود ہیں الخیر فاؤنڈیشن کے زیر تمام اپیلوں کا جو سلسلہ ہے وہ جاری ہے اور بڑے ہی بابرکت لمحات ہیں ابھی ماشاءاللہ شیخ حضافہ صاحب نے آپ سے گفتگو کی اور پھر اس کے بعد ہمارے حافظ طاری حارون صاحب نے ماشاءاللہ بڑی پر اثر گفتگو کی اللہ پاک سلامتی رکھے اور اس طرح ہمارے برادر ریان صاحب بھی موجود ہیں تو میں عرض یہ کرنا چاہ رہا تھا کہ جب اللہ سے مانگنا ہو تو پہلے جب اللہ کی تعریف کرتے ہیں تو اللہ پاک بہت خوش ہوتے ہیں تو یہ مانگنے کی گھڑیاں ہیں اور ہم نے مانگنا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ سے اپنے لیے بھی اپنے بچوں کے لیے بھی اور سب سے بڑھ کے یہ ہے کہ غزہ کے مظلوم مسلمان بہن بھائیوں کے لیے بھی دعا بھی کرنی ہے اور ان کے لیے دعا بھی کرنی ہے انشاءاللہ تو دعائیہ کلمات اور جملے انشاءاللہ حضرت علامہ عنیس احمد عزاز صاحب انشاءاللہ وہ بیان فرمائیں گے تو اس سے پہلے میں حمد باری تعالیٰ کے چند اشعار پیش کرتا ہوں آئیے اللہ سے مانگتے ہیں اور اللہ ہی ہمارا مالک ہے حاکم ہے ہم تو محکوم ہیں کمزور ہیں اپنے اللہ سے مانگتے ہیں اللہ پاک ضرور ہماری فریادیں سنے گا ملادہ فرمائیے کس سے مانگیں کہاں جائیں کس سے کہیں اور دنیا میں حاجت روا کون ہے کس سے مانگیں کہاں جائیں کس سے کہیں اور دنیا میں حاجت روا کون ہے کس سے مانگیں کہاں جائیں کس سے کہیں اور دنیا میں حاجت روا کون ہے سب کا داتا ہے تو سب کو دیتا ہے تو تیرے بندوں کا تیرے سوا کون ہے سب کا داتا ہے تو سب کو دیتا ہے تو تیرے بندوں کا تیرے سوا کون ہے کون مقبول ہے کون مردود ہے بے خبر کیا خبر تجھ کو کیا کون ہے کون مقبول ہے کون مردود ہے بے خبر کیا خبر تجھ کو کیا کون ہے جب تو لیں گے عمل سب کے میزان پر تب کھلے گا کہ کھوٹا کھرا کون ہے جب تو لیں گے عمل سب کے میزان پر تب کھلے گا کہ کھوٹا کھرا کون ہے کس سے مانگیں کہاں جائیں کس سے کہیں اور دنیا میں حاجت روا کون ہے کون سنتا ہے فریاد مظلوم کی کس کے ہاتھوں میں ہے کنجی مقصوم کی 
कौन सुनता गे फरियाद मजलूम की किसके हाथों में है कुल जी मकसूम की रिस्क पे किस के पलते हैं शाहो गदा मसनदारा बज में अता कौन है किसे मांगे कहा जाए किसे कहे और दुनिया में हाजत रवा कौन है अंबिया औलिया ले बैते नबी ताबाइनो सहाबा पे जब आनी अंबिया ओलिया ले बैते नबी ताबाइनो सहाबा पे जब आनी गिर के सजदे में सबने यही अर्ज की तू नहीं है तो मुश्किल खुशा कौन है गिर के सजदे में सबने यही अर्ज की तू नहीं है तो मुश्किल खुशा कौन है किसे मांगे कहा जाए किसे कहे और दुनिया में हाजत रवा कौन है अहल फिक्रो नजर जानते हैं तुझे कुछ न होने पे भी मानते हैं तुझे अहल फिक्रो नजर जानते हैं तुझे कुछ न होने पे भी मानते हैं तुझे नसीर को तू फजल बारी समझे वरना तेरी तरफ देखता कौन है ए नसीर को तू फजल बारी समझे वरना तेरी तरफ देखता कौन है सब का दाता है तू सब को देता है तू तेरे बंदों का तेरे सिवा कौन है किसे मांगे कहा जाए किसे कहे और दुनिया में हाजत रवा कौन है माशाल्लाह ग्रेट कलाम एंड यू नो समथिंग दैट टचेस द हार्ट्स ऑफ द मोमिनी एंड द मुस्तिमीन सुभान अल्लाह सो माशाल्लाह जजाक अल्लाह फॉर दैट विल गो ओवर टू हजरत अल्लामा साहब इंशाल्लाह بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه وذرياته وأهل بيته أجمعين حضرات ناظرین کرام دنیا کی یہ زندگی اور دنیا کے اس ڈیزائن کو جاننے اور سمجھنے کے لیے اس کے خالق کی جو زندگی عطا کی ہوئی ہے ہمیں اور آپ کو ملی ہوئی ہے اس کی بہت باریکی سے ہمیں اور آپ کو اس کا جائزہ لینا پڑے گا کہ ہم جس دنیا میں زندگی گزار رہے ہیں 
ہمارے رب نے اس دنیا کا ڈیزائن کیا تیار کیا ہے صحیح بخاری کی ایک حدیث ہے جس کا راوی ہیں سیدنا کعب ابن مالک رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ اس ایک حدیث سے ہمیں اور آپ کو زندگی کی صحیح سمت اور زندگی کا صحیح نقشہ واضح ہو کے ہمارے اور آپ کے سامنے آ جاتا ہے رسول مکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے ایک مثال کے ذریعہ مومن کی زندگی واضح فرمائی اور ایک مثال کے ذریعہ منافق کی زندگی واضح فرمائی رسول اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا فرمانے علی شان ہے کہ مومن کی زندگی اس نرم و نازک پودے جیسی ہے جو ہواؤں کے ساتھ میں ہلتا رہتا ہے یعنی وہ اتنا نرم و نازک ہوتا ہے کہ ہوائیں چلتی ہیں تو وہ پودا اس کے مطابق اس کے مطابق ہلتا رہتا ہے وہ ٹوٹتا نہیں ہے لیکن منافق کی مثال اس سنوبر کے درخت جیسی ہے جس کی جڑیں زمین میں بہت مضبوط ہوتی ہیں اور بہت پختہ ہوتا ہے لیکن اس کو معمولی ہوائیں ہلاتی جلاتی تو نہیں ہیں لیکن جب تیز و تند ہوا آتی ہے تو اس کو جڑ سے اکھاڑ کے پھینک دیتی ہے کروڑوں درود و سلام ہو نبی مکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی ذاتی گرامی پر کہ آپ علیہ السلاۃ وسلام نے نہایت نامساعد حالات میں ایک مومن کو صبر اور استقامت کے ساتھ زندگی گزارنے کا طریقہ اور سلیقہ عطا کر دیا حالات آتے ہیں آتے رہیں گے حالات کی نامساعدت سے دو چار ہونا پڑے گا لیکن کبھی بھی مومن اللہ کی رحمت سے مایوس نہیں ہو سکتا وہ اس دنیا میں کتنے ہی نامساعد حالات سے کیوں نہ گزر رہا ہو مخالفت کی باد سر سر کیوں نہ چل رہی ہو اور انسان ایسے موقع پر جب اپنی امیدیں اس کی ختم ہو جاتی ہیں ایک مومن کے پاس ایمان کی طاقت اتنی پختہ اور مضبوط ہوتی ہے کہ وہ ایمانی قوت کے ساتھ نہایت نامساعد حالات میں بھی جینے کا ہنر جانتا ہے اور جینے کا یہ ہنر رسول مکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے ہی عطا کیا ہے یہ یقین بھری زندگی دراصل جینے کا بنیادی ہنر ہے توکل اڈ اللہ یہ زندگی گزارنے کا بنیادی اصول ہے یہ جو اسباب و وسائل ہیں یہ ضروری تو بہت ہیں لیکن اتنے نہیں جتنا یقین ضروری ہے اسباب و وسائل ہمارے کام ضرور آتے ہیں لیکن اتنے نہیں جتنا توکل اللہ کام آتا ہے اللہ کی ذات پہ بھروسہ اللہ کی ذات پہ توکل اور یقین انسان کی زندگی کو پختہ سے پختہ تر بنا دیتی ہے اللہ تعالی ہم سب کو پختہ یقین اور توکل اللہ کی صفت عطا فرمائے اب چلتے ہیں دعا کی طرف دعا تمام عبادات کا مغز ہے اللہ ہم سب کی دعاؤں کو اپنی بارگاہ میں قبول فرمائے الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على سید المرسلین وعلى آلہ واصحابہ اجمعین ربنا آتنا في الدنیا حسنا وفی الاخرة حسنا وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا انفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكوننا من الخاسرین ربنا اغفر لنا والإخواننا الذین سبقونا بالإیمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذین آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤف الرحیم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فعفونا يا كريم اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاز منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله یا اللہ ہمارے گناہوں کو معاف فرما دیجئے یا اللہ ہماری جملہ سیجیات کو حسنا سے مبدل فرما دیجئے یا اللہ ہم سب کے قلوب کو اپنے نور سے منور فرما دیجئے یا اللہ ہم سب کو اپنے محبوب اور مقبول بندوں میں داخل اور شامل فرما دیجئے یا اللہ ہم سب کو ایمان پر خاتمہ نصیب فرمائیے یا اللہ پورے عالم اسلام کا تحفظ فرما لیجئے یا اللہ امت مسلمہ کو عروج عطا فرمائیے یا اللہ تمام فلسطین کے مسلمانوں کی اور پورے عالم اسلام کی مدد فرمائیے یا اللہ غزہ کے مظلوموں کی غیب سے مدد فرمائیے یا اللہ جو معاونین کسی بھی زاویے سے ان کی خدمت میں مصروف عمل ہیں یا اللہ ان کی خدمات کو اپنی بارگاہ میں قبول فرمائیے ان سب کی جان مال عزت عبرو کی حفاظت فرما لیجئے یا اللہ جن احباب نے ہم سے دعاوں کے لیے کہا ہے یا لکھا ہے یا ان کا ہم پر حق ہے یا وہ ہم سے توقع رکھتے ہیں میرے مولا ان کی تمام جائز مرادوں کو غیب سے پورا فرما دیجئے یا اللہ ہماری ان تمام دعا 
دعاؤں کو محض اپنے فضل و کرم سے اپنے محبوب نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے صدقے اور طفیل میں قبول و منظور فرما لیجئے وہ صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علی خیر خلق ہی محمد و علی آلہ و اصحاب ہی و ازواج ہی و ذریات ہی و اہل بیت ہی اجمعین برحمتک یا رحم الرحیم صمت وبك آمنت وعليك توكلت وعلى رزقك أفطر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول وابعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد اے اللہ اس دعوت کامل اور تا قیامت قائم ہونے والی نماز کے رب تو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کو جنت میں نمائی مقام فضیلت تا فرما اور انہیں اس مقام محمود پر فائز فرما جس کا تو نے ان سے وعدہ فرمایا ہے بے شک تو وعدے کے خلاف نہیں فرماتا 
मौला दिल का जंग छुड़ा कर दे दिल को आईना जिसमें चमके ये कल माला इला اللهم نبهني فيه لبركات أسحاره ونور فيه قلبي بضياء أنواره وخذ بكل أعضائي إلى اتباع آثاره بنورك يا منور قلوب العارفين اے اللہ مجھے سہری کی نعمتوں میں بیدار کرنا اس کی روشنی سے میرے دل کو منور کر دے اے علم رکھنے والوں کے دلوں کو روشنی عطا کرنے والے میرے جسم کے ہر حصے پر اپنے نور کا اثر کر دے آمین او اللہ on this day awaken me with the blessings of the early mornings illuminate my heart with the brightness of its rays let every part of my body follow its effect by heart with the brightness of its rays let every part of my body follow its effects by your light O oh, the illuminator of the hearts of those who know اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد صلاة تنجينا بها صلاة تنجينا بها من جميع الأهوال والآفات وتقضي لنا بها جميع الحاجات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وترفعنا بها عندك أعلى الدرجات وتبلغنا بها أقصى الغايات من جميع الخيرات في الحياة وبعد الممات إنك على كل شيء قدير الله أكبر الله أكبر الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم هو الرابع والستون بعد المئة من العدوان والغارات الجوية على قطاع غزة والثامن من شهر رمضان المبارك عام 1445 هجري يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أيما مسلم أطعم مسلما على جوع أطعمه الله من ثمار الجنة أهلنا في غزة في كرب عظيم وفي شدة لا يعلم مداها إلا الله فمشاهد النكبة تطل برأسها من جديد شد قساوة منذ نكبة عام 48 والله إن الكلمات لا تعجز عن وصف ما نعانيه ومن هول ما نرى ونسمع من إبادة وتطهير أرقي لشعب أعزل وعلى مرأة ومسمع من العالم أجمع نقوم في هذا اليوم المبارك وبدعم كريم من فاعلات خير من دولة قطر على تجهيز وتوفير أكثر من 800 كيس طحين بوزن 25 كيلو يتم توزيعهم على مراكز الإيواء وفي الخيام على الأسر المتضررة والنازحة في مدينة غزة فبالنيابة عن الشعب الفلسطيني توجه بالشكر الجزيل والامتنان لفاعلات الخير من دولة قطر على هذا العطاء الكريم أصلى الله عز وجل أن يبارك في أموالكم وأبنائكم وأن يكتب أجركم والشكر موصول إلى دولة قطر حكومة وشعبا وأميرا على ما تقدم من دعم ومساند للشعب الفلسطيني هنا في قطاع غزة نشكر فاعلات خير من دولة قطر على هذا الدعم السلام عليكم الحمد لله سلامتكم كيف الطحين هذا مقدما فاعلات خير من دولة قطر أبعث الرسالة يعني رسالة قوية جدا وتحية لدولة قطر الشقيقة لي دائما وأبدا تدعم فلسطين وخاصة غزة نشكرهم كل أعماق قلبنا ولولا الله ثم القدر كان إحنا ضعنا كان إحنا والله جعنا 
ولكن اشهد لله قطر كل احترام وتقدير لهم واشكر كمان يعني من اعماق قلبي مؤسسه الخير اللي هي كل احترام وتقدير تاج راسنا مؤسسه الخير نشكر فاعلات قطر على مد العون لاهل فلسطين جزيل الشكر بارك الله فيكم وجزاكم الله كل خير الخير لا تدري بمن اعطي ساتي كذبا الله الرحمن الرحيم يشارككم اليوم فريق مؤسسة الخير لحظات من تجهيزات وتحضيرات اخواتنا النازحات في احد مراكز الايواء في قطاع غزه مراحل الانتاج وصنع الخبز ذلك استكمالا لمشروع توزيع الدقيق بتبرع كريم من فاعلات خير من دوله قطر اسال الله عز وجل ان يبارك في اموالهم وفي جهودهم. ينسى وكم بالخير قد رفعت محن يعطيك العافيه كفا كيف وصل الشغل معاكم؟ إن شاء الله مش متغلبين في إشي طويلين في الشغل أنت الذي بوجوده هذه الحياة بخير نشكر أخواتنا من دولة قطر الشقيقة على هذه اللفتة الكريمة في ظل هذه الظروف الصعبة التي يمر بها شعبنا الكريم على تمويل مشروع طحين الشعب أمس الحاجة لرغيف الخبز وبنشكر مؤسسة الخير برضو معاهم على الدعم هذا نتمنى منهم أنهم يستمروا في دعمهم إنا في ظل الحرب القاسية على شعبنا نتمنى منهم أنهم يدعمونا كمان في أنه جاي علينا عيد وحابين أنه نفرح أطفالنا في صنع حلويات من منتج الطحين وإن شاء الله ربنا بكون معانا ومعاهم وشكرا لهم وان شاء الله في ميزان حسنه مطر يغيث من العنا كالفرج من رب السماء يحيي الحياه اذا نزل لا لا يمل من العطاء نشكر فعالات الخير من قطر بارك الله فيك نشكر فعالات الخير من دولة قطر ونحييهم ونشكرهم نشكر فعالات الخير من قطر والله يحييهم الله يرزقهم ربنا يحميهم يا رب ويحمينا دعواتنا لهم ان شاء الله يا رب يروح ادورنا بالسلام ويا رب يخليهم لنا كن رحمة للغيب انت الذي Alcare Foundation has delivered over $300 million worth of aid in more than 75 countries around the world. 100% of zakat and emergency donations spent on projects, and we ensure beneficiaries come first. Over 300 of our lorries have entered Gaza through the Rafa crossing in recent months. Our motto is bless and be blessed, and we are turning your donations into direct delivery in the shortest possible time. Donate with confidence. शिनाज़ है असी चार पहना दो अपराइन ते एक मरिया मी है तो मरा अबू फौत हो गया उसको कैंसर दी बीमारी आ सी ते इलाज उस तबूरा नहीं है कदे रात उस तसा उठ जल्दा सा उस तरह सख्ती होंडी आ सी ते फिर आ से थे रात ही खड़ना आला भी कोई ना सा अबू दी ज़बान बंद आ सी उसके लकारी ना आता सा कोई चीज मंगता सा या पानी ते शारे कर दा सा ते जिस मर्दे टाइम किसी चीज दशारा नहीं की था ये अमी जुल्दी या कमास ते माले भी काम ढूंढ दिए कसा दे कपड़े थोड़े होए ते ते कसा दे कपड़े स्त्री करनी होए या बारी मारनी होए या उन्हें नाल लकड़ियाँ कसा नाल चाह के खड़ किंदी है ना ते कहाँ कब किंदी है अगर कम कर के दा ते कोई चीज मिल गिंदी है पकी रोटी या इस तरह आटा या कोई चीज मिल गिंदी है कोई कम ना आया ते फिर आसे पक्के होने आप रोटी ना खान दे ज़्यादातर कहाँ वही होने 
ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੁਕੀ ਰੋਟੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ ਕਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਸਾਗ ਜਾਂ ਤਲਾਂ ਦਾ ਰੁਚਣ ਕੇ ਕਹਿਣ ਆਂਦੇ ਆ ਪੱਟੀਆਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਖਰੀਦ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੀ ਤਾਕਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਸੇ ਸਾਗ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਣੀ ਨਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਕਿਤੇ 2-400 ਰੁਪਏ ਕੋਈ ਥਾ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਬਸ ਇਹ ਆਟਾ ਬਸ ਆਣ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਪੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਤੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਆਣ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਸਤੇ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਜ਼ੁਕਾਮ ਵਾਇਰਸ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੱਗ ਜੁਲੇ ਪੈਸਿਆਂ ਕੋਲ ਦਵਾਈ ਕੋਲ ਬਗੈਰ ਇਲਾਜ ਹੋ ਜੁਲੇ ਤੇ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਮੀ ਕੇ ਸਾਥ ਅਸੀਂ ਜੁਲਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਧਰ ਉਧਰ ਮਾਲੇ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਰਿਸ਼ਤੇਦਾਰੀ ਵੀ ਲੋਕ ਆਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਵਾਨ ਜਵਾਨ ਕੁੜੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰਦੀ ਹਨ ਬਾਹਰ ਕਿਧਰ ਜੁਲਦੀ ਹਨ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਲੋਕ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਆਤ ਸੜੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਨਿੱਕੀ ਜੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੇ ਘਰ ਨਾ ਸਾ ਤਮੂਆ ਸਾ ਉਸ ਪੇ ਚੋਲੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੜ ਕੇ ਸੜੇ ਹੁਣ ਮਾਜ਼ੂਰ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹੁਣ ਜਾ ਦਰਦ ਕਰਦੀ ਇਸ ਇਹ ਆਤ ਰੋਟੀ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਮੈਂ ਨਾ ਪਕਾ ਕੇ ਦਿਸਨਾ ਸਾਰੀ ਰਾਤ ਅਗਰ ਬਾਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਆਈ ਤਾਂ ਡਰ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਫਿਰ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਖਦੇ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਬਾਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਅੰਦਰ ਆ ਜੁਲ ਸੀ ਚਾਰ ਦੀਵਾਲੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੀ ਬਾਵਾ ਥਰੂ ਮਸਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਾਤੀ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਾ ਨਿਕਲ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਨਿਕੇ ਪੈਣ ਪਰਾ ਕੋਈ ਉੱਠਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਿਸ਼ਾਬ ਵਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਸਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੋ ਦੋ ਨਾਲ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸੰਗ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਖਲਦੇ ਆ ਬਾਹਰ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਜੰਗਲ ਹੈ ਇਧਰ ਉਧਰ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਬਾਦੀ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਾਸ਼ਰੂ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਚਾ ਮਕਾਨ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗਰਮੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਚਿੜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅੰਦਰ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਸਭ ਆਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਿਕਲ ਕੇ ਨਸਤੀਆਂ ਕਰ ਆ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਡਰਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਤੇ ਛਤਾ ਦਰ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਸਭ ਤਲੇ ਚੜ ਜੁਲ ਸੀ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਖਾ ਕਿੰਨ ਸੀ ਫਿਰ ਬਾਰਿਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪਾਣੀ ਭਰਦੇ ਉਸ ਮਿੱਟੀ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਤਲੇ ਜੁਲਦੇ ਪੱਕੀ ਛੱਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸਤੇ ਕਰਦੀ ਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੂਫਾਨ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵਾਹ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਬਾਹਰੋਂ ਗੰਦ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਧੂੜ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੀ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਆ ਜੁਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਗੇ ਦੀਵਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਲਾਸਟਿਕ ਫਿਰ ਬਾਜ਼ਾਰ ਤੇ ਅਸੇ ਆਣ ਨਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਘਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਪਲਾਸਟਿਕ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਿਨ ਬਿਸਤਰ ਸੇ ਜੁਲ ਦਿਨ ਰਾਤ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਰਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੇ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਈ ਨਾਲ ਚਿਮੜ ਕੇ ਬੈਠਦੇ ਆ ਜੋੜ ਜੋੜ ਕੇ ਬੈਠਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਸਰਦੀ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਬਚਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕਸਾ ਦੇ ਬਿਸਤਰਾ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਸਾ ਦੇ ਬਿਸਤਰਾ ਆਂਦਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਠਿਰਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੇ ਆਖਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਇਤਨਾ ਵੇਲ ਦੇ ਅਸੇ ਰਾਤੀ ਦੇ ਅਗ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬਿਸਤਰੇ ਹੋਵਨ ਜੀ ਅਸੇ ਰਾਤੀ ਗਰਮ ਹੋ ਜਣਾ ਬਾਹਰ ਬਰਫ ਬਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਾਰਿਸ਼ ਬਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਸੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਠਿਰਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੇ ਆਖਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਅਸਾਂ ਦਾ ਘਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਇਤਨੀ ਬੜਾ ਘਰ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੈਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਯਾਰ ਕੋਈ ਬੜੀ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਾਂ ਬੜੀ ਕੋਠੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਖਦੇ ਆ ਇਤਨਾ ਘਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਰਿਸ਼ ਨਾ ਤਲੇ ਆਵੇ ਪਾਣੀ ਨਾ ਤਲੇ ਆਵੇ ਤੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਹਵਾ ਨਾ ਜੁਲੇ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਅਸਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਾਸ਼ਰੂਮ ਹੋਵੇ ਇਧਰ ਇੱਕ ਤੱਕ ਚਾਰ ਦੀਵਾਰੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਿੱਥੋਂ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਬਾਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਲੰਘੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੇਹ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਘਰ ਵੀ ਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੇਹ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਚਾਰ ਦੀਵਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਖਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ
ਸਕੂਲ ਜਾਣਾ ਦੀ ਵਰਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਸਾ ਸੁਣ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਕਪੜੇ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਜੁਲਦੇ ਨੇ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਰੰਗ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਖਰਾਬ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਨਾਂ ਕੰਦ ਨਵੀਂ ਵਰਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਪੜੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਛੋਟੇ ਛੋਟੇ ਹੋਈ ਦੇ ਰੰਗ ਖਰਾਬ ਹੋਈ ਦੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਠੰਡ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਬੱਚੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਘਰ ਆਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਆ ਜਾ ਸੰਕੋ ਸਕੂਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਤਨੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਠੰਡ ਲੱਗ ਲੱਗ ਕੇ ਜਨ ਕੋ ਕੋਟਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਠੇਰ ਠੇਰ ਕੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਆ ਸੇ ਰੋਣਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਯਾਦ ਆਂਦੇ ਜਾਂ ਸਿਆਖਤੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਕੁੜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿਆਹ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਮਾਨ ਜਾਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੇਂਦੇ ਤੇ ਅਸ ਤਾਂ ਪੇ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਤੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੇਂਦਾ ਤੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਦੇ ਇਥੇ ਕੁਛ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਅਸ ਘਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਰੋਟੀ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਦੋ ਟਾਈਮਾਂ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਥਾਂਦੀ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਮਿਲ ਸੀ ਮਰ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਜੁਲਦੇ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਕਬਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਜੁਲਦੇ ਆ ਫਿਰ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਆ ਸਿਆਖਦੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸਾਂ ਤੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਲਾਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਮਰ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਅਸਤ ਕੇ ਹੋਸੀ ਪੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਯਾਦ ਆਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਦੋ ਟਾਈਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਟਾ ਆਣ ਕੇ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਮੁਚਾ ਸਾ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਿੱਕੇ ਭੈਣ ਭਰਾਵਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਚਾਹਦਾ ਸਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕੋ ਲਾਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਸਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਹੋਰ ਨਾ ਸਾ ਸਹਰਾ ਰਾਤੀ ਦਾ ਸੰਗ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸਾ ਨਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਖਦੇ ਸਿਰਫ ਅਸਾਂ ਦੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਗੁਜ਼ਰ ਜੁਲੇ ਆ ਰੋਟੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਦੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਕਪੜੇ ਬਣਾਉਂਦੇ ਨਾ ਸਿਆਖਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰਾ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਸੂਟ ਵੀ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਮੁਚੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਕੋਈ ਕਰਾ ਦੀ ਛੱਤ ਚਾਰ ਦੀਵਾਰੀ ਚਾ ਦੇਵੇ ਜਾਂ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਰਾਸ਼ਨ ਚਾ ਦੇਵੇ ਜਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਕਪੜੇ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਚਾ ਦੇਵੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਸਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਖੁਦਾ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਆਖਰਤ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਕਰੇ ਮਾਲ ਖੁਦਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋ ਆਖਰਤ ਵੀ ਦੇਵੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਸਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋ ਖੁਦਾ ਦੇਵੇ ਸ਼ਰਾਬਤ ਨਫਸੀ ਬਿਨੂਰਿਨ ਮਿਨ ਫੁਹਾਦੀ ਹੀਨਾ ਮਰਾਦਤ ਯਾ ਰੱਬ ਅਲਾਇਮਾਦੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਕਰਮ ਬੀਬੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਦੋ ਬੇਟੇ ਮਾਜ਼ੂਰ ਹਨ ਪੰਠੀ ਖਾਂ ਉਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਚੁਦਾ ਹਨ ਉਹਨੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੋ ਪਦਾਸ਼ੀ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨੇ ਦਾ ਅੱਬੂ ਫੌਤ ਥੀ ਗਏ ਬਸ ਅੱਲਾ ਪਾਕ ਰੋਜ਼ੀ ਰਜ਼ਕ ਦੇਂਦਾ ਪਏ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵਕਤ ਹੈ ਅੱਲਾ ਪਾਕ ਦੇਂਦਾ ਪਏ ਅਲਹਮਦੁਲਿਲਾ ਗੁਜ਼ਰੇ ਦੇ ਪਏ ਹੈ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਰੱਖ ਜੇ ਨੋ ਸ਼ਜਾ ਮਹਰਮ ਦੇ ਦਾ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਰੱਖ ਜਨ ਸ਼ਬਾਨ ਦੇ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਰੱਖ ਜਨ ਮਹਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਦੇ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਰੱਖ ਜਨ ਤਰਾਵੀ ਪੜ ਜਨ ਨਮਾਜ਼ ਪੰਜ ਟਾਈਮ ਪੜ ਜਨ ਬਾਕੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਜ਼ਰੀਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਾਡੀ ਜ਼ਮੀਨਾਂ ਹਨ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੇ ਕਾਰੋਬਾਰ ਹਨ ਬਸ ਅੱਲਾ ਦੀ ਆਸਰੇ ਤੇ ਪਏ ਹਨ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਗੁਜ਼ਰੰਦੇ ਬਖਤਨ ਗੁਜ਼ਰਦੇ ਪਏ ਬਈ ਭੇਣੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਬਾਲੀ ਮੈਂ ਦੁਖਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸ਼ਦੀ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਦੀਰੀ ਦੀ ਕਾਰ ਹੈ ਉਹਦਾ ਵੀ ਘਰ ਲਾ ਫੌਤ ਥੀ ਗਏ ਉਹ ਵਲਾ ਦੁਖੀ ਰਹੇ ਬੰਦੀ ਜਕ ਦਾ ਮੁਕ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਦਿਲ ਜੋ ਦੁਖੀ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਸ਼ਦੀ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਨਾਲ ਜੋ ਹੀ
میرے بیٹیاں تو وہی سوچائی ہیں لتیں کو معذور ہیں اکھیں کو موتھا جن کن ٹھیک ہیں دماغ زبان توتلی الوئی جو ہیں توتلا الوئی ہیں تو سن جائیں صحیح ہیں چھوٹی جڑی قرآن مجید ماشاء اللہ پنجواں سپارا پڑھ دی میں آپ پڑھی نہیں ہوں قرآن مجید بال پڑھی نہیں ہوں میں میرے کو بال پڑھ دیں ہوں دے بچ اللہ دی مخلوق قرآن دے طرف ہوں میری کوئی خدمت کریں دے چاہ انہیں کو بلا کھوے نہیں ہوں بچے معذور ہیں کو کھوے نہیں آپ ہی کھانی ہیں باقتے گزردہ پائے بریانی گوست ہو کہنا ہی سالیں بعد اچھی چیز تو سرمائے نال ہوں دیا جیسے ہیں دیتے بیٹھی ہیں جو اتنا آمد ہو بھی تا اچھی چیز کھاؤں ایک ٹیم اللہ پاک جلے دے 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 کھا گھن دے جلے نہیں ہوں دے پیچھے جب کر دے گزارہ کر چھوڑے نہیں ہیں نون مرچے نالی کھا گھن دے ہیں کل آئین سارے کلو آل خیر علی ساکو دیکھ گئین سارے حالات دیکھ گئین آج ساکو راشن دے منائے بیٹھے ہیں الحمدللہ سونا ہے محرم زان گزر ہوئے سی بچے خاصن دعا کرے سن روزے رکھ سن نماز پڑھ سن قرآن پڑھ سن دعا کرے سن انہیں دے حق کے چھے معذور بچے تا فقیر ہیں جنہیں ماں دے پیٹی چھے تا گناہ ہی کرن پاک پھول لیں جیلی دعا کرے سن اللہ سے ہوا قبول کرے دیں Bless and be blessed with something extraordinary this Ramadan. Within these donation packs lies a story of hope. Within our care, we carefully pack essential food items donated by you. The generosity that binds communities together is contained within us. With every donation, we are prepared, packed and delivered. And as we find our way through mountains and villages, we bring more than just sustenance. We bring joy, smiles, and the promise that a brighter future is ahead. Your zakat helps to turn hunger into hope. Last year, over one million individuals benefited worldwide from the food packs that we delivered. And this Ramadan, it's your turn to make a difference. So remember, bless and be blessed with something extraordinary every time you donate. Donate with confidence. Donate without care. Gaza, destruction everywhere. Where once used to stand someone's home, is now filled with debris from the disaster caused by constant bombing on innocent lives. with fatality everywhere. It's hard to know where step foot, because every inch is covered by dead bodies. <laughs> 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 
Spots of blood speak stories of horror seen or heard ever before. Atmosphere is heavy, with screams of people bereaving from losing their loved ones. The ones who live have their lives changed because the emptiness will drown them in never-lasting sorrows. <laughs> Some footages are so sensitive we are unable to show our viewers the depth of this nightmare, but we must deliver the message across. Our donors have supported in these desperate times and the people of Gaza will always remember your contribution. Yet, we have a long way to go, more to do, much to achieve for the people Gaza. May Allah protect the people of Gaza and ease their pain. May Allah accept their prayer and your support in Shalla. So save Gaza innocence. फातिमा बीवी है चार साल हो गए मेरे शोर के इंतकाल को वहां से मुझे मैके में भाइयों ने शिफ्ट कर दिया था यहां पे मैं रहती हूं लेकिन बड़ी मुश्किल और बड़ी तंगदस्ती से रह रही हूं मेरा अपना कोई मुस्तकबिल नहीं है खुद मेरे पास इतनी तालीम नहीं कोई जॉब कर सकूं घर का खर्च है राशन वगैरह दूध है सब्जी है हर चीज है फिर बच्चे बीमार हो जाते हैं बड़े बेटे का ही मसला है अब उसके सर का बता रही हैं इतनी मेरी गुंजाइश नहीं है कि मैं सीटी स्कैन करा सकूं बच्चे का छोटे बच्चे का जिगर का बोल रही हैं मेरी बेटी उसकी कमर का थोड़ा हड्डी का मसला है वो चलती है तो उसके फिर भी दर्द हो जाता है तो इतनी मुश्किलात आती है मेरे पास इतने पैसे नहीं है कि हमारी घर के पास से गाड़ी जाती मैं यहां से गाड़ी लगा सकूं 
फिर सामने रोड से मैंने गाड़ी ले गई है वो भी अब मेरे पास ऐसा वक्त आ जाता है कि उस गाड़ी वाले के लिए मेरे पास पैसे नहीं होते फिर वो कहते बाजी मैं आपके बच्चों को नहीं उठाऊंगा पैसे दो कभी बच्चों के स्कूल के लिए पैसे नहीं होते फिर वहां से टीचर बोलते हैं आपके बच्चों का नाम काट रहे हैं कभी गाड़ी वाले छोटे चले जाते मामा के पास पैसे नहीं होते तो कभी स्कूल में पैसों की जरूरत होती मामा के पास पैसे नहीं होते फिर ये आठ साल के बाद यूनिफॉर्म लेना पड़ते फिर कॉपियाँ लेना पड़ती मामा के पास पैसे नहीं होते बहुत मुश्किल होती हैं कहते कि हम लोग जाए कैटरी से हमारे पास पैसे हम लोग चीज़ें लें तो मम्मा के पास इतने पैसे नहीं होते आप लोग को कोई लंच दे दे साथ में स्कूल में और बच्चे भी चीज़ें लाते हैं हम लोग को कभी दिल होते हैं कि हमारे पास भी लंच हो शायद क्या बाबा होते हैं हम लोग को कोई चीज़ की कमी नहीं होती बच्चे ये बात बहुत ज़्यादा बोलते हैं कि पापा होता है काश मामा ये बात हमारी पूरी होती पापा होता ये बात पूरी होती इसलिए फिर मुझे बहुत दुख होता मैं कोशिश करती हूँ उनकी हर बात पूरी कर सकती हूँ नहीं कर सकती बच्ची बहुत ज़्यादा क्लोज थी अपने बाप के साथ ना अक्सर महसूस करती रहती है मैं उसको हौसला देती हूँ हिम्मत देती हूँ लेकिन खुद टूट जाती हूँ ऐसे बच्चे भी है जिनका कोई भी नहीं होता वो अकेले होते तो लिए था तो वो आए घर पे थे तो लोगों ने बच्चे भेजे थे वो कहे थे कि आप लोगों को कितना टाइम हो गया आप लोगों ने पैसे नहीं दिए तो हमारा कर्जा दे पड़ोसियों से उधार लेती हूँ कर्ज बहुत हो गया मुझ पे दुकानों का कर्जा है स्कूल में कर्जा है बहुत सारे कर्जे मुझ पे परेशानी रहती है सोचती रहती हूँ कैसे उतारूंगी क्या करूंगी इतनी सपोर्ट नहीं है इतने पैसे आमदन है नहीं फिर बच्चों की पढ़ाई का खर्च है फिर बच्चों की बीमारी का दुख दर्द का खर्चा है यहाँ के हालात भी ऐसी हैं अस्पतालें भी महंगी हैं लेके जाती हूँ बच्चों को तीन चार हजार पाँच हजार आसानी से लगते हैं और कभी वक्त ऐसा है मेरे पास हजार रुपया भी नहीं हुआ होता कभी लेट हो जाते कभी ऐसा नहीं रहता है कि हम लोगों ने खाए जो खाना फिर हम लोग एक टाइप की नहीं खाते थे दो टाइप की नहीं खाते थे फिर तीसरे टाइप की खा लेते थे या पड़ोसी दे या फिर मामू लोग दे और रात को अगर हम लोग उठे तो भूखे जो हो तो खाने के लिए आगे बचते होता मोहल्ले में दुकानदार हैं इनसे उधार लगाए हुए लेकिन ये भी फिर सूरत में देते हैं कि पहले के पैसे में क्लियर कर लूं फिर मैंने पड़ोसियों से उधार मांगे या गुरुदार भी नहीं मिला फिर एक वक्त का मैंने खाना मांगे या एक वक्त के लिए मैंने आटा मांगे दूध मांगे इस तरह का वक्त किया मेरे ऊपर अगर हम लोग बाबा के साथ बिता जाए बाबा अगर कुछ चीज़ चाहिए हो हमें तो अगर हम लोग बाबा को बोले बाबा ही चाहिए बाबा कहते हैं हमारे पास मेरे पास में पैसे नहीं फिर आप फिर ले कर दे दूँगी फ्रूट होने चाहिए अच्छा
de onde... بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear respected brothers and sisters Welcome back to tonight's appeal for the people of Gaza Tonight we and you together will be doing our efforts and trying our best so we can feed and help as many people as we can in Gaza my brothers and sisters, over the past many, many months now, we have been aware about the situation in Gaza. Every single one of us knows what's happening in Gaza. We are all aware about the pain, the suffering, the hunger, the bombing of, 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 the, of the Gazans. And we are also aware, alhamdulillah, at least our donors and our viewers are aware about our work that we are doing in Gaza, the work Al Khair Foundation is doing inside of Gaza. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with the opportunity that He is allowing us to use our money to be used in the best possible way to help the people of Al-Aqsa, to help the people of Gaza, to help the people who have lost everything in their lives from their homes to family members to their own health to their belongings to their own clothes, they have nothing left. They have completely stripped to just them and subhanAllah the clothes they have been wearing subhanAllah some people have been wearing even the same clothes for the past four or five months this is reality in Gaza right now this is how they are facing this uh, challenge and this test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they are in my opinion passing it with flying colors the way they are responding to the trauma the way they are responding to the, uh, the suffering it is just inspiring to us subhanallah it is inspiring to see someone have so much iman that when they are seeing their homes bombed when they are standing in front of the bodies of their own families and entire families not just one person entire families the only thing that comes and leaves them out and their tongue is the shukr of Allah it is the hamd of Allah it is inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un and the words are so amazing that they say ya rabb continuously to take from us until you are pleased with us hatta tardak until you are happy with us and this is their iman so the people of Gaza are not just Muslims they are mu'mins they are people of iman who truly believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they believe in his promise and when they need food when they are hungry when they are thirsty they don't turn to anyone except to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fact that we are standing here today the fact that you are watching this today the fact that we have been giving to the people of Gaza is a testimony that they du'as are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah makes and mobilizes the ummah to come to their help and this is part of that mobilization this is part of the response at the battle of Badr you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding the people who fought in the path of Allah He said when they fought they did not fight but Allah was the one that was fighting them And when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in the battle took sand and he threw it at the enemy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَا That it was not you that threw the sand but it was Allah that threw the sand And the likewise my brothers and sisters when we are giving our money towards the people of Gaza when we are helping the people of Gaza it is not us who is helping the people of Gaza it is not us who is feeding them but it's Allah is feeding them Allah is helping them Allah is coming to the Nusra and to him we belong and to him we ask for help and to him my brothers and sisters we return my brothers and sisters 
tonight as we're going to continue this appeal you want everyone to wake up because for a few hours a day for a few minutes a day at least we can be sincere towards the people of Gaza at least we can take some time out and say you know what let's stop everything else for a moment I need to include myself in this work because tomorrow when I have to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I need something to say I need to have some proof ready I need to have a burhan ready and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a sadaqatu burhan that your charity is a proof so on Yawm al-Qiyamah we have all of this proof ready the sadaqah that we spend in the part of Allah to show Allah Ya Allah we did not come empty handed Ya Allah we did not neglect our, neg neglect our brothers and sisters in Gaza but rather Ya Allah when we heard about the suffering and we found a means to get our aid to them we used that means we used that organization and we sent our money in the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Alhamdulillah as you can see Mulana Riyan Saab is also here next to me, Amir al muminin Hazrat Mulana Riyan, Dan Barakatuhum. So I hand you over to Hazrat Ji. How are you doing, Harun? I'm good, man. Alhamdulillah. How's Ramadan? Ramadan is flying by, man. I'm going to be honest, it's flying yeah. by. Uh, you know, in, in, in the beginning of Ramadan, you, you know, I remember I'm saying, you know, before we're going to know it, we're going to be in the middle of Ramadan and we're going to be in the end of Ramadan. It's you actually know, happened. It's, it's, it's happening, man. <laughs> it's going so quickly. The, from the tent till, the, till today, I didn't even realize this, this, how, where this part went. The other day, I remember just saying the first Ashara has finished and we've just moved into the second Ashara. Yeah. And now that just seems like the other day. The other, and now in a couple of days, we will be saying the second Ashara is finished. We'll be yeah. moving into the third Ashara. And by the time you know it, we'll be saying in a couple of days, it's going to be Eid Girat. Yeah, we're going to give you Eid gifts back. That's what we'll be saying. Please donate your Eid gifts back. Eid will be there. Subhanallah. So time is, is, is going flying by, by extremely, extremely fast. And uh, therefore, we have to also um, work extremely fast. Yeah. That people have not been uh, participating, people have not been donating, people have not been uh, coming and saying labbaik to the appeal. They surely have. Yeah. And, uh, you know, our way of helping the people of Gaza is actually this yes absolutely. this, this because is, yeah. what else can we do jolog uh, well close to gaza like molana qasim um, has gone he is there and you have seen him um, that's the closest that we will ever get there not all of us can go there because some of us have to stay here in the studio um, as much as I would like to be there. Harun Marshall has been. He would like to go again. Um, but someone has to, some people, some presenters have to stay here and we have to yani, play this role in the yes. studio. Alhamdulillah, we play it very, very happily and we do this very, very happily. Yes. Because this is our yani, way of uh, showing and expressing uh, to the people of Gaza hey, hum yaha pe hai. We are here, the Ummah is here, ready for you uh, to do whatever we possibly uh, can for you. And you on the other side uh, are doing exactly the same thing, or we want you to do uh, the exact same thing. Uh, thinking and believing that you, uh, from your positions, from your houses, you are doing by supporting and by coming forward and by donating whatever amount uh, that you can possibly donate for this uh, cause, unfortunate cause, unfortunate cause uh, indeed. Look how much the people of Gaza have been suffering. It's not since the 7th of October. It's a pehle bhi chale jai. How much and... Uh, um, 70 years they've been... Seven, de eight, uh, um, seven, eight decades. Yeah. Se wo safar kar and they are in this strip of land called Gaza. They have been thrown in this area and they are, they are simply trying to live their lives as refugees, nothing else, yeah. because their main houses and properties and lands has been taken away from them and they, they do not even know where that is anymore. They are in Gaza and now in Gaza, if, you, if they are to go and find their property, the house, it will be impossible. They surely will not know, May, once upon a time I used to live here in Gaza. Once upon a time I used to play around here in Gaza. The, because Gaza is all flat. 
So this is our way of showing to the people of Gaza that we are with them. Therefore, uh, Ramadan food packs, uh, iftar meals, uh, tents, whatever Al Khair Foundation is able to provide for the people of Gaza. Is ke liham apko kehre or appeal kare that come forward and let's not uh, let us not allow mm. these days that we are in uh, to go to waste. Absolutely. To ab bar chad ke aage aaye every single person ab calls bhi kar sakte hain not only. On 03000999786, but also here in the studio or Hamara Saad Dijab. That's what we want from every single person, inshallah, on the other side. Today, another iftar has gone by. How much are we actually praying for these people? In Kilia Ham Vakiatan Karkyarehem. On screen, ha, in Kilia Dua Kartehe. Yeah, do we once we I go off screen once you uh, stop watching us Kia do we make dua for them? Do we make dua for the ummah? Do we make do we say? Ya Allah have show mercy and help the people of Gaza Kia hum ye kehte hai dua ho mein Allah knows best Allah knows best why all this is happening Hame nahi pata Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. This is qadr, this is the way it is supposed to roll out. For whatever reason, Allah knows the best reason. As iman wale, we believe and the, the, this is the fate, this is our qadr, this is the qadr of the people of Gaza. They are supposed to go through what they are going through, unfortunately. But at the same time, we are here for to do our part, and this is a test for us as well. Yep. Are we doing enough for them? Are we, when we do, when we do the appeal kya up, is appeal kya under shari kore? That's the sawal, that's the question that you should be asking yourselves. Are we going to help the people of Gaza to the max? Because when you read, you know, even last night, I don't want to say it because it's just so um, sad. Mm. Yesterday, um, I was, uh, but after my Taravi and me, my mom and my fa family members, we made uh, dua together like, like we do every night. And I look forward to it so much. I finish from here, it takes me two hours to get home. I get home, I do my wudu and the prayer mats are all laid out. And you know, I do my Isha and I do my Taravis because they had finished by then. They wait for Witr Salah, we do Witr Salah together. Then we make a long collective uh, dua, not just dua in the sense that how to dua karte, but sujood me jaake bhi dua karte hain. And you know, you feel refreshed. You feel, you know what? I've, I've, you know, I've ended my night um, in a nice way. Sahri se pehle, you know. And sahri se pehle, sometimes what happens? Mom's still awake, so she's in her room reading her Quran. You can, I can hear, I can hear her from my area, and she will call me down. You know, come down. Let's make another dua. Put a mic room pe ja ke, you know, we make another dua in her room, and it, it's just satisfying. Because sahri se pehle, you've done so much. Uh, you, you know, and that's the way it, it should be, and that's the way it's been my Ramadan. Otherwise, I feel it's not enough. Absolutely, you know, once you've you've, you've made a habit of doing something, and you don't do it, it feels like you know you, you there's something missing. There's something Absolutely. missing. Absolutely, and uh, and this moment in time, we have to. To uh, do this, you know, appeal is not just enough. Mm -hmm. Me standing here and doing appeal and trying to encourage people to donate is not enough. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. We have to, yani, uh, combine a dua with this, and it all has to work uh, together, inshallah. And something will surely come out of this. Something will surely come out of this. A 13-year-old girl, the way uh, she was kidnapped and starved for five days, and uske baad, us 13-year-old ke saath kya hua, I don't want to go into that. Well, I do not want to go into that, because it's just devastation. And imagine uske baad, she was thrown after being used, you know, in a such a bad way, horrific way, and then the father took her to the hospital, whether she lived or not, wallahu alam bi sawab. But uh, the situation is like that, a 13-year-old, 13, terasal, 13-year-old, the, um, the way she was hand uh, um, handled and treated is, is beyond expectation. Or is that not only girls, but boys ke saath bhi. 
you know, and there are so many, so many incidents, people, jo aap bhi shayad, social media pe ja ke, you hear these interviews, people coming on and saying exactly what happened. And, you know, it's heartbreaking. You know, and I don't know, I don't have words to um, speak or say, you know, what, what, they, what, what they actually go through. It's, 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 it's very hard to yani, hear. It's, it's, um, it's very difficult. So let us, let us at least, viewers, I will say this, um, when we do an appeal, you know, if you have donated, Allah bless you. Wallahi, Ameen. Allah bless you for your donation and for Allah bless you for the duas that you are making. Lekin aur bhi bohut saare log hain, jo is waq TV ke saamne hain, aur aap se hum ye appeal karne, that come forward people and let's give as much as we can in this blessed month of Ramadan. Call in the studio, 0208-662-4550, before run, aap call kare. Subhanallah, absolutely. And brothers and sisters, when Mulan Sahib is saying, you know, these people have not been suffering since October 7th. You know, they have been suffering for a very, very long time. And you know, I actually have a list of all the massacres that have taken place in Palestine. Um. And subhanallah, you know, I, I just want to go quickly. The, 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 subhanallah, about 27 on, on this list, right? You've got the Hebron massacre, 1929. Yeah. You've got the Haifa massacre, 1937. Yeah. Jerusalem massacre, 1937. Haifa massacre again, 1938. Balad sheikh massacre, 1939. Haifa massacre, 1939. Haifa massacre, 1947. Abbasiyya massacre, 1947. Al-Qisas massacre, 1947. Babel Amut massacre, 1947. Jerusalem massacre, 1947. Sheikh Burek massacre, 1947. Jaffa massacre, 1948. Tantura massacre, 1948. Deir Yasin massacre, 1948. Khan Yunus massacre, 1956. Jerusalem massacre, 1967. Sabra and Shatila massacre 1982, Al-Aqsa massacre 1990, Ibrahimi massacre 1994, Janine refugee camp in April 2022, Gaza massacre 2008 and 9, then Gaza again 2012, Gaza 2014, Gaza 2018 and 19, Gaza 2021 and Gaza genocide 2023 which is still ongoing. ongoing. Subhanallah, when you look at subhanallah, what these people have been facing and going for, Again, this is not just about Gaza. You know, don't be deluded that this is a Gaza thing. They are going through all of this because this is the land of Al-Aqsa. This is the land that Subhanallah promised, not for Subhanallah a specific group only. This is a religious place for the Muslims. This is also important for the Jewish community and the Christian community. That's why when the Muslims took over Jerusalem at the uh, reign of Umar ibn Khattab, عنه, he actually ordered to bring 80 families into, uh, yeah. into Al-Aqsa. You know, yeah. bring them, because this is part of their religious tradition as well. Go and find these families and bring them back to Jerusalem. Why are they not here? Exactly. Mm. And then subhanAllah, when the uh, when 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 the uh, what do you call that you know when they came and, and they took over laksa again they subhanallah killed and murdered everyone subhanallah when what do you call those again the the templar knights and and and, and the whole thing they did subhanallah when they came and took over uh, the christians came and they took over laksa the again the, the not the no, romans no, no, no. the i've got the name subhanallah it's not coming to my mind. But come. the Templar Knights and yeah. the Christian army, basically, yeah. that was sent. Crusaders. The Crusaders. Crusaders. When the Crusaders arrived at Jerusalem, they came in Jerusalem and they murdered every yeah. single person. They, you know, they, in, in the narrations mentioned that we have we, uh, we, we, we spilled so much blood that the streets of Jerusalem were flowing with blood. Imagine that. It was flowing with blood. That's, what, that's, that's how much blood there was, subhanAllah, that they shed in Al-Aqsa. I mean, Salahuddin Ayubi, rahimahullah, arrived and conquered Al-Aqsa again and he entered. What did he do my brothers and sisters? The justice, they, they were scared that they, the Muslims are going to come and take revenge from us, that's what we did. They're going to come and they're going to kill our children. You know, they, they got so scared that people started to commit suicide. Yeah. People committed suicide because they thought, you know what, it's better to die than to, to be tortured to death by these Muslims. But when Salahuddin Ayyubi entered, he, he in fact, subhanAllah, not only did he tell them that you have a safe passage to leave from here, and we will in fact protect you, and we'll send your own army with you to protect you, but subhanAllah, he allowed families, whoever, who, you know, were not any harm to the place, they allowed them to stay. 
Safe and haven for them. Yes, safe haven. And then again, during the, the, the Salahuddin Ayyubi, he ordered the Jewish community to return again because they were you know, ex uh, executed and killed and, 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 uh, and you know, exiled from Jerusalem when the Christians came. So the Muslims brought the Jews back, subhanAllah, and told them, you are safe here now. And for example, you know, Salahuddin goes into one of the churches and he takes the cross, you know, one of the, uh, and, and that was the cross they said Jesus, uh, they, they hung Jesus on. So they said, that is the cross. So instead of going in there and destroying everything from the Christians, he took it off with respect. He placed it in a box. He, uh, you know, closed the box and he handed it over to the Christians. This, this is your amana. You know, this is how the Muslims have treated the community in that space. And then again in 1948, 47, in 1940s and the 30s, when the Nazis were killing the Jews, they were committing a genocide of the Jewish community. It was the Palestinians that opened their arms and said, come and live in these, in these lands. You know, you, you, there's still uh, images of the Jewish community arriving with big banners saying that, uh, you know, don't do us what the Germans did to us, what the Nazis did to us, you know, uh, yeah. have, have mercy on us. You know, don't do what the Europe did to us. SubhanAllah. So it was the Palestinians that opened their arms to these people and said, you know, come, you're allowed to come and live here. Live here with respect and dignity. But subhanAllah, today we can see how evil has overtaken subhanAllah that land and how they are subhanAllah bombing innocent children. They are bombing women. 70% of the people that have been killed in Gaza, 70% have been women and children. 70%! Yep. 70% my brothers and sisters, that's not a small percentage. That's the majority of the people that have been killed in Gaza are women and children. And there was a time when a Muslim, you know, Al Mu'tasim, you know, there's a woman in the Roman lands, in one of the areas in, in, that was under the control of the Byzantines and the Romans. She was imprisoned in, falsely, right? Without, wrongly. And she was crying out, Wa Mu'tasima, Wa Mu'tasima, look what they're doing to your Muslim sister. And when the local uh, the, the leader heard of this, and he came and he said, you know, do you think Mu'tasim is going to come and save you and help you and is going to come on with his army on black and white horses to save you, uh, mockingly. But when this news reached al Mu'tasim, when he heard of this, that one Muslim sister, one Muslim sister has been imprisoned and they are mocking her and they tr the way they are treating her, Mu'tasim left straight away with an army on black and white horses. Not only did they go and save her, they conquered the entire land. They conquered the entire land and when he entered the prison, he said, Oh woman, Murtasim is here on his black and white horse. This is, my brothers and sisters, the izzah, the honor, the ghayrah, the ghira the men had. Today, my brothers and sisters, our women, our women, our girls, our boys, our women are being, subhanAllah, la billah, but they're being raped. You know what they're doing? They're putting the men in a line, they're putting the women in a line, they're telling every single one of them, take your clothes off and look at each other. And if you don't look at each other, we're going to shoot you. They are saying, who is the honorable from amongst you? Or when they grab a woman and she says, I'm honorable, they take them specially to the side. Because you're honorable in society, you come with me. You're honorable, you come with me. You're honorable, who else is honorable from his women? If someone says, I'm honorable in my community, they take her as well. And they take her clothes off and they say, Evan, look at her. This is your honor. This is what's happening with our women, my brothers and sisters. Not Palestinian women. Our women. Our women. Our children. Our girls and boys. You know, these, these borders have, subhanAllah, divided us. But there are no borders for the Muslims. They are as much as our brothers and sisters in Palestine, as much as our brothers in Yemen, as much as our brothers and sisters in Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, China, you know, and wherever in the Middle East, in Europe, if you have said the kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, you're part of this family. And we are going to be there for you and we are going to look after you. And today, when they, today have been being starved to death, starved to death, you know, they have announced that the UN, UNRWA, they are not allowed to take any of the trucks to the north of Gaza anymore. They are not allowed to take the trucks to the north of Gaza anymore. So the only, the only aid that is reaching the north of Gaza is through these charities like Al Khair Foundation now. And I can tell you, majority of the charities that are delivered in Gaza, in the north of Gaza especially, are doing to Al Khair Foundation. 
through our kitchens because we have an infrastructure in place which other charities don't have. Because our leadership had the foresight to be opening all of these places throughout Gaza. You know, many charities have one office and they have one warehouse. We have warehouses all across Gaza. We have kitchens all across Gaza. Because we know when a situation like this arises, we need to have something in place in the different areas within Gaza. When other charities were trying to find a way into Gaza, Al Khair Foundation, not on the 7th October, 6th October, 7th October, 8th October, 9th October, our trucks were going in. I think 9 they closed it, I think, but 6, 7, 8, our trucks, convoys of aid was going in already. Not because, you know, we decided a day early to send, because we have been sending convoys into Gaza since well before 2018. Our entire hospital that was built in Gaza was built using material imported. So we have, alhamdulillah, an experience when it comes to delivery in, 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 in Gaza. But we don't stop there. You know, we could have said, Alhamdulillah, so far over 250, almost 300 trucks have entered Gaza. And, you know, Alhamdulillah, our work is going great, amazing. Let's, you know, chill because the system is working now. People are donating, appeals are happening, and the trucks are going. Alhamdulillah, no. What have we done now? We thought, okay, the people of Gaza are starving. What shall we do now? How can we get more aid into Gaza? What can we do to get more of food items and tents and all these items into Gaza? What can we do? Okay, we found the Abu Salim crossing. Abu Salim crossing is a crossing in Israel. They are allowing more trucks to enter from that border. How can we reach that border? Okay, let's go to Jordan. We partnered up with the kings, King Hussein's personal own organization. We partnered with the king's organization and we are using the Jordanian army. Not subhanAllah, you know, just uh, here and there and trying to figure something out. We are working with subhanAllah the top level. We are working with the Jordanian army. We are using their planes. We are taking, we are filling those planes, insha Alhamdulillah. It's going to the Al Arish airport. It is because of the system that they put in place for the airports. Our aid is reaching the borders of Abu Salim and they're letting it through because subhanAllah when on the 25th of March, I'll give you an example on the 25th of March from the Rafa border 155 trucks entered 155 trucks entered but from the Abu Salim border in, in Israel they allowed 237 uh, trucks to enter so they're allowing more trucks to enter from that, that part it could be political reasons it could be whatever reasons it is but that is the reality so but even though this is more expensive one pallet is costing us 5,000 pounds, my brothers and sisters. 5,000, well, not us, it's costing you 5,000 pounds. It's costing the whole operation, it's more expensive, 20% more expensive than using trucks. One may say, oh, why are, you, why are you doing the more expensive part then? Because we are not here to save money. We are here to save lives. We are here to save lives. And if we find tomorrow another way, and it's 30 and 40% more expensive, we are going to take that route. Because we know we can get you aid to Gaza and we know our donors that they are going to come forward and they are going to give. And this Saturday, this Saturday, our next plane is leaving. And many, many people have donated entire pallets. But there are still pallets which are, un, which are not donated for. We need you to come forward and start donating towards these pallets. If you are a business, if you are an organization, a masjid, a school, a volunteers group, uh, whatever, a group of friends, a group of investors, a group of whatever you are, and you can get 5,000 pounds together by yourself or by a group of people. We honestly, and, and I'm not saying it in any other way, we are begging you to come forward and to give because the people of Gaza are relying on this food to survive. Children, women, grandmothers, grandfathers, Subhanallah, imagine my brothers and sisters, there's a grandmother, she's 80, 90 years of age. She has got her, her both her sons, her daughters, her do daughter-in-laws, all have, have been murdered and killed. And now she's got, subhanallah, three, four small babies. She's got five, six toddlers. And she's the only responsible. How much stress, stress is she going through? I've seen a video of a woman and we showed you on screen of a grandmother. She's sitting there and she's got leaves in front of her and she's watching and she's cutting the leaves. And while she's cutting, she's just crying. She's crying. And the cameraman sees her and, 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 and she records, he goes, you know, oh mother, why are you crying? She goes, because I have nothing to feed my children. I've got nothing to my, my, my sons have died, my daughters have died, everyone has died. My grandchildren, I have to look after. How am I supposed to feed them? You have to feed them these leaves. They are boiling the leaves. 
They're making a little stew out of it and uh, getting lemons or whatever other thing they can find and they get some bread which is sometimes not even uh, new bread, it's kind of days old bread which has become hard and they're using that to eat and, 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 and to, to f fill themselves up. Whilst another grandfather, they asked him on camera, again we showed these videos in the past to you, they said, you know, they said, oh, mashallah, you've got a beautiful smile. You've got a beautiful smile. And the grandfather said, you know, because you smile at me, I have to I smile back at you. And, and, he, and, 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 and he goes, uh, you know, what are you, ha what are you having for iftari tonight? He goes, the same thing I had for suhoor. And he said, what was that? He goes, water. They are closing and opening their fast with water. This is reality, my brothers and sisters. And then, in contrast, in contrast, look at our dastarkhan when we sit for food. The amount of food as Alhamdulillah, and Alhamdulillah it's day. But the fact that it's day, it should make us realize that if I'm having this food here, all of this food here in front of me, what are my brothers and sisters in Gaza going through right now? Have I given something to them? Have I given something for them? Have I, you know, sacrificed maybe some of this food? If I couldn't do anything else, maybe could have, I could have sacrificed all the samosas and the pakoras and just gone to the main, main, main meal instead. And all the money that I'm spending on the pakoras and the samosas and all the rest, I could have sent it to, uh, to Gaza. This is how, really, I'm not saying that, like, you know, you, you start, you know, throwing everything away you have. And what I'm saying is we need to have that fikr in us. We need to respond. What do you think, Mulana? No, I, I agree, uh, um, Harun. And it's, it's, um, it's so hard, really, to digest what's going on Absolutely. in Gaza, you know. And the more we speak about it, the more hard it gets. And the more images and the videos we see on social media, the difficult it gets. But, um, you know, we feel a, a, peace, um, a peace of mind when we come here in front of the camera and we speak to you or phir aap se ye baatein share karte hain and aapko ye batate hain phir that look guys what shall we do hum aage is pe tarakki kaise kare how do we go forward and th this is when we expect hamare viewers call karke bar chad ke food pack ke liye bhi beshak aap donations dein iftar meals ke liye bhi beshak donations dein inko tents be chahiye rehne ke liye to tents ke liye bhi ab aage aaye and medical yani jo case hai ya medical box hai uske liye bhi aage aaye sanitation ke liye bhi aage aaye taaki apne aap ko wo yani park saaf bhi kar sake so there are many many packages al khair foundation can offer but those packages people requires us to come forward and donate isliye aap se sab viewers se main kehna chahta hu that call in Call into the hotline, call in here in the studio and tell us, share with us what you've seen on social media. Or is kill up kya karre? What are you doing about what you can see? As you can see, the Gaza food here, five a um, hundred pounds for a food. Donate for Gaza food, hundred pounds for a food, two hundred and fifty pounds for hygiene, Jesemen Abikaha, five hundred pounds for jo medical killer. 2,500 pounds sponsor half a pallet, 5,000 pounds gazerese sponsor full pallet with your name displayed, right? Now name displayed, it's going to be there, but that's not really important at this time, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's there to, yani, aapko kuch motivation dene ke liye, but really and truly, 5,000 pounds dene ke liye viewers me se, how many people are out there that can give a full pallet? Because is waqt, hame full pallet ki zoroot hai. Haan, beshak, baaki chizoon ke andar aap donate kar sakte hai. 100, 250, 500, 2,500, half a pallet. I'm looking at the last two. Last two ke liye, हमारे व्यूअर्स में से कितने लोग आ सकते हैं और अगर ये हाइजीन अगर ये मेडिकल है इसके लिए भी 500 पर इतफा ना करें बल्कि हजार दें यू नो गिव 1500 गिव 2000 गिव 5000 how many people out there ye jo list yahan par hai is list ko ada karne ke liye how many people can come forward that's what i want to hear from you because the people in gaza are starving the people in gaza they do not have anything whatsoever aur ye bilkul baat pakki hai now the only way they will get some form of aid the only 
only way they will get some form of support and something to eat so they can save their lives and the lives of their children and prevent them from dying is if we provide 5,000 pounds full pallet unko hum de sake. So come forward and dial the number 03000 999 786 0208 662 Just studio number hai, and tell us who will be the next person line pay, next person to say I will give one full pallet. Aap mein se kitne log hai? How many people are ready for this? Aagi hai, and think about Gaza, think about our situation here in this country, alhamdulillah, we have everything. Hum dawat bhi karte hai. Um, we feed yani, uh, jo family members hai, iftar party karte hai, iftar dawat karte hai. By all means, do that. Enjoy karein. Lekin jab jama honge, unko bhi yaad karein. Jab jama honge, jitne afraad ko ab dawat denge, unse so, do so, paanch so, wusool karein. Wusool karke, throw it towards 5,000 pounds towards a full pallet. That's what the dawat should be really aimed at. Aisa nahi hai, ke sab ko dawat denge, iftar party karenge, and you... Eat as much as you can and then apne apne garo pe chale jate hain. But make that dawat yani worthwhile. Abhi jo hala dunya ke andar hai, any dawat that we do, we have to make it worthwhile. Chole kol ki taraf chalte hain. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Ji, kahan se baat kar rahi hain aap? Ji, mein na South Hall se baat kar rahi hain. Haan ji. मैंने ना डोनेट करने थे पैसे हाँ जी मैंने 200 पाउंड पर डोनेट करने हैं 200 वज़ाक़ हल्ला जी 200 पाउंड के लिए आप जो है कॉल सेंटर पर भी कॉल कीजिएगा 03000998786 और कोई मैसेज देना चाहेंगे आप मैसेज बस यही होगी कि अल्लाह अल्लाह हम सब को अल्लाह हदात दे उनके लिए दुआएं करें हम सब اللہ ہم سب کو نیکی کی حضرت دے اور ان کے لئے بھی اللہ میں حفظل کرے آمین آمین جزاک اللہ جی ساؤتول سے کھول کرنے کے لئے جزاکم اللہ و حسن الجزا اللہ آپ کو بہترین سلا عطا فرمائیں تینکیو سو مچ تینکیو جی اور بھی لوگ ہوں گے that can call in and really and truly viewers آپ سوچیں think about the حالات in غزہ think about the children in غزہ think about what they are going through every second of the day how they are living their lives. Yeh sochne wali baat hai. Think about the fact, humare viewers mein se jo afford kar sakte hai, jin ke paas, mashallah, mali taqat hai, and they can afford it. 5,000 pound aap ke liye agar kuch nahi hai, to aap call kar ke 5,000 pound for a full pallet dijay. Inshallah, you will be saving. You do not know how many lives. You do not know how many lives aap save karenge. So this is the aim we should have and the intention we should have. So I really want Hamar viewers may say, Korn here next. Who will be next? MashaAllah, Sautol say, call I him. Who will be the next person in line to call and make a big donation, inshallah? Especially those people, they came, me saaf kya raho aapko. Jo log afford kar sakte hain. Jo log nahi kar sakte hain, aapko me push nahi kar raho. Whatever amount you can donate, aap call kar ke wo amount donate zaroor karein. Lekin 5,000 ke liye, how many people are ready? We want many, many 5,000 pounds because the cargo is going on Saturday, mashallah, you know, and we want to send many more cargoes. We want to send many more cargoes. But when it happens, when our viewers give us our side, and for 5,000 pounds, for a full pallet, for 2,500 pounds, for a half pallet, and for the other people in front of you, mashallah, here we are on the screen. So pick up the phone, dial the number, and do not hesitate. Ab himmat karein, because we are here for the people of Gaza. Absolutely, and alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, uh, you know, we are here and we are waiting for your next call. Whoever's going to call in, and they're going to say, we want to drink 5,000 pounds. Call in, Mr. Harun. Call in. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ji, kaha se baat kar rahi aap? Mein skan top se baat kar rahi aap. Skan top se baat kar rahi aap. خریت سے ہیں آپ الحمدللہ جی 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 کیا بتائیں گے آپ سٹوڈیو میں تھرو کیا ہے ہاں یہ سٹوڈیو یہ ابھی اس وقت آپ سٹوڈیو میں ہے جی جی ٹھیک ہے میں 
ایک ہزار پاؤنڈ ڈونیٹ کرنے جاتی ہوں ایک ہزار پاؤنڈ ڈونیٹ کرنے جزاک اللہ جی اور ایک ہزار پاؤنڈ غزہ کے لیے نا اوویسلی جی جی غزہ کے لیے اور کوئی میسیج ہے بس دعا کیجئے جی گا اللہ تعالیٰ میں اور بھی توفیق دے تاکہ ہم ان کے کام آ سکیں بلکل جی بلکل آپ اس طرح بھی کیجئے گا پلیز ہوت لائن پر کھول کیجئے گا اور وہاں پر کھول کر کے بتا دی جو ان کو تھاؤزن پاؤنڈ آپ ڈونیٹ کر رہی ہیں اوکے ہمارے لیے بھی دعا کیجئے گا ضرور پیری فیملی کے لیے ضرور اللہ بلیس کرے فیملی کو جزاکم اللہ اور دعا میں یاد رکھیں گے آپ کو انشاءاللہ نو ڈاؤٹ جزاک اللہ سکانتوب سے کھول آئی ہیں اتھاؤزن پاؤنڈز لیٹس آف مو پیپل حارون کھولنگ ان دی موسٹ امپورٹن تنگ ہی حارون ہے that uh, we have Hamara viewers we have a great chance absolutely because Molana Qasim is doing amazing enormous work mm. and the way he is doing his work is on the screen absolutely it's bilkul important. apparent bilkul, bilkul. so really and truly Hamara viewers may say next call may sunna chato mashallah they can 200 pounds a thousand pounds from Scantop who will be next who yes. will say ke mai 5000 inshallah dene ke liye taiyar hu uh, for a full pallet is tarah mujhe hame mutaaddad log chahiye many many people that can call and afford it yaad rakhe you are feeding to save lives this is a minimum bare minimum hum yahan england baith ke kar sakte hain isse zyada humse nahi hoga what else can we do hmm. other than give your money your hard and money your nafli sadqat inshallah your zakat inshallah to the people of gaza <coughs> and save lives through al khair foundation we, had, we have number 4 in milan we have our donors alhamdulillah are giving in a part of allah you know we just had shumi ali who was given towards uh, the gaza ap- emergency appeal 2000 pounds mashallah we have mahmoud ati who was given to the palestine appeal 150 pounds may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept we have arjuman bano rahim who was given 500 pounds towards the gaza appeal in between we have many other projects that people are giving to as well i'm just reading out the specific ones for gaza we also have liaqat sheikh who was given 100 pounds we have uh, khairia marikar we have rizana nazir we have alhamdulillah ramadan kitchen majid malid farzana qamar parveen akhtar subhanallah so many many people are coming forward imtiyaz muhammad Shafi Jamal, Nasreen Zahid, Imtiyaz Virasat, Mahmoud Khawaja, Pauline Begum, Wajid Hussain, Imtiyaz Khan. Alhamdulillah, the, the donations are coming in. Alhamdulillah, people are giving. But we want you to take part in also the appeal, inshallah. So alongside the donation hotline, inshallah, come forward. Come into, call, in, call into the studio. Mulasa, what's the studio number? 0208 Yes, call into this number, inshallah. Speak to us, speak to uh, the rest of uh, all of us, inshallah. This is a joint effort. This is not an effort from me and Mulana. This is not an effort from just Al Khair Foundation. This is a joint effort from you and us and all of us together. We are one team. And let's call into the studio. Let's get this appeal going so everyone at home gets inspired by you as well. Alhamdulillah. See, we had the first caller. After the first caller, the other callers got inspired and they start calling to the studio as well. And then subhanAllah, when you will call, many more people will get inspired and more people call to the donation hotline than the studio hotline. So you don't even know the amount of rewards that you are getting. You, you can't even realize the amount of donations that are written in your name, even though subhanAllah, you haven't spent a penny from those donations. But this is uh, the beautiful thing, the one that directs another person towards good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward, reward that person with the, as the same amount without taking any reward away from the person that donated in the first place. This is the mercy, the, 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 the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, get in Allah ki khazana me ko kameen nahi Right? It is not that uh, we are going to spend our money and Allah will have to distribute it accordingly because there's a certain amount He can only distribute. No. Allah gives with ghayri hisab. There is no hisab for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gives to whoever He wishes and however much He wishes. So to some He gives a lot, to some He gives a, a bit less, but He gives to everyone. He gives to everyone and it's all upon our intention. The hadith uh, that we learn and subhanAllah, the first hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari is innamal a'malu bin niyat that all of your actions depend upon your intention. 
All of your actions depend upon your intention. So make the intention. Make sure your intention is right. That, Ya Allah, I'm giving this for your sake. I'm giving this for your sake, for your happiness. I'm doing this because you have, subhanAllah, put a test on them and on us. And I'm trying to fulfill that, that responsibility, that covenant, that oath I've taken with you. That you are my Rabb. And when you have become my Rabb, I believe in you. I trust you. I, I rely on you. And this is, subhanAllah, that we all, uh, it's something that we all have to do, my brothers and sisters. Straight away, we want the next person to call in straight away. Call the studio hotline. Call the studio hotline, we are waiting and uh, you know you have to be careful today because today you know you've got the Kiramul Katibin in front of you. The one that's uh, writing the Hasanat and one that's writing the Sayyat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> he's got one in white and uh, I got just by chance in, 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 in complete black. So it looks like you know he's writing the Hasanat today and I'm writing the Sayyat. I'm the lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> You're the lucky I'm one. I'm the today. fortunate one. <laughs> SubhanAllah, hopefully you know it's the month of Ramadan and I don't have to write much today. No. Uh, I hope you're more busier today. Inshallah. But Alhamdulillah brothers and sisters, please keep donating, keep supporting. You know I have a we are going to go on a break, so inshallah we're going to show you, uh, you know, some uh, stuff later after break. But uh, inshallah, brothers and sisters, you know, the prices are here right next to me. You can give towards all of these items, and these are specific prices for the air cargo. Again, just to explain it to you, these are specific prices for the air cargo, which is leaving this Saturday. So by this Saturday, we need to have uh, the funds ready. In fact, we need it before that. So today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. So there's not much time left, my brothers and sisters. If you want to donate, you have to donate right now. 100 pounds towards the food, 250 pounds towards hygiene, 500 pounds towards medical, 2,500 uh, half a pallet, 5,000 pounds full pallet. Again, my brothers and sisters, if you, for example, cannot, you know, you've got 2,000 pounds and you haven't got 2,500, it doesn't mean that, okay, you have to go to the 500 pound one. It means give 2,000 pounds. Inshallah, we will take your money and we will, inshallah, arrange it that it, there's a full pallet ready and there's enough food packs on there and that will be in your name, inshallah, as well. So let's come together. Let's, let's take a call. There's a call. There's a call. Let's take the call. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Ji, ji, kaza. Ha, ji, baat kar raha अफगानिस्तान में जी मेरे बेटे का नाम है आजी फिजिफ खान रसूल शहीद उनके नाम की मस्जिद दो साल हो गए मेरी बात हुई थी वो दूसरे भाई जो आपके नाम उनका भूल गई हूं उन्होंने मेरे से बात की थी जी 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 तो आज मैं बात कर रही हूं आप वो वोटर हैंड पंप लगाते हैं पाकिस्तान में थार में कराची में जहां पर बहुत ज्यादा तकलीफ है पानी की हां जी हम वोटर हैंड पंप लगाते हैं लगाते हैं मगर उसका लोकेशन हम स्पेसिफिकली हम आपको प्रॉमिस नहीं करेंगे कि आपका उसी इलाके में लगेगा हमारा टीम हमारी टीम ने असेसमेंट की हुई है तो जहां-जहां पर जरूरत है वहां पर लगाते जा रहे हैं तो एग्जैक्टली exactly हम पार... पूरे पाकिस्तान में लगा रहे हैं हम हां पानी की ज्यादा तकलीफ है वो पाकिस्तान भी है और भी क्या कहते हैं वो खमरान में भी है बहुत सारी जगह है जहां पर तकलीफ है बहुत सारी जगह पे पानी की जरूरत है तो वहां पर हर जगह पे जहां-जहां हमारी टीम ने असेसमेंट की हुई है वहां पर वहां पर हम लगा रहे हैं मगर जब आप डोनेशन देना चाहते हैं मैंने देखा था कमेंट्री और दूसरे चैनल पर सुना है ना Specifically, एक लोकेशन जो ना एक सिंध के पास एक गांव है जो पूरा गांव जल के आ है पता ना बकरियां भी सब कुछ उनका घर भी जल के हैं तो वहां पर अगर आप वोटर पंप लगा दें तो वो वहां नहीं ठीक रहेगा जी बिल्कुल ठीक रहेगा ठीक रहेगा मगर स्पेसिफिक फिर मुश्किल हो जाता है इंप्लीमेंटेशन में कि अगर हमारी डोनर स्पेसिफिक जगह कहीं के हमने वहां पर लगाना तो हमारे लिए क्योंकि जिस तरीके से हमने सिस्टम लगाए हुए हैं जहां पर जरूरत है वहां लगाते जा रहे हैं जी मुझे नाम अब्दुल्ला खान मुझे जानते हैं अब्दुल्ला खान के अगर आपको पैसे दूं तो आप मेरे बच्चे का नाम लिखवा देंगे मेरे बच्चे आज ही जफर खान उसे शहीद हो चुके हैं अल्लाह को प्यारे हो चुके हैं दो साल हो गए जिनके नाम की मस्जिद बनी है अफगानिस्तान में 5000 पौंड दिया मैंने इमाम कासिम साहब को मस्जिद कहते हैं बन रही है बहुत सारी मस्जिदें आप बनवा रहे हैं आप इंशाल्लाह अगर आप अब्दुल्ला खान से बात कर लें इसके बारे में मेरी बात थोड़ी सी सुन ले प्लीज थोड़ा सा टाइम दें ना मुझे प्लीज प्लीज ऐसा करें कि मेरे बच्चे का जहां आप वोटर पंप लगाए ना हैंड वोटर पंप वहां नाम लिखवा सकते हैं तख्ती लगा के जी 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 बिल्कुल लगाते हैं बिल्कुल 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 
تو پھر آپ نے وعدہ کیا تو لگا کے فوٹو مجھے بھیج دیں نا پلیز ٹھیک ہے اب اب اس طرح کیجئے اب اب ایسا کریں اب جو عبداللہ کو جانتی ہیں نا آپ آپ کو بھی جانتی ہو ریان بول رہے ہیں جی جی بول رہا ہوں جی آپ عبداللہ کو فون کر لیں 03000-999786 اور یہ ساری باتیں جو ہے عبداللہ سے آپ شیئر کریں اور انشاءاللہ وہ لکھ لیں گے اور جو میں نے دینا ہے اپنا فدیہ دینا ہے ہاں جی دو فترانے دینے ہیں آپ ہی کو دے دوں آج ہی جی بالکل دے دیجئے بالکل دے دیجئے بالکل دے دیجئے لیکن دینے کے لیے اس نمبر پر کول کریں آپ کون سا نمبر ہے اب سکرین پر ہے 03000 چپل نائن ہاں ہاں اسی نمبر پر کریں مجھے نصیر بھی بیجنے ہوگی میرے ووٹر پمپ لگا کے مجھے فوٹو ضرور چاہیے ہوگی ضرور 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 انشاءاللہ اور ریان دعا فرما دینا پلیز دعا فرما دینا ابھی ابھی دعا فرما دینا ٹھیک ہے نا ضرور دعا کریں گے جی آپ کے لئے میرے نہیں ہے میرے بچوں کے لئے میری بیٹوں کے لئے غم کا عالم ہے پریشانی ہے ہمیں صبر کی دعا بھی کرنا ضرور آمین میں بیمار رہنے لگ گئی ہوں میری بیماری کے لئے بھی دعا کرنا میرے بچوں کے لئے بھی دعا کرنا پلیز بہت سائی دعائیں کرنا امام قاسم صاحب کو میرا سلام کہہ دینا پلیز ان سے میرا ان کو میرا بولنا وہ بھی میرے لئے سپیشل دعا کریں ٹھیک ہے نا میرے لئے میرے بچوں کے لئے میری بیٹیوں کے لئے پیٹوں کے لئے غم کا عالم ہے ریان پوز دعا کریں میرا جوان بچہ سلٹی ایٹ چلا گیا اللہ کو پیارا ہو گیا اللہ ان کو جنت جنت میں میرا بچہ نا آج آج کا لتکاہ کی تیاری کر رہا ہوتا تھا مسجد میں لتکاہ بیٹھا کرتا تھا جی 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 پہلی صاف میں تراوی پہلی صاف میں نماز جمعہ قرآن پاک پورا ختم کیا کرتا تھا اس کے آتھوں کا قرآن میں پڑھتی ہوں تھوڑا تھوڑا جی جی دعا کریں پلیز 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 دعا کرنا ضرور 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 کریں تو آپ کیا کروں بہت شکریہ کا اور میں آپ کو دے دیتی ہوں پیسے اور پیسے لے کے بھی دعا کرنا جہاں جہاں میں بروں گی وہاں دے دینا انشاءاللہ جی جی بہت شکریہ ریان آپ کو اور دوسرے پائی صاحب کا نام پتا آپ کی تمام پوری ٹیم کو سب کو میری طرف سے سلام آپ کو بھی جی تینکیو سو مچ تینکیو جی آپ بھی دعا میں یاد رکھیں اللہ بلیس یو اللہ بلیس یو فیملی اور جو بچہ ہیں ان کو جنت الفردوس نصیب کریں اللہ اور جو بھی پریشانی ہے اللہ دور فرمائے اور جو بھی مسائی بھی اللہ دور فرمائے انشاءاللہ اور جس مقصد کے لئے آپ ڈونیٹ کر رہے ہیں انشاءاللہ ان مقاصد کو اللہ پوری فرمائے جزاکم اللہ جی احسان الجزا تینکیو سو مچ الحمدللہ 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 has to be given to a specific family, for example, a uh, non-sadaqah zak- one can be put out in the open. So our team knows best where to put those locations. Uh, you know, we, we cannot take your specific request that I want in a specific location uh, because, you know, it's, 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 it's not our team in a system. We have a specific system in place and we'll have to work according to that so we can work in the best possible way. Otherwise, you know, we'll have delays and, and all of that mm-hmm. will start happening and people will become unhappy. So we have a, put, put a new system in place and we're following that system to make sure that everyone's uh, hand pumps and water wells and everything else is being done uh, in the best possible way and as soon as possible. You know, Alhamdulillah, our family did some, you know, I got the uh, reports, the hand pump and the water wells that we put on. You know, I've got them, I know where they are in Pakistan, the entire report uh, we received, Alhamdulillah. So, you know, whatever you spend, wherever you spend, Alhamdulillah, it is being, uh, you know, fulfilled, it is being delivered. And we have been doing this now for many, many years, so we have experience. You know, of course, Mulan Sahib, there's just like in ev- any business, any department, any organization, there's always place for improvement. There's always space for, uh, you know, th- doing things a better way. And we are always working on that. Hmm. That's why you have a, a returns department. In every store, in every organization, you have a d- returns department. Because there's always unhappy customers. There's always people, you know, maybe they're not happy with the way it was done. So, you know, complaints will always be there, no matter how amazing you are as an organization. So, you know, Alhamdulillah, is a, it's a journey and we are all on this together and inshallah we will continue this my brothers and sisters but right now we need their focus on Gaza we need more people to come forward and give towards Gaza let me also refresh this and see how many more of our brothers and sisters have given because we are inshallah having an eye on you uh, like I said this is the uh, you know the kitab that we are writing all your good deeds in and uh, these are, this is where it is appearing alhamdulillah we had Peer Khan mashallah given uh, just now towards the Gaza appeal, 250 pounds. We had Raiz Khan given 100 pounds towards uh, emergency appeal and a gift pack for 25 pounds. We had, subhanAllah, Jawad Akhtar Seti, who has given 5,000 pounds. Subhanallah. subhanAllah, towards an entire pallet. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your donation. Uh, wallahi, what you just have done, we don't realize. You know, for us, it was money that we spent. But when this food and these pallets arrives to the people of Gaza, uh, this is something that we can never truly appreciate and understand that this is what we are doing. And, and uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, when we read the Quran, you know, there's, there's a surah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, 
describes the people of Jannah. And he, he, he subhanAllah first says that these people are those who believe in Allah and they feed others for the sake of Allah only. Liwajhillah. We only f feed you for the sake of Allah. We want no jaza and no shukur. We want thanks and jazakallah from you. We want no duas from you. We want no thank you from you. We are just doing this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, whoever donated have this intention that this is just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that surah, this is in the last uh, 28 or 29th para, he is subhanAllah describing Jannah in detail. Their Jannah will be like this where they will have, he is describing the, the color of the clothes, he is describing them that you will be on big couches and on the couches there will be canopies and around you there will be, you have cups of, 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 of silver and emerald and you will have subhanAllah, uh, you know, servants all around you and you will have so many servants around you that when you look around them, they will be like scattered pearls, you know, uh, you will have, uh, they will be like, scattered pearls around you you know Allah is describing Jannah in so much detail for the one that feeds others in a different ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about when the people of Jannah will be speaking amongst each other and they will get a chance to speak to the people of Jahannam and when the people of Jannah will say to the people of Jannah what made you end up in Jahannam Fisakar, what made you end up in that hellfire what will the people of Jahannam say? They will say, Lam nakum in al We never used to be from those who used to pray. Wa lam nakum in al miskin. And we never used to feed the poor. Subhanallah, the two things that they came up with and said to the people of Jannah, the reason that we used to chill together in the dunya. You were my friend, we were together, right? I used to see you all the time. We, you know, we used to you know, walk past, we used to live next to each other, we used to live, and, and when we're in Jannah and Jahannam, we're speaking to each other, we're going to say, the reason I'm not in Jannah with you is because I never used to pray, and I never used to feed the poor. SubhanAllah, look at the, the importance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is placing in this ayah for us to learn and understand that this is the, how important it is for you to be feeding others. Because you know, the Quran is perfect. There is not even an extra word in the Quran or there's no uh, a missing word in the Quran. It is the perfect amount. Allah didn't add anything extra and He didn't leave anything out. Whatever had to be in there is in there. And everything, every word, every letter has a purpose in there. So when Allah is mentioning these stories of the conversations between Jannah and Jahannam, it's for us to read it and, and to understand, hold on, whoa. So there's people in Jahannam that subhanAllah are there because they never used to pray and they never used to feed others. You know, there's a purpose in there and today, my brothers and sisters, you're getting the chance to feed people, not just anyway. That's salaka as well. But what's more important to call people that have food available or to feed people that have absolutely no food available? Mm. You know, is it more important to be feeding the people, alhamdulillah, whose fridges are full of food or those people, subhanAllah, that don't even forget a fridge, they don't have a home left, they don't have nothing left, they are starving to death. They're eating cat and dog food. They're taking the seeds of birds. You know, they feed the birds. They're taking the seeds. Oh. They're grinding those seeds to make into a paste and using that paste to make into a dough to eat the bread. And when they eat the bread, it is so sour that it's impossible to eat, but they have to eat it. Because if they don't eat it, they will starve. This is the condition in, in Gaza. And wallahi, the brothers and the sisters that are donating, you are doing a very great deed. You know, you are, and we pray to Allah, you are the people that in Jannah that are asking the people of Jahannam that, why didn't you know? You know, because you are the ones that are feeding them. And, and you know, Mulan Sahib, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in the Quran about the people that came in the past, Aad, Thamud, he speaks about the, you know, the Qawm Lut, Qawm Saleh, you know, all of these nations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about, these are people that are from the past, right? We are not including those people, we were not there. We were not those people, we never spoke those languages, we never lived in those homes, and we never did those actions. But my brothers and sisters, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Qiyamah, He speaks about Jannah, He speaks about Jahannam, we are included in those people. We are going to be present there as well. And we have to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, don't make us from those people that are in Jahannam. Na'uz, Allahumma ajirna min al-nar, Allahumma ajirna min al-nar, Allahumma ajirna min al-nar. But just lip service won't work. Loud actions speak louder than words. Not just in the dunya, but also in, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actions speak louder than words. And word service, you know, lip service is not enough in this situation. We have to spend our wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bashak, we have to spend uh, our wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have to spend right now. 
um, I, I, I really want to uh, say a massive, massive uh, jazakumullah to the uh, brother, uh, the donor that gave an entire um, pallet, 5,000 pounds. Or bilok chahiye that can come forward or himmat karke. You know, 5,000 pounds for a full pallet. Is ke liye ab aage aaye. Donations log, mashallah, de rahe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless people jo donations de rahe. We have alhamdulillah. Razia Khan, who just gave a thousand pounds, donated a thousand pounds Masha for Allah. Gaza and Palestine. We had Nadira Seti, who was given 250 pounds in, uh, out of a, uh, uh, 250 pounds for Gaza, and then she has given 3,900 pounds for a truck of food supplies to Gaza. An entire truck is given towards Alhamdulillah. Then we have Alhamdulillah. Uh, you know, Zareenullah, who has given 100 pounds towards Palestine. We had Liaqat Tahir Saab, who has given 50 pounds towards the appeal. My brothers and sisters, let's not hold back tonight. It is the night of Jum'ah. Mm. It is the night which is more blessed than mm. other nights. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we have the month of Ramadan. So it is Noor ala Noor today. It is light upon light, like Allah says in the Quran. We cannot lose out on, on, on tonight. Tonight, we have to, you know, Jopura Aftam, tomorrow I'll give, later I'll give, later I'll give. Yeah. The night has come. The night has come where you can feed the people of Gaza with your food items that you are donating. And Alhamdulillah, Al Khair Foundation is distributing these items. What you are seeing right now, my brothers and sisters, you know where that is? You know where that is, where we are distributing this food? Let me give you some news. This is the note of Gaza. We are giving and distributing these food items in the north of Gaza, in a place where even the UN is not allowed to enter anymore. Where even the UN is not allowed to enter anymore. So my brothers and sisters, your donations are reaching your people that have no one right now but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, you know, subhanAllah, it is time that we all wake up. In fact, Mulan Sahib, I say, Ek tariqa jiga nikliye. I have a gun that I have a gun, mashallah. And his name is Shah Ji, Sayyid Aziz Rahman Shah Sahib, mashallah. Who, alhamdulillah, is in the studio. And I say that we are for our viewers, 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 ہم شاہ جی سے ریکویسٹ کرتے ہیں کہ ہمارے لئے کچھ ہم کو سنا دیں کچھ پڑھا دیں تو انشاءاللہ ہم جائیں گے ان کے پاس ضرور کچھ لمحوں میں تو آپ تیاری کریں گھر پہ ٹھیک ہے آپ اپنے صحیح سے ہو کے بیٹھ جائیں پانی کا گلاس بعد میں لے کر آنا کیونکہ ابھی ہمارے پاس شاہ جی آنے والے ہیں انشاءاللہ تو شاہ جی کی طرف جاتے ہیں انشاءاللہ تعالی ماشاءاللہ ماشاءاللہ بہت شکریہ برادر حارون اللہ پاک آپ کو سلامت رکھے اور آپ نے ماشاءاللہ بڑے اچھے انداز کے ساتھ برادر ریان نے اور آپ نے اس اپیل کو افتار کے بعد ماشاءاللہ لے کے چلایا اور الحمدللہ جس طرح ہمارے بہن بھائیوں نے اس پہ دلچسپی کا اظہار کیا اور لگن کا اظہار کیا اس پہ میں ان کو خراج تحسین پیش کرتا ہوں اور مولانا ریان صاحب تو ماشاءاللہ ایک ہمارے سینئر دوست ہیں اللہ کریم ان کی صفات میں اضافہ فرمائے اور اس طرح ہمارے حافظ حارون صاحب ماشاءاللہ یہ بھی نوجوان ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ ان کی جوانی میں بھی برکت نصیب فرمائے ایک اچھے کام کی طرف الحمدللہ یہ آپ کو متوجہ کرتے ہیں اور آپ ماشاءاللہ بڑھ چڑھ کے آگے سامنے آتے ہیں اور جب آپ کی طرف سے ان مظلوم بہن بھائیوں کے لیے ڈونیشن آتا ہے تو ہمارا دل اس وقت یقین مانی ہے باغ باغ ہو جاتا ہے اور ہمیں اس چیز کا احساس ہوتا ہے الحمدللہ کہ غزہ کے مسلمان یا دنیا میں جہاں جہاں مسلمان اس وقت پریشان حال ہیں وہ اکیلے نہیں ہیں وہ تنہا نہیں ہیں یوکے میں بسنے والے مسلمان ہمارے بہن بھائی ہمارے بزرگ ہماری بہنیں ہماری مائیں ان کے لئے جہاں سہور کے اوقات میں افطار کے اوقات میں دعائیں کرتے ہیں ماشاءاللہ اور ان کے ساتھ تعاون بھی کر رہے ہیں اور یقیناً انشاءاللہ العزیز اس ماہ مبارک میں آپ کا یہ تعاون آپ کا یہ ان کے ساتھ ڈونیشن یا انشاءاللہ آپ کی دنیا آخرت آپ کی عقبہ کے لیے بہتری کا باعث ہوگا انشاءاللہ تو میں چند اشار ایک ناتیہ کلام کے پیش کرتا ہوں انشاءاللہ اس کے بعد یہ اپیل کا سلسلہ جاری رہے گا لیکن نات شریف سننے کے ساتھ ساتھ آپ ڈونیشن ہارٹ لائن کو بیزی رکھیں جو ہمارا مقصد ہے اس وقت وہ ہے خدمت خلق 
خدمت خلق کرنا اور اس میں الحمدللہ ہم آپ کے ساتھ شانہ بشانہ ہے آپ ہمارے ساتھ شانہ بشانہ ہے اللہ تعالیٰ آپ کو اس کا بہترین بدلہ عطا فرمائے درود پاک پڑھ لیجی اللہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و بارک و سلم و صلی علی نہ کہیں سے دور ہے منزل نہ کوئی قریب کی بات ہے جسے چاہے اس کو نواز دے یہ در حبیب کی بات ہے جسے چاہے اس کو نواز دے یہ در حبیب کی بات ہے جسے چاہدر پہ بلا لیا جسے چاہے اپنا بنا لیا جسے چاہدر پہ بلا لیا جسے چاہے اپنا بنا لیا یہ بڑے کرم کے ہیں فیصلے یہ بڑے نصیب کی بات ہے یہ بڑے کرم کے ہیں فیصلے یہ بڑے نصیب کی بات ہے جسے چاہے اس کو نواز دے یہ در حبیب کی بات ہے مجھے جان سے بڑھ کے عزیز دل میرا درد دل سے عزیز تر جانسے بڑھ کے عزیز دل میرا درد دل سے عزیز تر ہے جو درد سے بھی عزیز تر وہ میرے طبیب کی بات ہے ہے جو درد سے بھی عزیز تر وہ میرے طبیب کی بات ہے
जिसे चाहे उसको नवाज दे ये दरे हबीब की बात है मैं बुरो से लाख बुरा मगर उन से है मेरा वास्ता मैं बुरो से लाख बुरा सही मगर उन से है मेरा वास्ता मेरी लाज रख ले मेरे खुदा ये तेरे हबीब की बात है लाज रख ले मेरे खुदा ये तेरे हबीब की बात है जिसे चाहे उसको नवाज दे ये दरे हबीब की बात है तुझे मुन से चाहिए और क्या तुझे मुनो बे नवा से चाहिए जो नसीब हो कभी सामना तो बड़े नसीब की बात है जो नसीब हो कभी सामना तो बड़े नसीब की बात है जिसे चाहे उसको नवाज दे बात है सुबहान अल्लाह बहुत खूब बहुत खूब वेरी ब्यूटिफुल माशा अल्लाह ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स आई होप यू हैव बीन लिसनिंग दिस टू दिस एंड यू हैव बीन गिविंग और यू प्रिपेयरिंग योरसेल्फ टू गिव आफ्टर यू लिसन टू दिस बिकॉज़ सुबहान अल्लाह दिस इज यू नो टू यू नो दिस कलाम्स दैट वी रीड द पोएट्री दैट वी रिसाइट Subhan Allah it is for us to reflect upon and then inshallah increase our love for Allah and Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then you know make us realize our reasoning of us being here in this dunya and alhamdulillah we have you know more donations of our brothers and sisters who have who are giving subhanallah in the path of Allah we have subhanallah Razia Khan who has given 300 pounds towards uh, Palestine we have Sh- Shamshad Ahmed 500 pounds towards Palestine we had we have Muhammad Muzammil given 70 pounds towards Gaza Khadija 
uh, 50 pounds, Ghulam Hussain, 100 pounds, mashallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept, and I believe you have a call. Mm. Let's take the call, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, wa alaikum, salam. I have to talk to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. जी मैं पहले भी बात कर चुकी हूँ आपसे ज़ायदा परवीन दरली से तो रियान भाई मुझे अब आपको फिदिया देना है 150 पाउंड ठीक है फिदिया और दो जो है ना फितराने देने हैं छः पाउंड फितराना है या पांच पाउंड है छः पाउंड है खाली बन जी छः पाउंड ठीक है फिदिया हो गया 150 और फितराना हो गया 12 प Haji Khizr Farhan Sur Shaheed ke naam ka Jho Allah ko piyare ho gaye hai Mera bachcha Us ke naam ka Aap lagwa sakte hai Water pump Jai Pakistan Jai 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 Pani ki sakt Zorut hai Log piyase hai Gaon mein Pani ni mil raha Waha Kis jaga lagayenge Aap Jai Kis jaga Pakistan Me aap lagwaenge Hand water pump Mere bachcha ke naam ka Haji Khizr Farhan Sur Jaha par Abhi Is waqt Aapko yeh Me bata sakta ho Jaha Pakistan Me sakt zorut hai یہ الخیر فاؤنڈیشن کو معلوم ہے کیونکہ وہ تفتیش کرتے ہیں تو وہ تحقیقات کے بعد یہ ان کو معلوم ہے تو جہاں پر سخت ضرورت ہے نا وہاں پہ لگائیں گے تو یہ اس کے بارے اس کے بارے میں آپ بے فکر رہی ہیں اس کے بارے میں یہ جہاں پر ضرورت ہوگی نا وہاں پہ ہی لگائیں گے تو اس بارے میں آپ بے فکر رہی ہیں لیکن میری بات سنے نا میرے بچے کے نام کی تختی ہونی چاہیے اس کا نام لکھا ہونا چاہیے بلکل ہوگی آپ جو تختی تو مجھے فوٹو ملنی چاہیے مجھے فوٹو بیجیں گے آپ فوٹو بیجیں گے بائی پوسٹ ہاں ہاں عبداللہ سے بات ہوئی آپ کی نہیں نہ ہوئی وہ بیزی ہے تو دوسرا بھائی کیا تھا کہ ویٹ کرو ویٹ کرو اچھا بیزی آپ ایسا کریں آپ جو ہے نا کھول سینٹر پہ کھول کر کے جب عبداللہ فری ہوگا عبداللہ سے بات کر کے یہ ساری باتیں عبداللہ وہ وہاں پہ ان باتوں کو وہ لکھتے ہیں تو لکھ کر آپ کو تختی بھی ملے گی اور پکچر بھی ملے گی تو پھر عبداللہ بھائی کو میں نے نمبر دے دیا میں بیٹھ کروں پھر وہ مجھے فون کریں گے جی 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 اگر ریان بھائی آپ بھی میری مدد کر دیں اس میں آپ بھی عبداللہ بھائی سے کہہ دیں کہ وہ مجھے جلدی فون کریں میری طبیعہ ٹھیک نہیں مجھے لیتنا بھی آزام بھی کرنا ہوتا ہے ٹھیک اب اس طرح کریں ابھی اب سٹیز اگر آپ کو رائٹ ایک نام ڈاؤن ابھی آپ ہول پر ر ہول پر رہیے گا آپ انشاءاللہ بھی ٹیم سے آپ بات کر لیں انشاءاللہ وہ نام لکھ لیں گے آپ کہاں سے بات کر رہی ہے اور آپ کا فون نمبر بھی لکھ لیں گے اور پھر اس کو ہم عبداللہ کو پاس کر دیں گے ٹھیک ہے نا آکی جی جی ابھی مولانا ایرفان سے بات کر لیں آپ جی جی الحمدللہ ماشاءاللہ اگین برودر زیستیس یا مولانا علیم سے شاید بات کر رہے ہیں جی جی وہ ہمارے علماء پر بیٹھے ہیں ماشاءاللہ تو ان سے کوئی نہ کوئی بات کر لے گا اللہ قبول کرے آمین جو بھی آپ ووٹر پمپس ہو جائیں ہینڈ پمپس ہو جائیں آپ ویل لگانے چاہتے ہیں ہم جیسے میں نے پہلے کہا مشکل ہے اگر ہم ساروں کے ریکویسٹ لینے شروع کر جائیں کیونکہ آپ دیکھیں ہمارے پاس ایک دو تو نہیں آتے دس بیس بھی نہیں آتے ہمارے پاس سو دو سو ہزار سے زیادہ ہینڈ پمپس آ رہے ہوتے ہیں تو اس حساب سے ہم کو لگانا پڑتا ہے اور اسی جگہ لگاتے ہیں جا ضرورت ہے تو انشاءاللہ تو ہمارے تقریب تین ہزار سے زیادہ ہینڈ پمپس ل تو اس حساب سے پھر ہم کو دیکھنا پڑتا ہے پلاننی کرنی پڑتی ہے پھر اس حساب سے ہم نے ٹیمز تیار کرنے پڑتے ہیں ہم کو ہینڈ پرمز پرچس کرنا پڑتا ہے ہم نے لوکیشنز اسس کی ہوتے ہیں اچھا یہاں پر ضرورت ہے یہاں پر ضرورت ہے پورا ہمارے پاس ہماری ٹیم جو پاکستان میں ہیں ان کے پاس پورا انفرمیشن ہوتا ہے پھر اس حساب سے ہم جب پھر لگاتے ہیں پھر ہم الوکیٹ کرتے ہیں اچھا یہ زائدہ پروین صاحب ہیں صاحبہ ہیں یا غلام حسین صاحب ہیں جو بھی نام ہے پھر ہم اس کا فوٹو لیتے ہیں پھر ہم رپورٹ بناتے ہیں اس کا آپ کو بتاتے ہیں کہ اس علاقہ میں بننا ہے اتنے لوگ اس سے بینیفٹ کر رہے ہیں یا گھر پر بننا ہے یا بیر پر بننا ہے یا سکول پر بننا ہے جیسے میں آپ کو بتاؤں میں نے بھی پچھے ایک ووٹر بیل لگوایا وہ ایک خیبر پختون خواہ میں ایک سکول میں لگا ہینڈ پمپ ایک دوسری فیملی کے گھر میں لگا تو مطلب اس حساب سے آپ کو پورا انفرمیشن مل جاتا ہے اس کو فیڈ بیک رپورٹ کے اندر تو وہ آپ کو کچھ نائن سے ٹویلف مینے کی درمین کا ٹائم لیتے ہیں کبھی پانچ چھے مینے میں بن جاتا ہے کبھی چار مینے میں بن جاتا ہے مگر جسٹ ٹو پی شور ہم نو سے بارہ مینے کا درمین کا ٹائم لیتے ہیں اس کے اندر اندر ہم آپ کو پورا فیڈ بیک رپورٹ دیں گے اس کے اندر لکھا ہوتا ہے کہاں پر ہے کیوں لگایا ہے اس ایریا میں کیوں لگایا ہے وہاں پر پانی کا کیا مسئلہ ہے تو وہ پورا آپ کا رپورٹ پورا پہنچ جاتا ہے انشاءاللہ تو آپ فکر نہ کریں انشاءاللہ جہاں پر بھی آپ جو بھی آپ دیں گے ہم اسی ادھری وہاں پر ہی لگائیں گے جہاں پر ضرورت ہے اس کی الحمدللہ and this is for all across the world الحمدللہ we don't put سبحان اللہ ہم ایک ہینڈ پمپ اسلام آدمی نہیں جا کر لگائیں گے کیونکہ اسلام آدمی ہینڈ پمپ کی ضرورت نہیں ہے 
ہم وہاں پر ان علاقوں میں لگائیں گے جہاں پر سخت ضرورت ہے جیسے ہم مسجد آپ کو گھر دکھاتے ہیں ہم ان فیملیوں کے اسٹوریز آپ کے سامنے لے کر آتے ہیں جس کو سخت ضرورت ہے ہم آپ کو لاہور کے اندر یا اسلام آباد میں کے علاقے سے لوگ نہیں لے کر آتے ہم دور دراز علاقہ پہاڑی علاقہ خیبر پتونخوا کشمیر ہو گیا سوات ہو گیا جہاں جہاں پر ضرورت ہے وہاں پر ہم الحمد للہ یہ ہینڈ پمپس گھر مساجد اور جو بھی ہم پروجیکٹ کر رہے ہیں ان علاقوں میں کریں جہاں پر سخت ضرورت ہے تو ان شاء اللہ یو نو ریسٹ شوڈ ان شاء اللہ یو ڈونیشنس آر ریچنگ دا پیپل آف غزہ کیپ سپورٹنگ کیپ ڈونیٹنگ کیپ گیونگ اینڈ یو نو مولانا صاحب آئی واز جسٹ ریڈنگ اباؤٹ فرائیڈے دیٹ یو نو واٹس دا بینیفٹ واٹس دا ویچ آف گیونگ آن فرائیڈے یو نو ابن القیم رحمہ اللہ رائٹس ان زاد المعاد بک Uh, that he wrote on the benefits of Friday, the virtues of Friday. And he said, when you compare giving your sadaqah on a Friday compared to any other day outside of Ramadan, it is like you are giving inside of Ramadan. That is the virtue of giving on Friday. Now imagine if that's the virtue of giving on a Friday is like, you know, you can, you can make the likeness of it donating Ramadan. Imagine that Friday comes in Ramadan. You know, you are... getting subhanallah so much reward that we can't even subhanallah understand or comprehend allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us so much in return because this is the month of promos special offers like you know you've got the sales right this is the month of the sales you give less but you get more subhanallah and this is something that we should be all uh, you know be prepared for you know jab uh, black friday aata hai ya black monday aata hai ya cyber monday ya jo jo naam inhone diye hain ye aate hain hum kya karte hain ہم نیوز میں صبح صبح اٹھ کے دیکھتے ہیں نظر آتے ہیں وہاں پر لا ان سے لوگ بارہ بجے رات کے وہاں سے لیٹے ہوئے ہیں ٹینٹ لگائے ہوئے ہیں کرسیاں رکھی ہوئی ہیں وہاں پر انتظار کر رہے ہیں کہ جب صبح کھلے گا اور وہ دروازے کھولیں گے ہم اندر ایسے بھاگیں گے اور ایسے بھاگتے ہیں لڑ لڑ کے ایک دوسرے کو کہ جو ہم نے سامان لینا تھا ہم کو سستا مل رہا ہوتا ہے یہ اگر ہم دنیا کے لیے کر رہے ہیں تو ہم آخرت کے لیے کیوں نہیں کر رہے آخرت کے لیے بھی ہم کو ایسے ہی اللہ کے راستے میں دینا اور دیکھیں ہم نہیں کہہ رہے کہ آپ کے پاس جو بھی اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کرو اور آپ خود غربت میں رہو یہ بالکل نہیں کہہ رہے آپ اپنے خرچے فیملی کے خرچے آپ نے جو جو آپ نے چیزیں کرنی ہے اس کے اس کے علاوہ آپ کے پاس جو پیسہ ایکسٹرا آپ نے سیونگس میں رکھے ہوئے ہیں ہم اس پیسہ کی بات کریں کہ اب آپ اللہ کے راستے میں لگا لیں جیسے ایک حدیث ہے رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے پاس ایک بچہ آیا اینڈ چال گوز یا رسول اللہ محمد حسنٹ میں ایک میرے ماں نے مجھے بھیجا ہے اور آپ کچھ ہم کو پلیز دے دیں تو رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اس وقت ان کے پاس کچھ تھا نہیں تو رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے کہا تھا میرے پاس تو یہ کمیز ہی ہے اس کے علاوہ میرے پاس کچھ نہیں ہے آپ اگلے بار آنا جب ہمارے پاس کچھ زیادہ مال ہوئے گا تب آپ ہمارے پاس آ جانا بچہ گھر جاتا ہے ماں اس کو واپس بیچتی ہے اور ماں کہتی ہے رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے ان کا کمیز مانگ لو تو رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے اپنی کمیز اتار کے دے دی ان کے پاس کچھ نہیں تھا ختم سارا سامان ہو گیا تھا سارا اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ ہو گیا تھا مگر انہوں نے وہ کمیز مانگ رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یو نو رحم دل تھے رحمت العالمین انہوں نے کمیز اٹھا کے بچے کو بھیج دیا پھر جب نماز کا وقت آیا رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اپنے حجر مبارک سے نکل نہیں رہے تھے تو صحابہ دیکھ رہے ہیں یار رسول صلی کہاں گئے پھر جب وہ رسول صلی اللہ کے گھر اندر داخل ہوئے رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بیٹھے ہوئے نظر آئے انہوں نے اوپر سے کمیز نہیں پہنی ہوئی تھی کپڑے نہیں تھے ان کے پاس سبحان اللہ تو پھر اللہ نے قرآن نازل کیا اور کہا کہ آپ اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کرو مگر اتنا نہ کرو کہ آپ غربت میں چلے جاؤ یہ قرآن میں آئے تھے تو ہم نہیں کہتے کہ آپ اپنا سارا کچھ بھیج دو اللہ کے راستے میں ہم قرآن اور سنت کے مطابق یہاں چلتے ہیں الحمد للہ ہم ایسے بات نہیں کریں گے آپ اپنے آپ کو آپ مشکلات میں ڈال دو مگر صحیح بتاؤں ہم ہمارے پاس الحمد للہ اتنا زیادہ پیسہ ہے اتنا زیادہ پیسہ ہم نے سیونگ اکاؤنٹس میں رکھے ہوتے ہیں وہاں بس رکھا ہوا ہے اور کچھ ہو بھی نہیں رہا اس سے نہ ہم کو فائدہ ہو رہا ہے نہ کسی اور کو فائدہ ہو رہا ہے تو بہتر ہے وہ پیسہ اٹھا کے ہم اللہ کے راستے میں لگائیں یہ نہ ہوئے کہ ہمارے پاس ہمارے سامنے فرشتہ بہت کا کھڑا ہو جائے اور ہم کہیں یار ہم کو تھوڑا سا وقت دے دو کہ ہم وہ صدقہ نکال دیں یہ قرآن میں اللہ نے لکھا ہوا ہے کہ وین ڈیتھ کمس ٹو یو یو ول بیگ اللہ گیو می لٹل بو مور ٹائم سو آئی کین ٹیک مائی صدق اینڈ اسپینڈ اٹ سو آئی کین اسپینڈ اٹ کیونکہ اس وقت ہم کو یاد آئے گا یار یہ جو پیسہ میں نے رکھا ہوا یہ تو ضائع گیا اتنے محنت سے کما کے میں نے یہ تو سارا ضائع کہ یہ میرے بچے لے لیں گے وہ اپنا گاڑیاں گاڑیاں لیں گے گھر لیں گے جو بھی ہالیڈیز پہ جائیں گے مرضی ہے ان کی ہم یہ یہ امید تو نہیں رکھ کے بیٹھ سکتے کہ ہاں وہ میرے لیے صدقہ جاریہ کریں گے آپ اپنے آپ کے لیے صدقہ جاریہ نکالو اپنا آپ کا صدقہ جاریہ کرو یو نا ڈو یو اون صدقہ جاریہ ہم انتظار کرتے ہیں پوری زندگی ہم انتظار کرتے ہیں جب مرنے ک
السلام عليكم والسلام عليكم والسلام ورحمة الله جي جي كان هذا بات كريم لندن يكوني في لندن what would you like to say um I am donating today for the sake of my mother for for fifty from fifty pounds who just passed away yesterday and can you please make the world for her that Allah ranks her the highest in Jan and her name is Amratad what what's her name Amratad Amratad Amratad. Okay, Allah grant your mother the highest place uh, in Jannah, Amen. highest, Amen. highest place Amen. in Jannah to for those. Allah uh, forgive her major, minor sins. Allah, 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 inko ala ilin me jagade. Amen. Allah raise her amongst Nabiyin, Siddiqin, Shuhada, Salihin on the Allah. day of judgment. Amen. Allah convert her grave into a garden from the gardens of Jannah. Amen. And Amen. you are doing a fantastic job on behalf of your mother. Amen. Continue that. Yes. Um, for as long as you live, this is uh, something you have to do for your mother as a sadqa jariya. The more sadqa jariya you will do for your mother, the better it is. Um, so jazakumullah for that call. What's your name? Basma. Basma. Thank you so much, Basma, for that call. Is there anything else you would like to say? No. Jazakumullah, Basma. Thank you. And like I said, Allah... Uh, grant your mother the highest place in Jannah, inshallah. Amen. 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 So Amen. sad to hear that. So sad to hear that. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. Uh, very, very sad indeed. Very you sad. Know, Sahib, you know, one thing I would like to say, you know, may Allah give the family sabr. It's not Amen. easy losing your mother. You know, that loving character in the family that, you know, that kept the entire family together. Yeah. And we only realize the value of a mother after they've gone. And we realize, subhanAllah, what they, what they well, meant Well, the value of really anyone, anyone after, they after they go. After they gone, subhanAllah. Especially family members. Yes, who are close. And you know, subhanAllah, uh, you know, one thing that's important to re remember is, first of all, she passed away in the month of Ramadan. The, the month in which the doors of Jannah are opened, the doors of Jahannam are closed. And whoever passes away in this month is uh, a Jannati. Is, is going towards Jannah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the highest of Jannah in the company of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa himself. But alongside that, you know, after we living in the West, we start to think like the people of the West. You know, after we die, life continues, right? Life continues. And we can have that connection still with our mothers, with our fathers and the loved ones that we have left behind, uh, or they have, they have left us behind rather. Because subhanAllah, when we can't speak with them, we can't call them, we can't send letters, but we can send the sadaqah. And they receive the sadaqah on the other end. Angels in the hadith is mentioned that angels will come and they have subhanAllah big, you know, talis, subhanAllah and big gifts. They come in the forms of gifts. And when they arrive there, subhanAllah, they ask, you know, who has sent this? And they say, okay, this and this person has sent this for you. So this is a connection that we still have with the people that have gone to the next life, to the hereafter. So, you know, as much as you can, because the, you know, our mothers, our fathers, our grandparents, they cannot come back into this world anymore. So continue this sadqa jariya as long as you can. And uh, in the hereafter, inshallah, when you meet with them, they will thank you for this. They will thank you, you know, and, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, show this to you. But many people, when you, you know, we, uh, we get dreams afterwards. And, you know, a, a few times I've seen dreams of, of loved ones that, have, that are left, that, you know, that passed away. And after the family got together and we're doing sadqa, sadqa and giving on their behalf, they would come in one of our dreams. And in our case, you know, it, it came in multiple people's dreams in our family. Mm -hmm. My mother, I saw it, my father saw it, my auntie saw it, my cousin saw it. We all saw different dreams. And, the, and when we got it interpreted, what did the mean, dream mean? It was that, Alhamdulillah, your sadaqah is reaching them. That was because I didn't even say that we were giving sadaqah on their behalf. But the interpretation was that they're happy with all the sadaqah jari that you're doing. One person, so I saw, for example, my grandfather, when he passed away, that we are carrying him. Uh, we are in the garden, there's a river flowing, they're in the garden, subhanAllah, there's a massive spread of food and uh, I'm carrying my grandfather, take him to the table and he's choosing and uh, you know because in the later part of his life he, could, he wasn't able to eat a lot anymore but he was you know, I want that food and I want that food and I want that food and when we got to interpret the end, they said look it's, it's all the sadaqah that you're sending to him, he's enjoying that, he's enjoying and I, you know my, my mother saw another dream similar situation and, and all of the dreams had the same interpretation that they were happy with the sadaqah and the work that we're doing for them so it reaches them my brothers and sisters they get happy so inshallah you know so many of us you know alongside our sister there's many many other families who are watching right now who have loved ones that, were, that passed away and maybe 
some family members passed away maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago and we have, might have forgotten about them. Mm. Well, you know, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, maybe we've met them once or twice and, 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 or maybe we had a loved one a long time ago. And, uh, you know, life continues. There's enough issues and, 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 and problems out in life. That, you know, we get busy with those. And we forget about certain people maybe. So, you know, do sadaqah on their behalf as well. You know, pray for them as well. Make dua for them. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their forgiveness. And this is something that we can continue through our lives. And when we do this, you know the side effect of this is? Let me tell you the side effect. The side effect is this, that when the next generation are seeing us, we're making dua for their elders. They see, we, they're seeing us making, giving sadaqah on their name. They're seeing us call Ikra TV and say, I'm donating this much for my mother, this much for my grandmother. They get this instilled in them. And later when they grow old and we pass away, the children remember, my mother used to give sadaqah on the, for her mother. My mother used to give sadaqah for her grandmother. And they start giving it for us. And that's how I learned it, my brothers and sisters. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. That's how I learned giving in a part of Allah. Seeing from my father, seeing from my mother, seeing from my grandparents, how they would always be giving in a part of Allah. Sacrifice their own home. My grandfather sacrificed their own home so the masjid had a place when they were rebuilding the masjid. You know, we've seen this in our, in our childhood, how they would sacrifice stuff for Allah and His Rasul And that's how it got instilled in us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, has put me here today, you know, subhanAllah, you know, to talk about sadaqah maybe because of their sacrifices and their du'as. So, you know, we have to instill into, next, into the next generation sadaqah and giving in a part of Allah. So when you want to donate, for example, whatever amount, instead of you calling, you know, tell your child to call in. Tell your, you know, son or daughter or your granddaughters or grandsons to call in and tell them to, you know, announce the donation. So, you know, they'll remember this for the rest of their lives. I remember this This will stay within them for the rest of their lives, inshallah. What do you think, Mulana? No, yes, absolutely. I agree with you. And um, thank you. We have this um, on the screen again. Uh, our Gaza food. So, I want to give emphasis on this. People, mashallah, are donating. And, uh, but let's have these big donations from the big wealthy yes. uh, people in the society uh, calling in and coming in. And 5,000 pounds for a full pallet to be uh, a cargo into Gaza. Inshallah, I want to give you a chance. Those are the calls, inshallah, we also want, along with all the other donations that are, mashallah, coming in. Allah bless you, all of you, inshallah, for all of this. I think what we want to do, how do we, we want to go over to Shaji one more time, inshallah. Yes, inshallah. We will, you know, before, uh, you know, Shaji starts, I just want to say a, a, a small part, subhanAllah. You know, there's a Quran I want I to mention. I think before we, I think we should have that on f full screen as well, whilst you say that, so people can see, see this. Yes, inshallah. It's got full screen. Oh, absolutely, you can see. subhanAllah. Uh, you know, subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, you know, it's the, it's the day of Friday, it's Jum'ah, right? Chalaki. And what do we do on Jum'ah? What do we do on Jum'ah? We send salawat upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Right? We send salawat upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and his uh, uh, companions. And this is something that we have to increase ourselves in, 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 in salawat on this, on this beautiful day. But you know in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something about, you know, when to the Sahaba, for example, he, he told the Sahaba, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, idha najaytum al-rasoola, faqaddimu bayna yaday najwaakum sadaqa, thalika khayrun lakum wa athar, fa in lam tajidu, fa inna Allah ghafoorur rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, and he says, all oh, you who believe, so not just the Sahabas, but you know, because they were there at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but extended to us as well. He says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, oh you have believed. When you go to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before you visit him, Allah says, give something in charity. Allahu Akbar, give sadaqah. That is better for you if only you, know, you understood. And if you can't, Allah is most forgiving, most uh, you know, merciful. But subhanAllah, you know, imagine this. Allah is saying, before you visit Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we should give sadaqah. Of course, today, you know, we can only visit him in Medina to Munawwara. But the reality is, on Fridays, when we want to send salawat upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when we send durood upon on Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we should give first sadaqah. Because Allah says, you know, we, our, our, 
our uh, sins are forgiven because of that and that's better because when we uh, do this subhanallah Allah becomes happy with us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes happy with us and this is something that we need to practice again you know when before we you know start our salawat on the day of Friday you know give our salaka give in the path of Allah feed others help others help the ummatis of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so when, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam receives the you know they say on every Friday every ju Juma the angels uh, arrive to the Messenger of Allah and they give salat and they give all the deeds of the ummah that what the ummah has done in this week he gets a whole list okay this is what the ummah has been doing so when this list arrives you know our name should be in that list before the salams are presented that this is what your ummah has been doing and your ummah has been feeding the people of Gaza of Palestine of Al Baytul Muqaddis and uh, inshallah you know this is something that we will uh, attract the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will attract the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah so without further delay I would like to hand it over to uh, Shah G, mashallah, who is also on state, and I say, you know, if you can have some salat or salam or something, inshallah, to achaw jai, juma ki raat hai, alhamdulillah, we will, uh, inshallah, our, our love for Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will increase. So let's uh, hand it over to Shah G, inshallah. Jazakallah, jazakallah, bahu shukriya, uh, brother Harun, Allah pak jazai khairata farmai. Ismi koi shak nahi ji, ki aaj ki raat badi hi azmatu wali raat hai, shabhi juma bhi hai, aur phir Ramazan al-Mubarak ki shabhi juma, تو آئیے اس بابرکت لمحات میں اللہ کا ذکر بھی کرتے ہیں اور ساتھ اللہ کے حبیب کا ذکر بھی کرتے ہیں تو مجھے جو حکم ہوا ہے ایک نات شریف کا وہی پیش کرتا ہوں اس میں اللہ کا ذکر بھی ساتھ ہے اور کلام ہے عالم اسلام کے عظیم روحانی بزرگ تاجدار گولڑا حضرت پیر سید مہر علی شاہ صاحب رحمت اللہ علیہ کے اشعار پنجابی میں تو انشاءاللہ وہی پیش کرتا ہوں ملاحظہ فرمائی آپ نے کئی بار سنے اور ہر بار پڑھنے کا سبحان اللہ اپنا ہی لطف ہے بڑی سادہ شاعری ہے سادہ لفظوں میں لیکن بڑی اس کے اندر گہرائی ہے اور گیرائی ہے اور وہ کیوں نہ ہو کیونکہ کلام ہی ایک بہت بڑے اللہ والے کا ہے اور تحریک ختم نبوت کے عظیم مجاہد کا یہ لکھا ہوا کلام ہے تو میں پیش کرتا ہوں اور ایسی شخصیت جن سے پتہ نہیں کتنے ہزاروں لاکھوں لوگوں نے ماشاءاللہ استفادہ حاصل کیا تو میں پیش کرتا ہوں ذکر کے ساتھ ملاحظہ فرمائیے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سبحان اللہ 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 آج سکھ مترا دی ودھیری آج سکھ مترا دی ودھیری کیوں جندڑی اداس گھنیری ہے کیوں جندڑی اداس گھنیری ہے لو لو وچ شوق چنگیری ہے آج نینا لائیاں کیوں جھڑیاں سبحان اللہ 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 مکھ چند بدر شاشانی یہ چند بدر شاشانی متھے چمکے لات نورانی 
मथे चमके लाट नूरानी काली जुल्फ ते अख मस्तानी काली जुल्फ ते अख मस्तानी मख मोर अखी हैं मध भरिया सुबह नल्ला 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 इस सूरत नो मैं जान आखा इस सूरत नो मैं जाना खा जाना खा के जाने जहाना खा जाना खा के जाने जहाना खा सच आखा ते रब दी मैं शाना खा सच आखा ते रब दी मैं शान आखा इस शान तू शाना सब बणिया सुबह नल्ला 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 माँ अजमल का माँ अहसन का माँ अकमल का सुबह नल्ला माँ अजमल का माँ अहसन का माँ अकमल का माँ अहसन का माँ अकमल का किथे मेहर अली किथे तेरी सना किथे मेहर अली किथे तेरी सना गुस्ताख अखी किथे जा अड़िया सुबह नल्ला 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 सुबह السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رمضان کریم فرام سیریا ماشاء اللہ ریسپیکٹڈ بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ٹوڈے آئی وڈ لائک ٹو شیئر ویری امپورٹنٹ انفارمیشن ود یو ماشاء اللہ الحمد للہ یو ایوری ایئر یو ڈونیٹ فوڈ پیک ٹو الخیر فاؤنڈیشن ماشاء اللہ فار ڈفرنٹ کنٹریز اینڈ سو آن ماشاء اللہ ان یو کے وی چارج ففٹی پاؤنڈ فار ون فوڈ پیک ان سم کنٹریز ان یور ففٹی پاؤنڈ بیسکلی اٹ کوڈ بی ون اینڈ ہاف فوڈ پیک 
uh, in some countries it could be nearly two food packs basically because the price depends from 30 pound to 70 75 pound yeah. so sometimes basically food pack comes more expensive than 50 pounds so your the 50 pound price is an average uh, generally speaking that's the matter but nevertheless your 50 pound 100 percent of it goes towards food pack regardless is one pack or two packs or one and a half pack or nearly one pack in that but today mashallah uh, is exactly one full pack uh, in 50 pound uh, so i want to show you what what it is, mashallah, we are in Syria right now. So to start with is uh, Al Khair Foundation uh, dates, alhamdulillah, the stock we had. Uh, then there are basically chickpeas, there's a uh, different type of lentil, there is sugar, there is tuna fish, there is honey, uh, there is uh, milk powder. These are two uh, uh, buckets of ghee. Um, you can call it butter. I don't know what you will say, ghee. Uh, um, and then um, there is olive oil, cooking oil, uh, salt, cheese, and then um, you know, further dates again. And this one is um, uh, tomato paste. Uh, then there is um, spaghetti and uh, like that, basically. Then this is Arabic dish called burghul. Uh, so I don't know what do you say in Arabic. Uh, then there is lentil, and then there is a, over here there is a, a flour and a pack of rice. All this item goes in two boxes. So not a one box but two box. So in fifty pound, uh, you are donating two boxes, mashallah. The total value of uh, entire box uh, is uh, about basically fifty-five uh, to sixty dollars, mashallah. In then um, additional cost of transportation and like that. So call it around fifty pound, mashallah. Uh, two boxes, uh, alhamdulillah, the family is receiving. I know it's not uh, you can say uh, ideal. Uh, but this is the best, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, the team could do here um, in this budget, mashallah. So, jazakumullah uh, khair, mashallah, I'm here. And all this Conway, basically, a number of lorries. In fact, let me start from here. So, there is uh, one lorry here, mashallah, um, full of uh, food packs. Uh, there is a second lorry here. And these are not very small ones and not very large, but mid-sized uh, trucks, you can say. Uh, then third one, mashallah, here. Then the fourth one here. Uh, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, so, so far I can see uh, thirteen of them. Uh, twelve of them are mid-sized and the thirteenth one are, is a, a smaller one. The thirteenth one is carrying dates only. Uh, so, mashallah, this is the food pack here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your uh, sacrifice. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your zakat and sadaqah. This is going to the Syrian refugees um, who have been suffering for almost a generation now, basically. Uh, so, children are born in this camp here, uh, these camps, and subhanallah, um, whole year age, uh, school age, basically, has uh, gone by without access to education, medical and so on. So one of the most deserving community right now on the earth after people of Gaza is uh, this community. So we are here inshallah and we will make sure that uh, every support of your uh, um, contribution uh, goes to the most needy area inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, continue donating with confidence. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رسپیکٹ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان اسلام ماشاء اللہ وٹ اے بلیس ڈے سبحان اللہ اینڈ آن دس بلیس ڈے وی آر پیکنگ دا باکسز اینڈ ایچ باکس سیز بلیس اینڈ بی بلیسڈ دس رمضان ماشاء اللہ دس از فار ایڈ سپلائی ٹو غازہ الحمد للہ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز سیونٹین آف رمضان ماشاء اللہ ہسٹوریکل ڈے دا ڈے آف بیٹل آف بدر ماشاء اللہ سبحان اللہ ڈیو ٹو ویچ رادر وی آر مسلم ٹو ڈے الحمد للہ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everyone, subhanAllah. Brothers and sisters, last few days I was inside Syria uh, delivering houses and basically different aid items there. From Syria, mashallah, uh, today uh, we arrived in Jordan and straight I came to this warehouse. And mashallah, I just want to show you the preparation that is going on here for our next mega project, next cargo plane delivering aid closer to the border of Gaza, mashallah. So Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, these are the boxes which are being packed. This is not entire cargo, but part of it. Uh, once these boxes are packed, then tomorrow there will be another round, round and day after tomorrow there will be a third round of it. So you have today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, basically next two, three days to donate. I just quickly want to give you some glimpses of, uh, mashallah, the stock. Uh, what is going on in here, mashallah. Uh, so brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, this is the warehouse where mashallah all the stock uh, has been placed here and subhanallah can you believe it this entire warehouse subhanallah all of it or most of it will go in cargo plane uh, packed in those boxes uh, there is oil here mashallah there is a uh, starting with this let's see what it is here uh, that's sugar mashallah three and a half kg sugar uh, mashallah uh, then there is a uh, flower packets there is a uh, halawiyat Uh, subhanallah and then on this side there is uh, tea boxes uh, so these are uh, the tea that is used normally in Gaza so over there they don't use Tetley or PG or whatever basically we use but rather different ones so uh, different food items mashallah here alhamdulillah uh, brothers and sisters the entire warehouse is full of stock mashallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you please donate as best as you can inshallah if you donate Uh, within next two days. Ideally donate tonight so while I'm here I can pack your boxes inshallah. So uh, subhanallah all this stock will be going uh, inside those boxes and it will go into uh, cargo plane inshallah. I would like to see how many boxes or how many pallets you would like to sponsor inshallah. Uh, because this is going in cargo uh, we have made uh, different size boxes, uh, durable boxes, uh, strong boxes and there's larger boxes than previous ones. So that's why uh, the stock which is going in here in these boxes is uh, rather more expensive, uh, it's more in quantity. So this one is costing us nearly 60 to 65 pound. For 125 pound brothers and sisters, you can sponsor inshallah two boxes. Uh, and if you would like to sponsor this one block here, uh, these four boxes here, these four boxes will be uh, 250 pound the packaging is started literally just now as we speak uh, you can see oil is gone in sugar is gone in and uh, mashallah the packaging is going on so if you sponsor two boxes 125 pound and uh, if you donate 250 pound then these uh, four boxes for uh, a section will be on your behalf 500 pound will mean uh, two um, units which is eight boxes And uh, mashallah, 1,000 pound means 16 boxes here, uh, mashallah. And uh, if you donate 5,000 pound, then you will be taking, inshallah, entire uh, pallet uh, on your behalf. Uh, and we will deliver that uh, to Gaza, inshallah. By sending through aeroplane, uh, air cargo, this is not airdrop, this is air cargo, taking closer to the border of Gaza, uh, the nearest airport there. Because air flight uh, goods have different process and different queuing system. So inshallah, uh, the previous cargo plane we sent entered very quickly. And therefore, uh, this, is, uh, this seems to be much quicker than sending from Cairo and so on. So while basically from Cairo it might be a little cheaper, uh, this might be about uh, 20% more expensive. Uh, but it is much more quicker. which means inshallah within last 10 days of Ramadan they will receive your donated food packs inshallah so brothers and sisters alhamdulillah on this blessed day of 17th of Ramadan 
I would like to see how many of you will come forward and will sponsor how many boxes. Uh, if anyone would like to sponsor £5,000, that is one pallet plus few more boxes also, inshallah, on top of it. So, Jazakumullah khair, brothers and sisters, you donate and we deliver in shortest possible time. Bless and be blessed, inshallah, this Ramadan with Al Khair Foundation, mashallah. We are delivering this in partnership with uh, King Hussein of Jordan and the King of Jordan, his uh, organization, mashallah. Uh, King Hussein's organization and Al Khair Foundation delivering in partnership. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this partnership and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your and our partnership of being donor and organization. Bless and be blessed this Ramadan. Fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah. Walhamdulillah. Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Al Khair Foundation kitchens are working around the clock. Today is the 16th of the holy month of Ramadan. With your donation and your support, Alhamdulillah, Al Khair Foundation kitchens are working in all Gaza Strip districts, in north of Gaza, in Gaza City, in the middle of Gaza Strip, in Rafa. With your donation, Alhamdulillah, we are able to distribute daily thousands of the hot iftar meals for the displaced families inside shelters who are struggling and living tough and hard times. We would like to express our sincere thanks and gratitude for all our donors and supporters of Al Khair Foundation who keep donating and supporting since the first day of the attack on Gaza Strip. And Alhamdulillah, we are now inside Gaza Strip in this holy month of Ramadan with your support and your help. Thousands of families daily are getting this hot uh, meals with your donation and your support. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Subhanallah, you know, brothers and sisters, when you donate towards this type of project, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks after you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects you from such calamities and difficulties and hardship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects your family. So definitely there are blessings in such uh, projects. Definitely you will be rewarded amazingly. Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Al Khair Foundation kitchens are working around the clock. Today is the 16th of the holy month of Ramadan. With your donation and your support, Alhamdulillah, Al Khair Foundation kitchens are working in all Gaza Strip districts in north of Gaza, in Gaza City, in the middle of Gaza Strip, in Rafa. With your donation, Alhamdulillah, we are able to distribute daily thousands of the hot iftar meals for the displaced families inside shelters who are struggling and living tough and hard times. We would like to express our sincere thanks and the gratitude for all our donors and supporters of Al Khair Foundation who keep donating and supporting since the first day of the attack on Gaza Strip. And Alhamdulillah, we are now inside Gaza Strip in this holy month of Ramadan with your support and your help. Thousands of families daily are getting this hot uh, meals with your donation and your support. Jazakumullah khairan. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وانتشت روحي وصار الدمع يجري يا إلهي خذ بقلبي من رشادي أشرقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العباد وانتشت روحي وصار الدمع يجري بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم هو الرابع والستون بعد المئة من العدوان والغارات الجوية على قطاع غزة والتامن من شهر رمضان المبارك عام 1445 هجري يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أيما مسلم أطعم مسلما على جوع أطعمه الله من ثمار الجنة أهلنا في غزة في كرب عظيم وفي شدة لا يعلم مداها إلا الله فمشاهد النكبة تطل برأسها من جديد شد قساوة منذ نكبة عام 48 والله إن الكلمات لا تعجز عن وصف ما نعانيه ومن هول ما نرى ونسمع من إبادة وتطهير عرقي لشعب أعزل وعلى مرأة ومسمع من العالم أجمع نقوم في هذا اليوم المبارك وبدعم كريم من فاعلات خير من دولة قطر على تجهيز وتوفير أكثر من 800 كيس طحين بوزن 25 كيلو يتم توزيعهم على مراكز الإيواء وفي الخيام على الأسر المتضررة والنازحة في مدينة غزة فبالنيابة عن الشعب الفلسطيني توجه بالشكر الجزيل والامتنان لفاعلات الخير من دولة قطر على هذا العطاء الكريم أسأل الله عز وجل أن يبارك في أموالكم وأبنائكم وأن يكتب أجركم والشكر موصول إلى دولة قطر حكومة وشعبا وأميرا على ما تقدم من دعم ومساندة الشعب الفلسطيني هنا في قطاع غزة
نشكر فاعلات خير من دولة قطر على هذا الدعم السلام عليكم الحمد لله سلامتكم كيف الطحين هذا مقدما فاعلات خير من دولة قطر أبعث الرسالة يعني رسالة قوية جدا وتحية لدولة قطر الشقيقة لي دائما وأبدا تدعم فلسطين وخاصة غزة نشكرهم كل أعماق قلبنا ولولا الله ثم قطر كان إحنا ضعنا كان إحنا والله جعنا ولكن أشهد لله قطر كل احترام وتقدير لهم وأشكر كمان يعني من أعماق قلب مؤسسة الخير اللي هي كل احترام وتقدير تاج راسنا مؤسسة الخير نشكر فاعلات قطر على مد العون لأهل فلسطين جزيل الشكر بارك الله فيكم وجزاكم الله كل خير خير لا تدري بمن أعطي ساتي كالثمن الله الرحمن الرحيم يشارككم اليوم فريق مؤسسة الخير لحظات من تجهيزات وتحضيرات أخواتنا النازحات في أحد مراكز الإيواء في قطاع غزة مراحل الإنتاج وصنع الخبز ذلك استكمالا لمشروع توزيع الدقيق بتبرع كريم من فاعلات خير من دولة قطر أصلى الله عز وجل أن يبارك في أموالهم وفي جهودهم ينسى وكم بالخير قد رفعت محن يعطيك العافية كفا كيف وصل الشغل معاكم إن شاء الله مش متغلبين في شيء طويلين في الشغل أنت الذي بوجوده هذه الحياة بخير نشكر أخواتنا من دولة قطر الشقيقة على هذه اللفتة الكريمة في ظل هذه الظروف الصعبة التي يمر بها شعبنا الكريم على تمويل مشروع طحين الشعب أمس الحاجة لرغيف الخبز وبنشكر مؤسسة الخير برضو معاهم على الدعم هذا نتمنى منهم أنهم يستمروا في دعمهم إنا في ظل الحرب القاسية على شعبنا نتمنى منهم أنهم يدعمونا كمان في أنه جاي علينا عيد وحابين أنه نفرح أطفالنا في صنع حلويات من منتج الطحين وإن شاء الله ربنا بكون معانا ومعاهم وشكرا لهم وان شاء الله في ميزان حسنة مطر يغيث من العنا كالفرج من رب السماء يحيي الحياة اذا نزل لا لا يمل من العطاء نشكر فعالات الخير من قطر بارك الله فيك نشكر فعالات الخير من دولة قطر ونحييهم ونشكرهم نشكر فعالات الخير من قطر والله يحييهم الله يرزقهم ربنا يحميهم يا رب ويحمينا دعواتنا لهم ان شاء الله يا رب يروح ادورنا بالسلام ويا رب يخليهم لنا كن رحمة للغيب انت الذي بوجوده هذه الحياة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الخير فاونديشن كيتشنز ار وركينج اراوند ذا كلوب توداي از ذا 16 اوف ذا هولي مانث اوف رمضان وذ يور دونيشن اند يور سبورت الحمد لله الخير فاونديشن كيتشنز ار وركينج ان اول غازا ستريب ديستريكتس ان نورث اوف غازا ان غازا سيتي ان ذا ميدل اوف غازا ستريب ان رفا وذ يور دونيشن الحمد لله وي ار ايبل to distribute daily thousands of the hot iftar meals for the displaced families inside shelters who are struggling and living tough and hard times. We would like to express our sincere thanks and the gratitude for all our donors and supporters of Al Khair Foundation who keep donating and supporting since the first day of the attack on Gaza Strip. And Alhamdulillah, we are now inside Gaza Strip in this holy month of Ramadan with your support and your help, thousands of families daily are getting this hot uh, meals with your donation and your support. Jazakum Allah khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رمضان کریم فرام سیریا ماشاء اللہ رسپیکٹڈ بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ٹوڈے آئی وڈ لائک ٹو شیئر ویری امپورٹنٹ انفارمیشن ود یو ماشاء اللہ الحمد للہ یو ایوری ایئر یو ڈونیٹ فوڈ پیک ٹو الخیر فاؤنڈیشن ماشاء اللہ فار ڈفرنٹ کنٹریز اینڈ سو آن ماشاء اللہ ان یو کے وی چارج ففٹی پاؤنڈ فار ون فوڈ پیک ان سم کنٹریز ان یور ففٹی پاؤنڈ بیسکلی اٹ کوڈ بی ون اینڈ ہاف فوڈ پیک in some countries it could be nearly two food packs basically because the price depends from 30 pound to 70 75 pound so sometimes basically food pack comes more expensive than 50 pound so your the 50 pound price is an average uh, generally speaking that's the matter but nevertheless your 50 pound 100% of it goes towards food pack regardless is one pack or two packs or one and a half pack or nearly one pack in that but today mashallah uh, is exactly one full pack uh, in 50 pound uh, so i want to show you what it is mashallah we are in syria right now so to start with this uh, al khair foundation uh, dates alhamdulillah the stock we had uh, then there are basically chickpeas there is uh, different type of lentil there is sugar there is tuna fish there is honey Uh, there is a uh, milk powder these are two uh, uh, buckets of ghee um, you can call it butter i don't know what you will say ghee uh, um, and then uh, there is olive oil cooking oil uh, salt cheese and then um, uh, further dates again and this one is a um, uh, tomato paste uh, then there is a um, spaghetti and uh, like that basically then this is arabic dish called burghul uh, so i don't know what do you say in arabic uh, then there is lentil and then there is a uh, over here there is a, a flour and a pack of rice all this item goes in two boxes so not on one box but two box so in 50 pound uh, you are donating two boxes mashallah the total value of uh, entire box uh, is uh, about basically 55 uh, to 60 dollars mashallah in then um, additional cost of transportation and like that so call it around 50 pound mashallah uh, two boxes uh, alhamdulillah the family is receiving i know is not uh, you can say uh, ideal Uh, but this is the best uh, alhamdulillah uh, the team could do here um, in this budget mashallah so jazakumullah khair uh, mashallah i'm here and all this conway basically a number of lorries in fact let me start from here so there is uh, one lorry here mashallah um, full of uh, food packs uh, there is a second lorry here and these are not very small ones and not very large but mid size uh, trucks you can say uh, then third one mashallah here then the fourth one here uh, fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen uh, so so far i can see uh, 13 of them uh, 12 of them are mid size and the 13th one are is a, a smaller one the 13th one is carrying dates only Uh, so mashallah this is the food pack here may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your uh, sacrifice uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your zakat and sadaqa this is going to the syrian refugees um, who been suffering for almost a generation now basically uh, so children are born in this camp here Uh, these camps and subhanallah um, whole year age uh, school age basically has uh, gone by without access to education medical and so on so one of the most deserving community right now on the earth after people of gaza is uh, this community so we are here inshallah and we will make sure that uh, every support of your uh, um, contribution Uh, goes to the most needy area inshallah jazakumullah khair continue donating with confidence may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh
ครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับ You know, but apne aapko bachao bas. That's it. Apne aapko bacha ke rakho, aur kuch nahi karna. Just to save yourself, either from the attacks or from the hunger, from dying, from in getting injured. That's that's life in Gaza. Subhanallah. Every day. Every day is that struggle. Someone. Same. Every day they're losing someone. I was just, uh, you know, in, in contact with Abu Naim from Egypt. He yeah. lost his uh, very good friend of his, and Allah. he was, you know, sharing on Instagram, and he was heartbroken. Subhanallah, when you know, when 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 uh, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Subhanallah, these people are losing everyone every day. Someone in their life that they cherished, that they loved, that they spent time with, and Subhanallah, one by one they are dying. They are getting killed. They become shaheed, and and we are not worried about those people who are dying because they are going to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. You know, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in the Quran actually says that we bring hardships like these of you, so we can look from who are the believers and we can take shuhada from amongst you. So this is what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is doing with those people who have, have have gone, but the rest are our responsibility. Their pain should be our pain. Their hunger should be our hunger. Their sadness should be our sadness. Their suffering should be our suffering. And again, you know, we unfortunately the world, the way it is today, is 
we have divided ourselves into, in, into different people. You know, they are the Palestinian people, we are the Pakistani people, the Indian people, we are the Bangladeshi people, we are this people, that people. My brothers and sisters, we are one ummah, one nation. You know, our iman pehle aata hai, phir humara aata hai, hum kahan se hain, kidr se hain, humara passport kaun se rang ka hai. You know, this comes later. We are part of one nation, these are our people. Hey, humare bhai, humare bhaen, humare bache, is waqt is halat se guzar rahe hain. Aur humko labbaik kehna chahiye unke, subhana on those calls that they're making to the world. And they are making those, 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 those calls. And when you look at the videos, when you look at the, the, the issues and the problems that they are facing, and the videos that they are putting on, social media and they are literally saying in, 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 in those videos, you know, where is the Ummah? Where are our brothers and sisters? Where are the Arabs? Where are the Muslim nations? Can you see our brothers and sisters dying? Can you see our mothers, subhanAllah, do you have no food? Can you see the grandmother, grandmother that we showed the video of? She's, she's sitting there and she's washing some leaves and she's sitting there just crying. And the cameraman goes, yeah, oh, uh, you know, grandmother, why are you crying? She goes, this, there's no food for my children. Allahu Akbar. This is why I have to feed my children. And she's sitting there making the food and she's crying while she's making it. That's the suffering that they're going through. You know, when you, see, when you see a video like this, and imagine yourself standing there Allah. in the middle of that street. La ilaha illallah. And you're waiting for Tawbah, a bomb to drop or you're waiting for, subhanAllah, something to happen. Just, Oof. or nothing happens, but you're just standing there. Amidst all that rubble, subhanAllah. And when you go back into your tent, just like you've said, there's nothing for, to feed your kids. Your kids are crying, you know, you, they're, they're hungry, they want to be fed, but there's nothing in the house. You know, what, what, goes, what goes on your mind at that and, time? And, and I, can't, I, can't, I can't imagine, subhanAllah. And, and that's not even the only issue they have. Yeah. SubhanAllah, they go into, into their tent. The tent is leaking first of all, right? There's water dripping inside. There's a puddle of water on, on the ground and, and it's mud because, you know, they're, they're, they're on soil that they've made a tent on. So there's mud there. It is getting dirty. Mm. There is no food. There is, it is cold. They don't have the right clothing. They don't have the right, uh, you know, places to sit on. No mattresses, no pillows, no, no uh, you know, blankets. And even if they have, they have to share a, a, a small uh, mattress with many, many people, subhanAllah. Then on top of that, some of them have injuries and they are in pain. There are no medication to help them. There is no place for them to take them to so they can relieve their pain. There are no painkillers. SubhanAllah, so you know, they, we cannot even start to imagine what they are going through on a daily basis. Mm. You can't even start to imagine. And these people, SubhanAllah, you know, I, I can very easily say this because I felt this when I met them. And, and you see this as well on, on, on your screen, is that these are not just Muslims, these are Mu'mins. They are believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, describes the people that when they are afflicted with a, a tribulation or a, or a big problem in their life, they say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. And these are those people. You know, hum, uh, we lose our wallet, hum kata inna lillahi wa inna raji'un. We lose our car keys, we say inna lillahi wa inna raji'un. These people are losing their family members. You know, at a time, it's a very critical time at that time. Because subhanAllah, you could start saying stuff which is against your iman, against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because you lose your mind. But even in that state, when one would lose their mind, they're not losing their minds. They are saying, Ya Rabb, in, in fact, you know, it's, it's shocking when I, hear, when I see these videos, Mulan Sahib, when, when they've got the bodies of their loved ones in front of them, in their arms, and they're saying to Allah, Ya Allah, continuously to take from us as long as you are pleased, or until you are pleased. Hatta tardaq. Until you are razi with us, and until you are, you know, happy with us. This is the iman. Subhanallah. Allah. 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 مگر پھر بھی ان کے زبان پہ اللہ کا شکر ہے اللہ کا ذکر ہے اور الحمدللہ ہے اور ایسے لوگوں کے اگر ہم مدد نہ کر سکیں تو قیامت کے دن اگر جب یہ اللہ کے سامنے ہمارے کے خلاف کچھ بول دیں تو اللہ ہماری سنے گا ان کی سنے گا Is Allah gonna listen to this? Their cries? Is Allah gonna listen to our cries? And, 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 and what excuses do we have? And we have to be really honest with ourselves brothers and sisters What, 
What excuses do we have? Matlab, agar kal, and imagine yourself, because we should do muhasaba of our actions, we should reflect upon our life and our sins and our good deeds and what we are doing with our life. You know, for yourself, in a moment, right now, place yourself in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there's a Palestinian in front of you. And you are standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. And the Palestinian points at you and says, this person did not help me when I was in need. Okay, now try to make some excuses for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, you cannot hide anything from Allah. Allah knows everything. Allah. So, you know, think of some excuses you could make. You know, are they really excuses? You know, even we testify, I can say, you know, these are not excuses really. Because there's so much we could do that we didn't do. There's so much we could have uh, sent to them that we, we didn't send. So, but that day, it will be too late. Yeah, and the beautiful thing is that we are being reminded right now in the dunya why Allah has given us life, Allah has given us the facilities, Allah has given us the wealth, Allah has given us the opportunity. But we are still, subhanAllah, withholding and still thinking, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. My brothers and sisters, this is not the time for that. This is the time to pick up those phones and dial 03000 We have... We have a message uh, yeah. from Imam Saab. Imam Qasim, yeah, inshallah. he's, uh, he's uh, somewhere in Syria, I believe, or some. Okay, oh, so somewhere else. Okay, right. but he's Great got a special people. message for all of you. So please listen to this uh, special message uh, from Imam Saab regarding Gaza. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, mashallah. Uh, what a blessed day, subhanAllah. And on this blessed day, we are packing the boxes. Uh, and each box says, bless and be blessed this Ramadan, mashallah. Uh, this is for uh, aid supply to Gaza, alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, 17th of Ramadan, mashallah, historical day. Uh, the day of uh, battle of Badr, mashallah, uh, subhanAllah. Due to which, rather, we are Muslim today, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everyone, subhanAllah. Brothers and sisters, last few days I was inside Syria uh, delivering houses and basically different aid items there. From Syria, mashallah, uh, today uh, we arrived in Jordan and straight I came to this warehouse. And mashallah, I just want to show you the preparation that is going on here for our next mega project, next cargo plane delivering aid closer to the border of Gaza, mashallah. So Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, these are the boxes which are being packed. This is not entire cargo, but part of it. Uh, once these boxes are packed, then tomorrow there will be another round. And day after tomorrow, there will be a third round of it. So you have today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, basically next two, three days to donate. I just quickly want to give you some glimpses of, uh, mashallah, the stock. Uh, what is going on in here, mashallah. Uh, so brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, this is the warehouse where mashallah all the stock uh, has been placed here and subhanallah can you believe it this entire warehouse subhanallah all of it or most of it will go in cargo plane uh, packed in those boxes uh, there is oil here mashallah there is a uh, starting with this let's see what it is here uh, the sugar mashallah three and a half kg sugar uh, mashallah uh, then there is a uh, flower packets, there is uh, halawiyat, uh, subhanallah, and then on this side there is uh, tea boxes. Uh, so these are uh, the tea that is used normally in Gaza. So over there they don't use tetli or PG or whatever basically we use, but rather different ones. So uh, different food items, mashallah, here. Alhamdulillah, uh, brothers and sisters, the entire warehouse is full of his stock, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Please donate as best as you can, inshallah, if you donate uh, within the next two days. Ideally, donate tonight, so while I'm here, I can pack your boxes, inshallah. So, uh, subhanallah, all this stock will be going uh, inside those boxes, and it will go into uh, cargo plane, inshallah. I would like to see how many boxes or how many pallets you would like to sponsor, inshallah. Uh, because this is going in cargo, uh, we have made... Uh, different size boxes, uh, durable boxes, uh, strong boxes, and there's larger boxes than previous ones. So that's why uh, the stock which is going in here in these boxes is uh, rather more expensive, uh, it's more in quantity. So this one is costing us nearly 60 to 65 pounds. For 125 pounds, brothers and sisters, you can sponsor, inshallah, two boxes. Uh, and if you would like to sponsor this one block here, uh, 
these four boxes here. These four boxes will be uh, 250 pounds. The packaging started literally just now as we speak. Uh, you can see oil is gone in, sugar is gone in, and uh, mashallah, the packaging is going on. So if you sponsor two boxes, 125 pounds, and uh, if you donate 250 pounds, then these uh, four boxes, four, uh, a section, will be on your behalf. 500 pounds will mean uh, two um, units, which is eight boxes, and uh, mashallah, 1,000 pounds means 16 boxes here, uh, mashallah. And uh, if you donate 5,000 pounds, then you will be taking, inshallah, entire uh, pallet uh, on your behalf. Uh, and we will deliver that uh, to Gaza, inshallah. By sending through aeroplane, uh, air cargo, this is not airdrop, this is air cargo, taking closer to the border of Gaza, uh, the nearest airport there, because air flight uh, goods have different process and different queuing system. So inshallah, uh, the previous cargo plane we sent entered very quickly, and therefore uh, this, is, uh, this seems to be much quicker than sending from Cairo and so on. So while basically from Cairo it might be a little cheaper, uh, this might be about 20% uh, more expensive, uh, but it is much more quicker, which means inshallah, within last 10 days of Ramadan, they will receive your donated food packs inshallah. So brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, on this blessed day of 17th of Ramadan, I would like to see how many of you will come forward and will sponsor how many boxes. Uh, if anyone would like to sponsor 5,000 pounds, that is one pallet, plus few more boxes also, inshallah, on top of it. So, Jazakumullah khair, brothers and sisters, you donate and we deliver in shortest possible time. Bless and be blessed, inshallah, this Ramadan with Al Khair Foundation, mashallah. We are delivering this in partnership with uh, King Hussein of Jordan, and the King of Jordan, his uh, organization, mashallah. Uh, uh, King Hussein's organization and Al Khair Foundation delivering in partnership. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this partnership and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your and our partnership of being donor and organization. Bless and be blessed this Ramadan. Fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar. الرحمن الرحيم اليوم هو الرابع والستون بعد المئة من العدوان والغارات الجوية على قطاع غزة والتامن من شهر رمضان المبارك عام 1445 هجري يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أيما مسلم أطعم مسلما على جوع أطعمه الله من ثمار الجنة أهلنا في غزة في كرب عظيم وفي شدة لا يعلم مداها إلا الله فمشاهد النكبة تطل برأسها من جديد شد قساوة منذ نكبة عام 48 والله إن الكلمات لا تعجز عن وصف ما نعانيه ومن هول ما نرى ونسمع من إبادة وتطهير أرقي لشعب أعزل وعلى مرأة ومسمع من العالم أجمع نقوم في هذا اليوم المبارك وبدعم كريم من فاعلات خير من دولة قطر على تجهيز وتوفير أكثر من 800 كيس طحين في وزن 25 كيلو يتم توزيعهم على مراكز الإيواء وفي الخيام على الأسر المتضررة والنازحة في مدينة غزة فبالنيابة عن الشعب الفلسطيني توجه بالشكر الجزيل والامتنان لفاعلات الخير من دولة قطر على هذا العطاء الكريم أصل الله عز وجل أن يبارك في أموالكم وأبنائكم وأن يكتب أجركم والشكر موصول إلى دولة قطر حكومة وشعبا وأميرا على ما تقدم من دعم ومساندة الشعب الفلسطيني هنا في قطاع غزة نشكر فاعلات خير من دولة قطر على هذا الدعم السلام عليكم الحمد لله سلامتكم كيف الطحين هذا مقدما فاعلات خير من دولة قطر أبعث الرسالة يعني رسالة قوية جدا وتحية لدولة قطر الشقيقة لي دائما وأبدا تدعم فلسطين وخاصة غزة نشكرهم كل أعماق قلبنا ولولا الله ثم قطر كان إحنا ضعنا كان إحنا والله جعنا ولكن أشهد لله قطر كل احترام وتقدير لهم وأشكر كمان يعني من أعماق قلب مؤسسة الخير اللي هي كل احترام وتقدير تاج راسنا مؤسسة الخير
نشكر فاعلات قطر على مد العون لاهل فلسطين جزيل الشكر بارك الله فيكم وجزاكم الله كل خير الخير لا تدري بمن اعطي ساتي كذب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يشارككم اليوم فريق مؤسسة الخير لحظات من تجهيزات وتحضيرات اخواتنا النازحات في احد مراكز الايواء في قطاع غزه مراحل الانتاج وصنع الخبز ذلك استكمالا لمشروع توزيع الدقيق بتبرع كريم من فاعلات خير من دوله قطر اسال الله عز وجل ان يبارك في اموالهم وفي جهودهم. بالخير قد رفعت محن يعطيك العافيه كفا كيف وصل الشغل معاكم؟ إن شاء الله مش متغلبين في شيء طويل في الشغل أنت الذي في وجوده هذه الحياة بخير نشكر أخواتنا من دولة قطر الشقيقة على هذه اللفتة الكريمة في ظل هذه الظروف الصعبة التي يمر بها شعبنا الكريم على تمويل مشروع طحين الشعب أمس الحاجة لرغيف الخبز وبنشكر مؤسسة الخير برضو معهم على الدعم هذا نتمنى منهم أنهم يستمروا في دعمهم إنا في ظل الحرب القاسية على شعبنا ونتمنى منهم أنهم يدعمونا كمان في أنه جاي علينا عيد وحابين أنه نفرح أطفالنا في صنع حلويات من منتج الطحين وإن شاء الله ربنا بكون معنا ومعاهم وشكرا لهم وان شاء الله في ميزان حسنه مطر يغيث من العنا كالفرج من رب السماء يحيي الحياه اذا نزل لا لا يمل من العطاء نشكر فعالات الخير من قطر بارك الله فيكم نشكر فعالات الخير من دولة قطر ونحييهم ونشكرهم نشكر فعالات الخير من قطر والله يحييهم الله يرزقهم ربنا يحميهم يا رب ويحمينا دعواتنا لهم ان شاء الله يا رب يروح ادورنا بالسلامة ويا رب يخليهم منا كن رحمة للغير انت الذي الله أكبر الله أكبر that was سبحان الله إمام صاب with a message that he filmed with his own phone just hours ago whilst he was in the warehouse in Jordan where they are you know packing the food packs today this is just a few hours ago سبحان الله he was there he was filming it with his own camera you know his own phone and he said look I want to share this with our viewers so please you know he sent us the video and said please show this video to our donors alhamdulillah so your food packs alhamdulillah in full force are getting ready. Imam Sab is present there overlooking the operation himself. He's making sure that everything is done in the best possible way. And then Mulan Sab, we saw alongside a video from Imam Sab, yeah. another video, Alhamdulillah. And that was in Gaza. That was not subhanAllah anywhere else. That was a video from inside Gaza. Yeah. And that was specifically uh, the distribution that we did on behalf of the government of Qatar. Subhanallah. So this is that uh, subhanAllah delivery that the government of Qatar has given Al Khair Foundation the task to deliver their aid in Gaza. And Alhamdulillah, you can see how, uh, and this is what requested to do this uh, by them. They said, We want uh, the bags of flour to reach each tent, and I want you to hand them over to them. And Alhamdulillah, we fulfill that uh, because that's what we do anyway, normally. You know, we, as you can see, Subhanallah. We don't try to, uh, you know, bring the beneficiaries on on camera and show them, you know, look how how hungry they are, and we are giving them food because that's not the right way to do. You know, humko no thing ko aise jagah pe rakhne ke liye. These are honourable people. You know, even when they're receiving, some of them, obviously the women are behind part of that, yes. but the men, even the men, yes. speaking behind the door, absolutely, not even coming in front of the camera. Subhanallah, that's the, the, the self-respect. It's, it's like us, Subhanallah, brothers and sisters. You know, would we like if we Allah protect us, but if we are in a position where we have to receive food aid, you know, would we like to be on camera and everyone seeing us? You know, it doesn't befit uh, to do it. You know, in some areas, some people they don't mind. They they'll come on camera themselves. 
right? So in, in those cases, you'll see those videos where we are handing them over out to them. But in, in when we when our team finds out and realizes that these people don't like to be on camera, then we will not, subhanallah, you know, put them on camera. Many of these families, you know, they're doctors, they're engineers, they are you know professionals who are you know who have worked hard in their life, who have studied at, you know places like Stanford and and Oxford and you know different places around the world, prestigious places, and they are now in a situation where they have to receive aid. And they never were in that position. So for us to go to them now and show their faces and all that kind of stuff, this is, you know, the, the trust that we have with you guys and the trust that we have with our beneficiaries. That we want to do everything in the best possible way. Uh, you know, even when the Prophet ﷺ would give a gift to someone. You know, when he would give a gift, you know how he would give it? He would not give it like this. He would give it like this. So the one that's receiving his hand would be above. above so he wouldn't see the, 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 the thinking of the Prophet ﷺ, the mercy of Rasul ﷺ. And that's why, alhamdulillah, we work in this certain way because the ulama in this organization have studied those, the hadith. They have studied the sunnah of Rasul ﷺ. So we know how to hand out your donations as well. Not just, you know, some organizations, we've seen videos from Allah where they go on the back of a truck and they're throwing the rotis and the, yeah. and, and the aid out like that. You know, this is not a way to distribute, distribute aid. So, oh. Alhamdulillah, your donations are reaching the people of Gaza, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. That's, that, that's what this video shows, Alhamdulillah. And the first video from Imam Sahib, uh, you know, footage that was taken today, earlier on, a few hours ago, from uh, Jordan, is regarding the cargo plane that's going to take off, inshallah, on Saturday, inshallah. That's what we've been told. Saturday, the cargo plane is to take off. With all this, all this food pack here, inshallah, th that's going to go on a pallet and each of this like Imam Sahib said this is a little bit more expensive because it's going on the cargo plane so maybe 60 pounds uh, 65 pounds uh, a box uh, 125 pounds for two boxes and if you take uh, four boxes 250 pounds inshallah four boxes 250 pounds four food packs going from you inshallah and that's gonna go on a pallet on a cargo plane in um, where was it Jordan in Jordan inshallah and it's going to take off from Jordan, go to Arish Airport, which is few kilometers, well, 20, about 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers from the Rafa border. But it's going to go through the Israeli border into Gaza, inshallah. And uh -huh. Imam Saab or someone from our team, inshallah, will be overseeing this flight, you know, going into Arish and taking off uh, and uh, coming back, obviously. And from there, it'll go on the truck. Allahu Akbar. So, mashallah, you know, this is for the flight. And look, if you look at this, uh, that, uh, the pallet there, a massive pallet. Each pallet, subhanAllah, has about 55 boxes apparently. You know, a bigger pallet because it's going on the cargo. So, and one pallet, subhanAllah, is 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds to sponsor an entire pallet going on a cargo plane from Jordan into Arish, from Arish on a truck immediately within the matter of days, mashallah. So, you know, you know it'll, be, it'll be reaching them early next week. Subhanallah and, Subhanallah and you know you may be thinking you know why is it 5,000 pounds why is it more expensive because Subhanallah you can understand my brothers and sisters you know the, the flight and uh, the, the food prices in Jordan then you know the whole operation is more but why are we spending more money when we can do it to trucks one may ask because the reality is we are trying to save lives not money. Yeah. We, when we can save lives, when we know that our food can get to an area in Gaza where there is about a famine to, to, to happen, subhanAllah, you know, and we find another route that we can deliver in Gaza uh, quicker and more safely, then we will take that route, even if it costs 20% more. And this is subhanAllah, the dedication that uh, we have and the resolve that we have that we want to get as much food as we can into Gaza. You know, this is, this is not about saving money here. No. What you rightly said, this is about saving lives. And it's had, it has literally come to that point where we need to save the lives of the Gaza people. We need to save the lives. Because if it goes on for any longer, every single day is too late for some of the people there. Every single day, my brothers and sisters. Every single week. It's too late for many, many of the, uh, our brothers and sisters in Gaza. So, you know, this is not, oh, I'll do it in the last 10 days, I'll wait for the odd night and... Oh, yes, no, no. This is now, today, you know. And if, when this, you know, cargo plane leaves this Saturday, we want every single one of you, inshallah, aapke taraf se jo hai, ek food pack kam kam ho. Bilkul, bilkul. Please, you know, let's have that, inshallah, that every single one of you have at least one food pack, if not more, on this Absolutely. cargo plane going and, to Adish. And this is my brothers and sisters, you know, you can get your food pack that you're going to donate right now in the last 10 days of Ramadan is going to be in Gaza. 
and you know not many organizations in fact I don't think if any organization can 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 offer this right now what we're saying is if you donate right now before that plane leaves on Saturday we need to have your food pack on that plane and that plane will go towards the Al Arish airport where he will unload those trucks and they will enter Gaza inshallah with your aid if you are going to wait till the last 10 days of Ramadan then your uh, you know we cannot guarantee when your food pack is going to reach there but this way we know that when the plane leaves that food those food packs and that aid reaches Gaza more quicker that's why we're taking this one of these routes alongside the normal trucks that we're still sending from our Egyptian warehouse, Alhamdulillah. So my brothers and sisters, could we for a moment have the prices again on uh, in, in the background so you know our, our viewers can see inshallah yeah. what the prices the are price for these. for the cargo. So you've got, yes, for the cargo. So for an entire pallet, you can donate 5,000 pounds and that's subhanAllah, as you can see, you know, your, your name will be displayed on the pallet. So when he arrives in Gaza, when he's going, being loaded onto the airplane, you can very clearly will be able to see your name. Alhamdulillah, this is from me, my family, my business, my organization, my masjid, my school, or whatever else organization or group you're from. You can, inshallah, you know, come together, even if you're a group of volunteers. You're a group of volunteers that are doing good work, alhamdulillah, and you have a name for your organization or your group. You know, give us the name. You collect the funds together, 5,000 pounds, and alhamdulillah, you can sponsor the entire pallet, and you'll be sending an entire pallet of food to Gaza in a time where there is a famine on the door. Imminent, imminent. Uh, famine uh, about to happen in Gaza. That's that's how close it is. There is. It is not, you know, closing in. It is imminent. We are on the doorstep. Uh, you know, when the, when you board a plane, it says imminent boarding imminent. That means, Subhanallah, you are about to board, and that's what's happening about uh, the, the the famine situation in Gaza right now. Uh, if you can't give the entire pallet, two thousand five hundred is for half a pallet. And if, you know, for example, you can give two and a half thousand pounds and you have a friend, a family member that give two and a half thousand pounds, Alhamdulillah, come together and give a full pallet. Otherwise, you can give 500 pounds towards medical, you can give 250 pounds towards hygiene packs and 100 pounds towards the food. And, you know, alongside the food, you know, these hygiene packs are very, very important, my brothers and sisters. Why? Because we don't actually realize, you know, what these hygiene packs are for. You know, we think hygiene pack and we need food, yeah, food is more needed. But hygiene packs are as much needed as food. Why am I saying this? Because those sisters, for example, who are watching right now, we, you know, they will understand a woman has certain you know, problems she has to deal with, you know, her periods, cleanliness, you know, hygiene, all that kind of stuff is important to uh, you know, uh, a woman or any human, subhanAllah. You know, simple things as, 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 as washing your hands, having soap available, you know, washing your hair, having shampoo available, you know, brushing your teeth, having a toothbrush and toothpaste, having, you know, uh, disinfectant available. So you, if you have wounds, you can clean your disinfectants. If you, you know, sanitary pads, all of these items are much, much needed right now in Gaza because people had to leave their homes suddenly. They had to suddenly, subhanAllah, you know, run out of their homes. And when I went to Egypt, I was there with a group of brothers that just left Gaza. They found a way to get out of Gaza uh, and, and I was speaking to them and I said, Brother Harun, when we had to leave our houses, we had no time to, you know, look around and even grab some clothes, you know, let's grab the money that we have saved up in, the, in our save. If they had some money, you know, that, that was, uh, you know, grab the things we need. No, he said, when we had to leave our house, it was an emergency. We were running for our lives. We, we, we didn't even grab the stuff that was in our hand. We dropped it and we run for our, for our lives. And this is subhanAllah what happened and what is happening in Gaza. So these items that we are showing you, the food, hygiene, medical, the, the pallet of food is much, much needed right now. And if you can come forward and you can give towards it, even if it's a hundred pound food and not the five thousand pounds, because that's all the only thing you can afford, then go for the hundred, hundred pound food. Then at least you will know that in the last days of Ramadan and you're watching the images and the videos coming out of Gaza, at least you have that little bit of sukoon in your heart that Ya Allah, you know, you at least let me
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected brothers and sisters, I am in Afrin area, uh, close to Jindaris. This is, mashallah, Al Khair villages area. Uh, we're completing one village after another here. Uh, this is the village a few months ago. I came and laid foundation. The plan for this uh, whole section is started in 2022 uh, before the earthquake uh, because we were constructing houses here from before. But uh, after earthquake, this area was expanded and then leveling and everything was done. So, mashallah, we are opening the village and alhamdulillah, Behind me, all these uh, trucks are coming with the supplies for the beneficiaries who are receiving these houses. We completed, mashallah, uh, here 500 homes, another 500 are under construction. So total 1,000 homes on behalf of uh, Al Khair Foundation, donors and partner organizations are under construction, mashallah. I'll be opening uh, two villages today, mashallah. Uh, this one is on behalf of uh, Shine Charity, uh, Masjid Tawheed al-Islam, mashallah. Jazakumullah khair May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and bless you. I wanted uh, Masjid Tawheed al-Islam and Shine Charity members themselves to come. It is not easy to come to this area and Mufti Hamid Sahib uh, instructed me to inaugurate on their behalf. This is the kitchen area, so their kitchen uh, items will go here. And this is basically a small external balcony. So it's an open area to put like their cylinder and so on here, mashallah. Each house has two bedroom, one kitchen, one bathroom and one living room, mashallah. This is the bathroom in the middle, uh, bathroom and shower together here. And then two rooms on right and left. Rooms are not that big, but it's reasonably sized, mashallah. Uh, so uh, it's much, much better than shelters and uh, temporary shelter or tents and so on. Inshallah, we have these families on standby. Uh, they eagerly waiting for these houses to be completed and move in, inshallah. So it's going to take maybe another two to three months. Alhamdulillah, this village is almost complete. Uh, construction is final stage, um, doors and windows going in and uh, after that inshallah internal wall fi fixture and fitting. Instead of waiting for uh, all the amenities to be completed, we will hand over the houses because it's winter. So we will hand over the houses first and then we'll keep continue to complete the remaining facilities of the village. For example, a school, uh, education and community facilities and so on. Brothers and sisters, uh, the housing project inside Syria uh, is very, very crucial right now because there are, um, you can say, almost a million people uh, who are displaced and um, they are living in uh, very difficult circumstances, very challenging circumstances in shelter tents and so on. So I would encourage you to come forward and donate inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respect the president. serve these people with the little I could
And this is not really, subhanAllah, for us to be comforted on. This is for us to save ourselves from the wrath and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, every single one of us has been, has been blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every single one of us has been given so much by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And reality is that when we look at our lives and we may say to ourselves, Brother Harun, you know, you're right, we are blessed, but we're not that blessed. You know, we still have issues, we still have problems that we have to deal with. We, sometimes it's financial, sometimes it's health, sometimes it's, you know, stuff like this. You know, to put ourselves into perspective, and this is why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said this as well. He said, when you're going to look at your, the blessings that Allah gave you, you're going to look at the people who are below you, not above you. Because if you, if you are going to look at the millionaires, and we're going to look at the billionaires, and when you look at the celebrities and the, and the actors and the singers and, and the people of the showbiz, you know, of course we're going to feel insecure after looking at their lives. Look at the sizes of the villas and the mansions that they live in, the, the cars they are driving, the you know, Rolls Royces and the whatnots, subhanAllah, the clothes they are wearing, the, 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 the branded watches they are wearing, each watch is costing over 100,000. You know, and, and we are looking at the lifestyle and we're going to look at our life, we're going to say, yeah, we don't have that much actually. You know, I mean, these guys have everything, not us. We're not that blessed. But subhanAllah, that's why Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa said, look at those people that don't have anything. Because when you put your problems, however difficult they are, you put your problems, and this is to every single person living in the West, put your problems in front of a person in Gaza and narrate your problems to them. Or you tell your problems to a, to a person in Africa who has no water available. Or you tell your problems to that family in Pakistan that I've been showing you, who have, subhanAllah, not even homes to live in, who are living in tents. You know, they will tell you that, oh, you know, hold on brother or sister. Yes, you know, there might be issues for you, but you are living in paradise. You have a home, you've got in, you've got warmth in there, you've got electricity, you've got water, you've got hot and cold water, you've got food available, you have security, you are not scared that someone will kill you, you have no, not, you're not scared that someone will bomb you, your children have education available, you have healthcare available, you have everything available that you need. Even your medicines, you're not paying anything for them. So when we look at our blessings, we've got to look at those people who are below us, not those people subhanAllah who are above us. So Allah has blessed us. Right now you will agree with me, I hope, that Allah has blessed us. And this blessing that Allah has given us is a test upon us. Allah is testing the people of Gaza with bombs, with killings, with murders, with, with subhanAllah, rape. Wallah, he does not give me any pleasure at all and I wish these were lies. I wish these were lies that women have been raped. But they, are, they have been verified now. By independent sources, they have been verified. The UN has verified the rape stories. You know what's happening to our sisters? And wallahi, I, again, it does not give me any pleasure and I wish it was a lie. But so, soldiers, they have taken, for example, in a Shifa hospital. Husband, children, his wife, they take the wife, they, they strip her of her clothes. Naked in front of her own sons and uh, her husband and other men in that room. They, subhanAllah, start to beat her. They, they strip her naked in front of everyone and they're beating her. And when she pleaded with, her, with them that I'm pregnant, five months old pregnant, I've got a baby in me, five months, please don't beat me. Allahu Akbar, you know, I don't even want to say it, my brothers and sisters. They start, they start to rape her in front of her husband, in front of her sons and children in front of random men. And then when the men tried to close their eyes, they told the men to keep your eyes open, otherwise we're going to shoot you, we're going to kill you. La ilaha illallah, hasbun allahu anayam al-wakil, hasbun allahu anayam al-wakil, hasbun allahu anayam al-wakil. This is what's happening in Gaza, my brothers and sisters. You know what they're doing? They, they, they're taking a line of men, a line of women, they're telling both of them to strip themselves naked and to look at each other. Look at each other. Those women who are honorable, you know, subhanAllah, ilaha illallah, I don't want to tell these stories, but, you know, I, I'm not going to tell these stories, my brothers and sisters, because I, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, these are our sisters. But this is a reality in Gaza right now. You know, the, 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 the ladies that were calling themselves, they said, you know, we are honorable ladies in our society. 
They took those specific, specifically on the side so they could humiliate them in this way. They told them, okay, you're honorable, you're honorable, you're honorable, you come, come, come. And then they would humiliate them like this by taking their clothes off, na'uzu billah, and, and doing you know, all of this. This is verified now. This is what's happening to the Ummah of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why we are sitting here every day. Every day we have to speak about Gaza. Every day we have to see the videos. Every day we have to do our research. And every day it destroys us from the inside. It just destroys us. But this is an amana on me. An amana on the presenters here that we have to tell you these stories so you can know what's happening on the ground. Maybe we, these new stories are not getting to us. But that's how these people are, are living through hell. But yet they have on their, on their lips nothing but shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have nothing but praise for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have nothing but iman and yaqeen on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond. And Allah says that it is, he, he has put it upon himself to come to the aid of the Muslims. This is in the Quran. I read this yesterday myself. And honestly, Honestly, in this month of Ramadan, please, please open the Quran and read the translation. Don't just read the Arabic and you don't understand the word of, of it. Read the Quran with translation and you will realize the Lord and the Rabb you're dealing with. Yesterday I was reading the story in the Quran of subhanAllah, you know, Hud alayhi salam. Today I was reading the story of, of, of subhanAllah, Yusuf alayhi salam. The, before that, I was reading the story of, you know, Shu'ib alayhi salam. These are all mentioned in the Qur'an so we can understand and learn lessons and, and, and reflect upon them. That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can split the seas for Musa alayhi salam, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take out Yunus alayhi salam from the belly of the whale, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take the qawm of qawm Ad and destroy them, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take the qawm of Luth and destroy them, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take the qawm of Nuh alayhi salam and destroy them and save the believers in every single one of them, my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can help us today. My Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can respond today. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is patient. Allah is waiting. Allah is taking the shuhada from the people of Gaza, from the people of, uh, from, uh, from the Baytul, uh, uh, Magdis, Baytul Magdis, the holy lands. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is rewarding them for their patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is raising their ranks every single second, every single day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give them so much, so much, that on Yom al qiyama we are going to be jealous of them. Wallahi, we are going to be jealous of them and we are going to wish on Yom al qiyamah that we, what, what they are going through, that we went through that as well. And I'm, I'm not lying. This is from the, proven from the Quran and Hadith, what I'm telling you. This is what mentioned through the lips of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We will wish on Yom al qiyamah that someone cut our skin. That someone would, would, should, would have cut our skin in the world so we could get the reward for, for that suffering. Because that's how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to honor these people in Yom al qiyamah Whilst may Allah protect this mass, we are going to be scared. They are going to be fed the fruits of Jannah on Yom al qiyamah Imagine that. Pura insaniyat us, us maqam pe mawjood hai. Har banda dar raha hai ar Allah inko jannat ke phal khila raha hai. This is subhanallah the reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them and Allah will honor them. But at the same time, as Allah is testing them, Allah is testing you and me. I am not an alim, I'm not a scholar, I'm not a mufti, I'm not you know, anything. I'm just you know, someone like you, honestly. How are we living our lives? You know, I, after the uh, you know, three, four months I did the appealing on, of Gaza, I went back home in Belgium you know, to you know, my family and, and, and my community in Belgium. You know, I realized, then I went to Holland, I went to different places, I went to France, I, 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 I travel around, you know. Well, like people are living heedless lives. They don't know, and they're not responding to the people of Gaza. And I think to myself, Ya Rabb, people are living their lives normally, just like Gaza. 
And these people are getting all the reward and these people are getting everything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah is testing us at the same time but another way by giving us wealth and seeing who is going to come to the aid of the Muslims and all of us are living heedless lives and kabhi kabhi idhar udhar thoda de denge but that's it. And when we looked at the Sahaba, Badr, Badr happened on the 17th Ramadan 40, over 1400 years ago. 1445 years ago, 43, you know, subhanAllah, this is the sacrifice that they gave that we today have the kalima on our tongue, tongue. Today that we can say la ilaha illallah, today that we can sit here and give sadaqah. Otherwise, you know, kya kar rahe look at our forefathers. In India, you know, I know every other person is a Sayyid, but if you look at the majority of the other uh, you know, people that are in the middle, in, 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 in Asia. You know, we all have, subhanAllah, you know, what were they? They were, you know, maybe Sikh, they were Hindu. Right? It's because of the sacrifices of the Sahaba that Islam came to our countries and we have la ilaha illallah. Otherwise, we are not, we, we are not the people of Medina. We are not people of, you know, of Arabia that Allah sent the Quran to us. We were a nation distant away from them. But because of the sacrifice of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een and the Tabi'een, Islam reached our country. Islam reached our people, our forefathers, and they accepted Islam on their hands. And today we are saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. It's because someone had to sacrifice something, right? So we had what we have today. And likewise, my brothers and sisters, if now we are not going to aid the people of Palestine, if we are not going to save them from hunger, we are killing off bloodlines. We are killing off the Ummah of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by not responding. Every single one of us has something to give, right? Every one of us can give something. And right now, my brothers and sisters, we are saying we don't need to rebuild their homes. We are not saying to you know, do this and we are just saying let's get as much food as we can to the people of Gaza. Alhamdulillah, today, this morning, this morning, 11 more trucks of ours entered Gaza. 11 more trucks of ours entered Gaza. And this is a regular thing. 11 trucks full of tents and shelter for the people of Gaza, donated by yourselves. And inshallah, very soon you will see, inshallah, those tents being set up in Gaza and the people of Gaza living in those tents because there are still so many people who don't have a place to stay. They are living in small rooms, you know, the size of, of this stage with 30, 40 people. I met one person myself, he said, in, in, in our room, he, t he showed me the room. And it was a, in, the, the size he was showing me was very small. You know, your living room is, is most likely, you know, usually the houses in the UK are, you know, are on the same model. You know, your front room. Imagine 30 to 40 people living in that front room. No privacy, no space, no place to, you know, nothing. And that is their life right now. So you and I can give some relief to these people. And we are showing you, look, this is our delivery. This is inside Gaza what we are showing you. This is not another country. This is inside Gaza. And this specific delivery was on behalf of the government of, of Qatar. And the government of Qatar approached us. It wasn't the other way around that we said to Qatar, you know, let us deliver. You know, why, why would we even think that, that Qatar would want to come to us? But Qatar has looked and seen the operation of Al-Khair Foundation in the Middle East, they've seen how we've been delivering in Gaza, that their official came to us. Al Jazeera, we all know the channel, they came to us. And they said, look, we want to work together with you. And that way, through Al Jazeera, they told Qatar, the government, and government now came to us. And now we're delivering on behalf of the government of Qatar. We have signed a memorandum, MOU, with Malaysia, the interim prime minister that's currently in Malaysia, he signed the documents, the ceremony himself. So our delivery in Gaza, alhamdulillah, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. We are getting your aid to Gaza. And we are telling you, this airplane that will leave uh, Jordan on Saturday, we need to fill it with your aid. We need you to donate towards these aid items. One pallet, 5,000 pounds. Half a pallet, two and a half thousand pounds. You know, subhanAllah, hundred pounds towards general food. 
You can give that and inshallah we will make up the rest through other donations from our donors. But we need as many people to come forward right now. We need you to come forward so we can send as much aid to Gaza. Otherwise, we were already sending the trucks in which are still leaving. Today, like I said, 11 more trucks entered Gaza. Those trucks from, from Egypt are still going. But now we found a different route through uh, Jordan where we have linked and subhanAllah did a partnership with the charity of King Hussein of Jordan. We have done a, uh, subhanAllah, a, a partnership with the char official organization of the king himself. And we are taking this aid through the planes towards Gaza, alhamdulillah. We're not, we're not aid dropping them. They are going to go on an airport, we're going to load them off, put them on a truck, and the trucks are going to enter uh, to a different border, not the Rafa border, a different border because they are allowing more aid through that. See, we found a different way. We found a different route and we're utilizing that. And your aid is getting to Gaza and it's going to get there, inshallah, this, this, this load, next load from the plane that's going to go. Within the last 10 days of Ramadan, your food pack will be in Gaza in the hands of a family. What better news can I tell you? And the fact that you can give an entire pallet, my brothers and sisters, and today so many people have given towards pallets. Entire pallets. You might be thinking it's not possible to keep 5,000 pounds on, on behalf of me. Well, so many brothers and sisters have come forward and they're giving towards entire pallets. One person has given towards, I believe it was four or five pallets. Six pallets, if not, six pallets. One person. So, alhamdulillah, we have donors out there who can give towards these pallets. 55 pallets, I believe, go in the plane. We need to get and, and fill that plane with aid. And we can only do that if you donate to us. My brothers and sisters, straight away, call 03000 We also have Shaji in the studio, alhamdulillah. And uh, we will come to him, inshallah, after the break. And uh, inshallah, we will, we will listen to him and inshallah, uh, we will get inspired by the words he recites because subhanAllah, they all are so beautiful. The kalams are always so beautiful. But before that, in, uh, we're going to go on a small break. But in this break, my brothers and sisters, we need you to please consider and discuss this with your family. You know, imagine how beautiful would it be that you're having a small majlis in your house and you've got your children there, your nephews, nieces there, you've got your grandparents there, everyone's there, and you're together deciding how are we going to raise 5,000 pounds for this pallet. This is how we're going to attract the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our homes. Maybe you have some friends, business friends, and, and organizations you work with. You know, call them. We need to get these pallets on that plane before Saturday. That's the deadline. In fact, uh, Saturday is on deadline, Friday is the deadline. Before Friday, we need that donated uh, straight away. We're going to go on a break, inshallah. After break, we'll join you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs> أشرقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العباد وانتشت روحي وصار الدمع يجري يا إلهي خذ بقلبي للرشاد You can help provide shelter to families in need in Syria by donating a home in Al Care Village. Support a noble cause and make a lasting impact on the lives of those affected. Your donation will provide a safe and secure place for families to rebuild their lives. Join us in creating a brighter future for those who have lost everything. 
Together, we can make a difference and bring hope to those in need. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear respected brothers and sisters I hope you're all well الحمد لله you have come back from Tarawi the brothers and the sisters and others, subhanAllah, I hope you had your time a little bit to relax uh, before standing in prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a very great act in the month of Ramadan to be standing in prayer in congregation. This was, uh, subhanAllah, uh, the sunnah of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to pray at Taraweeh. And then during the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhum, when he came into the masjid, he saw, subhanAllah, uh, all the all the Sahabis praying, one is doing Jama'at there, one is praying there, one is praying there, one is praying there. So Umar anhu got everyone together and he said, SubhanAllah, uh, you know, everyone start praying your Salahs together. And uh, this was, uh, SubhanAllah, uh, till today this practice is being practiced. And the only reason why SubhanAllah Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't do this every day, because he said, I would fear that this would become a fard upon my Ummah. And out of the mercy of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa and out of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would make it this a farz, so, you know, he made it easy upon the ummah. But that does not mean that, you know, we should not be praying. That does not mean that's, that this is proof not to pray. Rather, uh, the, the, you know, they say, fatwa wa tawarik taqwat, and the taqwa is to go and pray and do these actions uh, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when we stand in, in prayer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wasta'inu bi sabri wa salah. Ask help to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through patience and salah. And right now when you look at the ummah and we look at the pain the ummah is going through, we need the assistance and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So everyone should be praying. Every night, stand in prayer in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, I'll give you a tip. If you want to have more khushu in your salah, I say before you recite and before you stand for tahajjud, recite the Quran but read it alongside with the translation. And I promise you, your salah is going to be different. Why? You know, and, and, and this is something that we can all, all practice. We recite the Quran, the barakah and the rahmah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sense. We read the translation with the, and then the easiest part is if you don't have a Quran at home with translation, there's a website called Quran.com. You go on Quran.com and you have all the surahs there, you have all the translations and you have different translations you can select from Ma'arif al-Quran, you have from uh, different uh, translations and then you also have tafsir that you can read about the verses. So uh, brothers and sisters, when you, when you recite the Quran, you read it with translation and you are reading the story of Musa alayhi salam, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking to Musa alayhi salam, what he's saying, what's happening what Musa alayhi salam is doing, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, and Allah's hukums are there, and not just the stories, just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking to us in here. So after we've spoken and listened to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we stand in salah, in tahajjud, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we are standing in prayer, we, can, we remember all of the things Allah has been saying, and then suddenly we forget, we realize, hold on, I'm not just standing here in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm standing here in front of the, the Rabb of Musa alayhi salam, the, the Lord of Ibrahim alayhi salam. I'm standing here, the one that took Yunus alayhi salam and saved him from the belly of the whale. We are, subhanAllah, standing in front of the one that you know, took care of Musa alayhi salam and killed Fir'aun through the water and made pathways in the water, split the sea for Musa alayhi salam. We are standing in front of al razak We are standing in front of Al-Wadud. We are standing for, in front of Malik al-Mulk. We are standing in front of Khairul Raziqeen, you know, Arham al-Rahimeen. We're standing from that being that is giving us, he's providing for us, 
He is helping us. He is there for us. And this is subhanAllah, my brothers and sisters, what happens after we pray uh, and, and recite the Quran with translation and then we stand in salah, our salah is different. So tonight, inshallah, try this. Before you go to sleep, before Fajr, you know, in, 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 pray tahajjud. Even if it's two rakats, even if it's four rakats. But do it after you have recited the Quran, after you have read this translation. And then, inshallah, my brothers and sisters, stand in front of prayer. Watch how your prayer will change. That was just a small, uh, subhanAllah, tip. But subhanAllah, my brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we actually opened this, this, this kitab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is a huda, a, huda a, a guidance. Sorry. We all need navigation nowadays to get from point A to point B. Right? We all need guidance to go from point A to point B. And subhanAllah, without navigation, it becomes difficult to reach our destination. Right? We get lost along the way. We take the wrong exit. We take the wrong street, the wrong turn, the wrong roundabout, the wrong exit. Right? And then, subhanAllah, it takes a long time before we get to a destination where we could have gotten easily with navigation. You know, I remember the times before navigation. You know, I was, we used to go travel in different parts of the country. And you had to stop on the way. You had to ask people. You had to, you know, ask, you know, where is the street? And that person would tell you. And sometimes they would give you the wrong directions. And then you would end up somewhere else. And then there you would ask someone. And they would say somewhere else. And you would end up somewhere else. You know, those people that remember the days about navigation, you know, would, would understand what I'm saying, subhanAllah. And right now, subhanAllah, in this dunya, we need uh, a navigation as well for ourselves. And our navigation is the Quran. When you read the Quran, honestly, it refreshes your memory. It refreshes your purpose. It refreshes... It refreshes your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It refreshes your memory and, and it makes clear to you what your purpose is here again. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps saying the same thing over and over again. You know, do good deeds. Believe in Allah. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, this is how you can gain my rahmah. Hey, how you can do this and how you can do that. And Allah, you know, subhanahu your eyes open. You know, there are so many people around the world. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. You know, for a long time I was part of one of them. The Quran was in front of me, I used to recite it, but I never used to read the translation. And you know, because of the little Arabic that I, I, I had the opportunity to learn, you know, I used to roughly understand what the Quran talks about. I can roughly understand, but when you read it with the translation, because the ulama have translated this and they have, uh, sometimes the Arabic that we understand and the Arabic, what it actually means in the Quran is different, right? So when you read it with the translation, it makes more sense, subhanAllah. And then when you start reading it, you know, it opens up a lot of things for you. A lot of questions that you have are answered in the Quran. I'm honestly saying this. You know, I, I've spent a lot of time, you know, with scholars. I studied in different places, in, in, in Darulums, etc. And, but I still had a lot of questions in my mind. But once we start to read the Quran with translation, Allah answers all those questions. And this is why so many non-Muslims, when they read the Quran, they become Muslim. Because it answers so many, if not all of their questions. Yes, some things need clarification. Sometimes they, need, they have more questions that arise. And those are the ulama they go to and they answer them for them. The dua and, and the eyes, etc. But the Quran answers so many questions for us. And it makes our, realizes our purpose again, subhanAllah. So, you know, let's reconnect with the Quran. Let's reconnect with the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's understand that my Rabb is what I want. What I want to do. We are reading the Quran, but we don't or this Ramadan, you know, even if you have already, you know, a lot of days have gone by and you can't start it, from, you know, start now, subhanAllah, start now and inshallah very soon, you know, even if, if Ramadan stops, does that mean Ramadan ayah, Quran, ban jata? No, start the translation now and continue and even if it continues even a month, two months, three months and every day you just dedicate one page, two page, three pages to the translation, Allahi, you're going to make your life so much easier because you're going to have navigation on, on hand. ورنہ آپ ادھر ادھر بھٹکے رو بھٹکتے رہو گے کبھی ادھر جاؤ گے اور وہ غلط راستہ بتا دیں گے پھر ادھر جاؤ گے ادھر غلط راستہ بتا بتا دیں گے پھر ادھر جائیں گے غلط راستہ بتا دیں گے سبحان اللہ سو یو نو بڑا مشکل ہو جاتا ہے سو جب قران ہمارے پاس ہوتا ہے تو ہمارے پاس ہدایت آ جاتی ہے سبحان اللہ اللہ کی طرف سے الحمدللہ ما برز اینڈ سسٹرز اور پروجیکٹس ار ویل آن دی وے آل اراؤنڈ دی ورلڈ ویدر اٹس غزہ ویدر اٹس 
any country in the Middle East, whether it's Yemen, whether it's Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Kashmir, subhanAllah, in the, all the African countries, you know, there's so many of them that I can't start saying all of the names, subhanAllah. You know, this is uh, the work that you are doing and you are performing with your sadaqah and we are just delivering on your behalf. And alongside all of the humanitarian aid, the food, the water, the education, the orphans, the widows, the homes, etc. We are also intending to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through what? Through reviving the spiritual spirit of the ummah. And we are doing this through building the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, Al Khair Foundation for many, many years now has been building masajid all across the world, in Africa, in Asia. And Alhamdulillah, through your donations, many, many communities in India, in Bangladesh, in, in Pakistan, in uh, Africa, subhanAllah, are, are building masajid, subhanAllah, and they are, having, are getting a place to pray in there, subhanAllah. But before we continue, I believe you have a call, so let's take the call first. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, son? Are you okay? Allah ka shukar. Are you okay? Thank you, alhamdulillah. I see you in your program. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Thank you, Allah. You are the whole team. Allah is the whole team. Yes, inshallah. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah. I have given you the other side of the other side. Donate card I have given you and 550 pounds. Jazakallah, Jazakallah. Thank you so much, my sister. Do you want to give us a message? The message is that you are doing a good job, Allah will do a good job, Mawlana Qasim Sahib, and the whole team, who are doing the work, 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 who are doing the work. آپ بہت اچھا کاری رہا تھا قبول کرے آپ کو آمین آمین جزاک اللہ تو آپ ہمارے لئے دعا کریں میری بیٹی فوت ہوئی ہے تو اس کے لئے بھی سبحان اللہ ضرور دعا کریں گے میرے بہن نے وہی فوت ہوئے ہیں ونٹی فائر سال ان کے بھی اور میرے والدین کے لئے بھی اور ضرور کریں گے انشاءاللہ دنیا پر گئے ہیں بندے فوت ہوگے ساپ کے لئے کرنا اللہ اکبر ضرور کریں گے انشاءاللہ میرے بیٹی کے لئے خاص کر کرنا کرنا اس کے لئے انشاءال اللہ تعالیٰ جاتی مدد کرے ان کی نا بس یہ دعا ان کے لئے ضرور بے شک آپ بہت اچھا کام کر رہے ہیں بیٹا اللہ تعالیٰ کو جرتا فرمائے آمین 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 بہت شکریہ آپ کا کول کا ٹھیک ہے بیٹا اللہ حافظ اللہ حافظ اللہ حافظ thank you so much my sister my auntie سبحان اللہ میں اللہ سبحان اللہ bless you she said she has a daughter that passed away she has a parents who have passed away we ask Allah سبحان و تعالیٰ دیا اللہ you forgive all of their sins May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your daughters, your parents, your family members, everyone's graves that have gone to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah fill it with nur. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extend it until the eye can see. May Allah make it a garden from the gardens of paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, fill her book of deeds full of good deeds. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her jannah to al-firdaus and the highest of jannah ma'an nabiyyina wa siddiqina wa shuhada. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant it her without hisab. That her rahma and his rahma, you know, grant her into Jannah without any hisab. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Subhanallah. You know, so many people have lost, lost so many members, daughters, sons, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters. And it is not easy. Asani hota. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm Quran me, abhi kuch din pehle me, surah Yusuf paratha, subhanallah. And Surah Yusuf, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Yaqub alayhi salam, or Yusuf alayhi salam, or Binyamin alayhi salam, and the story of the story of the story, and subhanallah, the pain of the father, after the birth of the son, means that Yaqub alayhi salam, Allah is the Nabi, but they are not the Nabi. Subhanallah, the eyes are finished, because of the pain and the pain. So, this is the pain, but we should be able to do it. Allah says, Inna Allah is with the sabbers. Allah is with the sabbers with the sabbers. اور یہ جو صبر کرتے ہیں پھر اللہ اس کو ہم کا جزا بھی دیتا ہے ہم کو حسنات بھی دیتا ہے اس کے بدلے اور اللہ کہتا ہے صبر کے بدلے جنت سبحان اللہ تو صبر کریں انشاءاللہ اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی آسانی فرمائے گا اور اللہ ان کی آخرت بھی انشاءاللہ اچھا فرمائے گا انشاءاللہ الحمدللہ برادرز و سسٹرز از آو سیئنگ لائک وی لک افتر دا فیزیکل نیز آف برادرز و سسٹرز راند دا ورلڈ 
we also look after the spiritual needs of our, our people around the world. And this Ramadan, we have pledged that, especially for our donors, because otherwise we build masjids all year round, right? We build you know, whatever month it is, a masjid banare hote hain. Kahi na Pakistan mein construction lagi hoti hai, koi masajid ban rahe hote hain, hamari donors ke ke liye. Lekin is Ramadan mein ham ek special project leke rahe hain, aur aapke samne kafi baar rakh chuke hain. Magar wapis se aapke paas ek samne rakta hoon, Subhanallah, ke jo masjid aap is Ramadan donate karenge, jo humne price lagaye, 37,000 medium masjid ki. اور دس ہزار لارج مسجد کی یہ نامل مسجد زیادہ سستے ہوتے ہیں نامل ایک میڈیو مسجد پانچ ہزار کا ہوتا ہے اور لارج مسجد ساڑھے سات ہزار کا مگر ہم نے ساڑھے سات ہزار اور دس ہزار کا رقم اس لیے سپر لگایا ہے کیونکہ ہم یہ مسجد رمضان کے اندر اندر تیار ہو جائیں گے آپ سوچ رہیں گے اتنے چھوٹے وقت کے اندر آپ کا ایسے مسجد بنا دیں گے آپ ہم پر یقین رکھیں انشاءاللہ ہم مسجد بنا کے رکھیں گے اور اگر آپ اس وقت یہ towards a masjid in Pakistan. We will build these masajids for this, in, the, in these specific br price brackets before Eid. So you won't have to wait five, six, seven, eight, nine months for this masjid to be completed. But subhanAllah, within the next couple of days, within before Eid, we will show you the videos on screen that the masjids have been completed. But for this, my brothers and sisters, we need to respond as fast as we can. We are going to show you some documentaries and once a documentary is shown and the donor has come forward and said, I will be donating towards these, this masjid, that masjid will be gone. And right now, subhanAllah, there's not many masjids left. There's just about, uh, I would say, about four or five masjids left, six masjids left. And then these projects, subhanAllah, and then we will assign more masjids. But we need to reach the target first. And for that, my brothers and sisters, we are going to put these masjids in front of you now. I'm going to ask you to watch the next videos and the next video, inshallah, in a moment. But before that, my brothers and sisters, you know, how important is it to build the masjid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How much stress has Allah and His Rasul put on putting and making and building a masjid? First of all, I want you to imagine yourself. I want you to imagine yourself in your locality and imagine the local masjid that you go to, the brothers that just went to your masjid to pray. Imagine that masjid wasn't there. Right? And the only masjid that was there was kilometers away, miles away, many, many miles away. You know, how difficult would it become you know, to go on a regular basis to that masjid? To go for a five daily salahs to that masjid? You know, it would become very difficult. It would be a task every time you have to travel a certain amount, you have to leave your house half an hour, one hour before, because the masjid is so far. And then you, you can't go there, maybe in, for Fajr, and then you can't go there for Isha because it's getting too late. And, you know, all of these issues arise, right? Okay, that's one side. On the other side, you have your next generation, your children. What, either they have grown up or either they are still young. But you have your children, right? And once upon a time, if they're old, they were young. What did you do when they were young? You sent them to the masjid to learn the Qur'an, so they could recite the Qur'an. So you could understand the Qur'an, so they can do hifz of the Qur'an, they can learn about, you know, the, all the fara'id, the sunnas, the wajibat. We know all about, you know, how to do wuzu, how to do ghusl, how to, you know, do, relearn the Qur'an with tajweed, how to, you know, learn the du'as, the kalimas, you know, about the iman, about Allah and the Rasul, how to connect them with Allah and the Rasul, how to learn about the Anbiya alayhimu salam, the Prophets of Allah that came, what are the stories, what is the Quran telling us, all of these things are important to us. So we understand and our children understand their purpose in this world. Unfortunately, you know, we put so much effort, itna mehnat lagate hain, school pad jayein, degree asal kar jayein, you know, colleges mein jayein, achay achay number le kar aayein, achay achay reports le kar aayein. مگر سبحان اللہ جب دین کے بعد آتی ہے ہم اتنا ہم جتنا سکول پر محنت کرتے ہیں اتنا ہم اگر بچوں پر دین پر محنت کرتے تو آج سبحان اللہ ہمارے سوسائیٹی بلکل الگ ہوتی مگر خیر ہم بیچتے ہیں کیونکہ ہم کو پتہ ہے کتنا ضروری ہے کتنا ضروری ہے ہمارے بچوں کو دین سکھانا ہے کیونکہ وہ جب ہم اس دنیا سے چلے جائیں گے انہوں نے دعائیں کرنے ہمارے لئے انہوں نے قرآن پڑھنے ہمارے لئے اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کرنا ہے مگر اگر ان بچوں کو ان چیزوں کے علم نہ ہو پھر وہ کیسے کریں گے ہمارے لئے دعائیں کیسے کریں گے نمازیں کیسے پڑھیں گے اپنے زندگی اللہ اور اللہ کے رسول 
کہ جیسے زندگی چاہتے ہیں ہم گزاریں اس طرح کیسے وہ زندگی گزاریں گے اگر ان کو پتہ ہی نہیں ہے معلوم نہیں ہے کہ اللہ اور رسول چاہتے کہ ہیں تو اس لیے مساجد ہم اپنے علاقوں میں بناتے ہیں اور آپ بھی بناتے ہیں آپ نے بھی اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کیا ہوئے گا اپنے لوکل مسجد کو بنانے کے لیے بنوانے کے لیے بس سبحان اللہ اگر سوچیں ایسے بھی کمیونٹیز ہیں سچ کمیونٹیز ان پاکستان دیٹ ان پاکستان جو ملک لا الہ الا اللہ پہ بنا ہے جو ملک اس اس شہادت پہ بننا ہے کہ اللہ کی سوائے کوئی معبود کے لائق نہیں اور رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہمارے آخری نبی ہیں اور ایسے علاقے موجود ہیں پاکستان میں جس میں جہاں پر مسجد موجود نہیں ہے جہاں پر لوگ نماز پڑھنا چاہتے ہیں اپنے بچوں کو قرآن سکھانا سکھانا چاہتے ہیں اور بیچنا چاہتے ہیں مگر سبحان اللہ دیر از نوتھنگ اویلیبل ابھی آپ سوچیں ان کے دلوں میں کیا درد ہوئے گا ایک کہ میری عمر اتنی زیادہ ہو گئی ہے بٹ آئی کھان گو اینڈ فری نہ مسجد میں اللہ کے گھر میں جا کے قرآن نہیں پڑھ سکتا میں ذکر فکر نہیں کر سکتا تحجد نہیں جا کے پڑھ سکتا یا جو بھی ہم اللہ کے گھر میں کرتے ہیں وہ کر نہیں سکتے وہ اور جب کرنا چاہتے ہیں تو مسجد بہت دور ہے بہت دور ہے اور جو بزرگ حضرات ہیں ان کو چلنے میں مسئلہ ہوتا ہے جو ایریا ہوتا ہے وہاں پر پہاڑ کبھی ہوتا ہے کبھی کیا ہوتا ہے تو وہاں پر چلنا مشکل ہوتا ہے ان کے لیے تو ان کے لیے مسجد جانا بڑا مشکل ہو جاتا ہے صرف جمعہ پہ جا سکتے ہیں یا دن میں ایک دفعہ چلے گئے بڑا بڑا مشکل ہوتا ہے اور اپنے بچوں کو قرآن سکھانا چاہتے ہیں وہ بھی چاہتے ہیں کہ جس دن ہم اللہ اس دنیا سے چلے جائیں وہ ہمارے لیے دعائیں کریں ہمارے لیے قرآن پڑھیں ہمارے لیے صدقہ دیں اللہ کے راستے میں جائیں ہمارے لیے اچھے کام کریں کہ ہم کو فائدہ پہنچے آخرت میں مگر نہ ان کے علاقے میں امام ہے نہ مسجد ہے نہ قرآن پڑھانے کا کوئی سلسلہ شروع ہے نہ کوئی ترابی ہو رہی ہے نہ اعتکاف ہو رہا ہے نہ نہ کچھ نہ نہ بچہ جانتا ہے جو نماز جنازہ کیسے پڑھنا ہے ابھی سوچیں آپ یا وہ سبحان اللہ اس دنیا سے چلے گئے اور بچہ نماز جنازہ میں شامل ہوا مگر نماز جنازہ پڑھنے نہیں آتا مطلب کتنا اگر اف یو تھنک ابار ہاؤ پین فل از دیٹ سبحان اللہ اینڈ دے آر سچ کمیونٹیز ان پاکستان رائٹ ناؤ who need a masjid so subhanallah you know it's 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 absolutely painful to think about this that they are suffering like this there is no place for them to be praying no place for them to send the children to pray and then subhanallah and they don't have the money to build a masjid you know in the past few documentaries that we have shown you you know they say hamare paas apne ghar ko chalane ke paise nahi hai hum ghar banate hain to chhat ke paise nahi hai upar humne metal sheets rakhi hoti hain پلاسٹک شیٹس رکھی ہوتی ہیں کیونکہ ہمارے پاس چھت بنانے کے پیسے نہیں ہیں تو اللہ کا گھر کی کیسا بنائیں تو مشکلات ہیں لوگوں کے یو نو بی آل نو پاکستان پولیٹیکل سچویشن کے ہے اکنامک سچویشن کے ہیں سب کچھ مہنگا ہو رہا ہے اور جب سب کچھ مہنگا ہوتا ہے تو اوپر جو بیٹھے ہوتے ہیں ان کو تو فرق نہیں پڑتا جو وہ ذرا ہیں وزیر ہیں جو وزیر اعظم ہیں اور جو جو بھی ہیں وہ ٹاپ ایلیٹ جس کے پاس پیسہ ان کو تو فرق نہیں پڑتا جو جن کو فرق پڑتا ہے وہ غریب طبقہ ہے جو دن میں مزدور مزدوری کرتے ہیں پھر اسی پیسے سے جا کے کھانا لے کر آتے ہیں پھر گھر والوں کو کھلاتے ہیں جب مہنگائی ہوتی ہے تو وہ مشکل حالات میں پڑ جاتے ہیں تو وہ گھر کا سبحان اللہ نظام نہیں چلا سکتے بڑی مشکل سے چلا رہے ہیں تو مسجد بنانا تو بڑی دور کی بات ہوتی ہے مگر اللہ نے ہم کو بہت کچھ دیا ہوا ہے ایمان دیا ہوا ہے سمجھ دی ہوئی ہے دولت دی ہوئی ہے تو ہم کو اس کو اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کرنا چاہیے اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ قرآن میں فرماتا ہے کہ وہی وہ لوگ ہیں جو اللہ کے گھر بناتے ہیں جو اللہ پہ ایمان رکھتے ہیں جو آخرت میں ایمان رکھتے ہیں جو نمازیں پڑھتے ہیں اور جو اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کرتے ہیں اپنا زکوٰۃ اللہ کہتے ہیں اور سبحان اللہ اللہ کہتا ہے یہی لوگ ہیں جو اللہ کے گھر بنواتے ہیں ان کا سنبھالتے ہیں ان کے ساتھ ایک تعلق جڑا ہوتا ہے یہی لوگ ہوتے ہیں سبحان اللہ مائی بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز لیٹس گو ٹوز اے ڈاکیومنٹری اینڈ لیٹس سی دس ڈاکیومنٹری اینڈ پو یور سیلف ان دے پلیس اینڈ دین اللہ اینڈ آس کا اللہ سبحان سر یا اللہ مجھے توفیق دے کہ میں بھی تیرا گھر ایک بنا سکوں اگر پیسے بھی نہیں ہیں یہ دعا کر لیں تو ان شاء اللہ اللہ توفیق بھی دے گا تو ہم ڈاکیومنٹری کے لیے طرف جاتے ہیں پھر ڈاکیومنٹری سے آگے آ کر پھر باتیں کرتے ہیں کچھ پہلے جو مسجد تھی ہماری وہ بہت پرانی تھی اور وہ بہت اس سے چھوٹی تھی وہ ہمارے بزرگ نے بنائی تھی اس کے بعد جب ہم آئے تو ہم نے کہا تھوڑی بڑی بھی ہو اور جو ہے اس کو پکا بنایا جائے 
और वो जो है मस्जिद पहले गिरी हुई थी उसका डर लगता था भाई कभी छत नीचे आ जाए तो बच्चे बैठे हों या बंदा कोई नमाज पढ़ रहा होता है शहीद हो जाए तो इसलिए जो है हमने उसको शहीद किया बहुत सारे मसाइल हैं हमने कोशिश करी जो कच्ची है उनको मसमार करके नई तमीर करें मगर कोशिश के बावजूद भी हम नहीं बना सके ये हम तकरीबन ये मस्जिद को शहीद हुए एक साल हो गया है इसी की वजह से हमारे पास गुंजाइश नहीं हुई हम बना सके इसे कोशिश तो करता हर इंसान के मस्जिद में हिस्सा डाले मगर महंगाई की वजह से वो नहीं हिस्सा मिला पाता जैसे जनवरी में सर्दियां पड़ी हैं तो उस वक्त हाफि साहब जो हमारे पढ़ाने वाले हैं वो भी बहुत ही बुजुर्ग आदमी हैं उनको भी ठंड लगती थी और बच्चों को भी ठंड लगती थी बारिश में भी मसला हमारे लिए सर्दियों भी मसला हमारे लिए और हमारे बच्चों के लिए गर्मियों भी मसला हमारे लिए और हमारे बच्चों के लिए पानी का मसला है इधर वाशरूम नहीं है बच्चे परेशान होते हैं जब बारिश होती है तो फिर हाफिज साहब जो है ना बच्चों को लेके अपने घर चले जाते हैं उधर घर में ही पढ़ाते हैं और अब धूप में भी बहुत हमें हमें तंगशी होती है बारिश में भी बहुत तंगशी होती है और दूसरी बात यह है कि हमारे यहाँ सर्दी बहुत होती है इसलिए हमारी यही गुजारिश है कि हमारे मस्जिद हमें तामीर करा दे हमारे पास जो छोटी थी मस्जिद कच्ची थी वो भी हमने आबाद की हुई थी हमारी जमात होती है हमारे आस पास के जो लोग हैं यहाँ के नमाज पढ़ते हैं और अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह हमारे पास जो कब्रिस्तान है हमारे जितने लोग हैं यहाँ आते हैं हर नमाज के टाइम यहाँ रश लगा रहता है इधर जो हमने टूटी फूटी अपनी थोड़ी मस्जिद बनाई हुई है जिसकी दीवारें अभी तक नहीं इधर नमाज पढ़ते हैं लेकिन जुमा के लिए उनके मसला होता है भाई दूर जाना पड़ता है हमें हमारे जो बुजुर्ग हैं ना वो तकरीबन दो घंटे से चलते हैं इधर उधर जाके मस्जिद में जाके जुमा के टाइम ही एन जुमा के टाइम वो पहुँचते हैं लेकिन जो छोटे बच्चे जिनका मस्जिद की तरफ हमने रजू बनाना होता है वो नहीं जा सकते इसीलिए हम बच्चों के मुस्तबिल के लिए ही परेशान हैं कि जिनका दीन की तरफ ही रजू ना हो हम मुसलमान होने का फिर फ़र्ज़ क्या है तो लिहाजा हमारे लिए बहुत परेशानी है मस्जिद के लिए क्योंकि हम अगर इधर हो तो हमारे बच्चे भी नमाज जुमा के लिए आएँ पाँच वक्त की नमाज जैसे होती है अजान होगी तो फिर हमारे बच्चे आएंगे नमाज भी पढ़ेंगे जुमा भी पढ़ेंगे हम भी मस्जिद बनवा के नमाजें पढ़ेंगे आपके लिए दुआएं भी करेंगे और बच्चे भी दुआएं करेंगे कुरान पाक पढ़ेंगे आस पास मस्जिद करीब नहीं है हमें मस्जिद की जरूरत है बच्चों को पढ़ाने के लिए और बहुत सारे मसाइल हैं जो भी इस मस्जिद में तावन करेगा अल्लाह उनको अजर व सवाब देगा आप जितने अहबाब हमारी तावन करेंगे उनके लिए इतनी दुआएं करेंगे कि अल्लाह ताला उन्हें लंबी उम्र अता फरमाए और उन्हें आखरत में जो है इसका अजर अता फरमाए Subhanallah brothers and sisters you could see how subhanallah this community who had the masjid but it was destroyed it became shaheed and now this community is left without the masjid so the community is already there 
نا آپ کو یہ فکر نہیں کرنی پڑے گی اس میں کتنے نمازیں ہوئیں گے اس میں بچے آ کے قرآن پڑھیں گے نہیں پڑھیں گے آپ کو یہ فکر نہیں ہوئے گی کہ مطلب یہاں کوئی نمازی ہیں یا نہیں ہیں سبحان اللہ آپ کے سامنے ہیں کہ نمازی بھی موجود ہیں قرآن پڑھنے اور پڑھانے والے بھی موجود ہیں اور سبحان اللہ بس مسجد کی ضرورت ہے اور ایک مسجد نہ ہونے سے کتنے مسئلے شروع ہو جاتے ہیں ایک کمیونٹی میں ہاں منی پرابلم سٹارٹ آف ان کمیونٹی دیر از نو ووٹ ہے پانی کا مسئلہ آ جاتا ہے کیونکہ پانی موجود نہیں ہے وضو کرنا ہوتا ہے ہائیجین فسیلٹیز نو باتھ رومز نو ٹوائلٹس سبحان اللہ دیر از نو پلیس اویلیبل ٹو پری دیر از نو اویلیبلٹی ٹو ہیو یو نو شیلٹر اوور یو ہیڈ یو نو ان دا ان از ریننگ اٹ از ہاٹ گرمی میں سردی میں بارش میں جو بھی ہو رہا ہے سبحان اللہ ادھر مسئلہ اتنے زیادہ مسئلے شروع ہو جاتے ہیں کیونکہ ایک مسجد موجود نہیں ہے علاقے میں اگر آپ یہ مسجد اگر بنانا چاہیں اور یہ مسجد ہم انشاءاللہ عید سے پہلے رمضان ختم ہونے سے پہلے انشاءاللہ بنا کر آپ کو دکھا کر دکھائیں گے یہ ہمارا وعدہ ہے چھوٹی مسجد چھوٹی نہیں میڈیم مسجد ساڑھے سات ہزار میڈیم مسجد فور سیون ہاف تاؤزنڈ اور دس ہزار کا اس سے بڑی مسجد اینڈ ٹین تاؤزنڈ پانس فور لارج مسجد اینڈ دس از سبحان اللہ مبرزن سس از سم تھنگ وی آل ہیو ٹو پے آر اٹینشن ٹو ووٹس دین انشاء اللہ مبرز ان سسٹرز وی ول گین سبحان اللہ دا بلیسنگز آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ بائی بلڈنگ دس مسجد یو نو وی آل وانٹ ٹو بلڈ اے مسجد وی آل وانٹ ٹو اسپینڈ اے منی آن بل آن اے مسجد اینڈ از دے اینی بیٹر ٹائم دین دا منتھ آف رمضان آپ ایک مسجد کا ڈونیشن دے رہے ہیں اللہ آپ کے نام پہ ستر مسجد لکھ رہے ہیں سبحان اللہ دس از دا بلیسنگز آف رمضان مبرز ان سسٹرز بٹ وی گو نو گو آن اے بریک ان شاء اللہ ان دس بریک آفٹر بریک ول کم بیک Shaji is also here in the studio and uh, we will request him also to recite something for us. Inshallah, we will change the mood in the studio. We will change the mood in your house. But before that, we will go to a small break. We will go to a break. We will go to a break. And inshallah, we will continue to work. We will be with you. We will be waiting for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. أشرقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العباد وانتشت روحي وصار الدمع يجري يا إلهي خذ بقلبي للرشاد
The significant drop in food deliveries is creating an immediate and life-threatening situation for 2.2 million people, of which half are children um, who are now in desperate, desperate need. Over 250 emergency aid trucks have successfully made their way into Gaza through the Rafa border crossing from Egypt. With a focus on providing food, water, shelter, and medical supplies, our team ensures that those affected by disasters have access to the resources they need to survive. The arrival of these much-needed supplies is a beacon of hope for the residents of Gaza who have been facing immense challenges. The generosity and support of the Al Care Foundation behind this effort is truly heartwarming. As the trucks roll in, they are bringing with them a message of solidarity and compassion. We understand the importance of immediate assistance in times of emergency. With your support, we can continue to make a meaningful impact in the lives of those affected by disasters. The importance of over 258 trucks entering Gaza cannot be overstated as they bring much-needed relief and hope to the people who have been facing immense challenges and hardships. The Alcare Foundation, a UK-based charity, has been working tirelessly to provide aid to the people of Gaza for over 12 years. The entry of Alcare's aid trucks into Egypt has not only provided much-needed relief to the people of Gaza, but has also brought hope and optimism to the community. Alcare will continue to play a vital role in providing aid and support to the people of Gaza. Subhanallah, you know, brothers and sisters, when you donate toward this type of project, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks after you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects you from such calamities and difficulties and hardship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects your family. So definitely there are blessings in such uh, projects. Definitely you will be rewarded amazingly.
ألسنا نحن المصطفى فكان الرد ما معنى أنتم أصحابي يا الأبرار وهم جاسي جنوري ما في السردية بريه تو أس وقت حافظ صاحب جو همارے پڑھانے والے ہیں وہ بھی بہت ہی بزرگ آدمی ہیں ان کو بھی ٹھنڈ لگتی تھی اور بچوں کو بھی ٹھنڈ لگتی تھی بارش میں بھی مسئلہ ہمارے لیے سردیوں بھی مسئلہ ہمارے لیے اور ہمارے بچوں کے لیے گرمیوں بھی مسئلہ ہمارے لیے اور ہمارے بچوں کے لیے پانی کا مسئلہ ہے ادھر واش روم نہیں ہے بچے پریشان ہوتے ہیں جب بارش ہوتی ہے تو پھر حافظ صاحب جو ہے نا بچوں کو لے کے اپنے گھر چلے جاتے ہیں ادھر گھر میں ہی اور اب دھوپ میں بھی بہت ہمیں ہمیں تنگشی ہوتی ہے بارش میں بھی بہت تنگشی ہوتی ہے اور دوسری بات یہ ہے کہ ہمارے یہاں سردی بہت ہوتی ہے اس لئے ہمارے یہ گزارش ہے کہ ہمارے مسجد ہمیں تعمیر کرا دیں ہمارے پاس جو چھوٹی تھی مسجد کچھی تھی وہ بھی ہم نے آباد کی ہوئی تھی ہماری جماعت ہوتی ہے ہمارے آس پاس کے جو لوگ ہیں یہاں کے نماز پڑھتے ہیں اور الحمدللہ ہمارے پاس جو قبرستان ہے ہمارے جتنے لوگ ہیں یہاں آتے ہیں ہر نماز کے ٹائم یہاں رشت لگا رہتا ہے ادھر جو ہم نے ٹوٹی بوٹی اپنی تھوڑی مسجد بنائی ہوئی ہے جس کی دیواریاں بھی تک نہیں ادھر نماز پڑھتے ہیں لیکن جمعہ کے لیے ان کے مسئلہ ہوتا ہے بھئی دور جانا پڑتا ہے ہمیں ہمارے جو بزرگ ہیں نا وہ تقریباً دو گھنٹے سے چلتے ہیں ادھر ادھر جا کے مسجد میں جا کے جمعہ کے ٹائم ہی این جمعہ کے ٹائم وہ پہنچتے ہیں لیکن جو چھوٹے بچے جن کا مسجد کی طرف ہم نے رجوع بنانا ہوتا ہے وہ نہیں جا سکتے اس لیے ہم بچوں کے مستقبل کے لیے ہی پریشان ہیں کہ جن کا دین کی طرف ہی رجوع نہ ہو ہم مسلمان ہونے کا پھر فرض کیا ہے تو لہٰذا ہمارے لیے بہت پریشانی ہے مسجد کے لیے کیونکہ ہم اگر ادھر ہو تو ہمارے بچے بھی نماز جمعہ کے لیے آئیں پانچ وقت کی نماز جیسے ہوتی ہے ازان ہوگی تو پھر ہمارے بچے آئیں گے نماز بھی پڑھیں گے جمعہ بھی پڑھیں گے ہم بھی مسجد بنوا کے نمازیں پڑھیں گے آپ کے لئے دعائیں بھی کریں گے اور بچے بھی دعائیں کریں گے قرآن پاک پڑھیں گے آس پاس مسجد قریب نہیں ہے ہمیں مسجد کی ضرورت ہے بچوں کو پڑھانے کے لئے اور بہت سارے مسائل ہیں جو بھی اس مسجد میں تعاون کرے گا اللہ ان کو عجر و ثواب دے گا آپ جتنے آباب ہماری تعاون کریں گے ان کے لئے اتنی دعائیں کریں گے کہ اللہ تعالیٰ انہیں لمبی عمر عطا فرمائے اور انہیں آخرت میں جو ہے اس کا عجر عطا فرمائے یا رب وللجنات امانینا لا تخذل یا رب السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ Respected brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah we are here with you again after well I wouldn't call it the shortest break but it was a break Alhamdulillah and it wasn't very very long so I still count it as a short break Alhamdulillah before we left and we went for this break my brothers and sisters were discussing about the masjids and building the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we were discussing and we showed you a documentary of a community who had a masjid but because of uh, 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 the national disasters the masjid became shaheed and the masjid and the community uh, subhanallah are 
masjidless, like you say, they have no masjid left in the community, and they are spraying out in the open. Doop zada hoti hai, garmi zada hoti hai, unko bahar parna padta hai. Barish hoti hai, to namaz mushkil ho jati hai. Thand hoti hai, phir bhi mushkil ho jata hai. Na pani majud hai, na madrasa majud hai. Bachon ko bahar zameen par doop ke andar, barish ke andar, thand ke andar udhar jaake bahna padta hai. Namaz aur Quran wahan par sikna padta hai. To bade mushkilat a jati hai. Subhanallah, ek chhat ho jaye, diwari ho jaye, aur Allah ka ghar ho jaye. To ye community bhi Allah ki barat kar sake. Aur asal baat ye hai ke کمیونٹی کے تو پرابلمز رہتے ہی رہتے ہیں مگر ہمارے بھی جو مسئلے زنگی میں جو ہمارے زنگی میں فائنانشل فیملی ہیلتھ ہمارے کوئی زنگی میں کوئی ہمارا تھا جو اللہ کے پاس چلے گئے تو ان کے لیے اپنے آپ کے لیے ہم یہ بھی مسجدیں بنا سکتے ہیں کہ اللہ ہم کو اس کی وجہ سے ہم کو معاف کر دے اللہ ہم پر رحمتیں نازل کرے برکتیں نازل کرے اللہ ہماری ہم پر اپنی مدد نازل کرے تو ایسے کاموں سے ہی اللہ کی مدد آتی ہے اللہ کی رحمت آتی ہے and this is subhanallah the reality of building the masjid and the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so as we're gonna continue and inshallah in a moment I'm gonna ask Shaji inshallah to recite something for us right but before that I want you to get your family together ghar pe apna ek mahol bnayin thoda you know Allah ka naam ka zikr hoega Allah ko yaad karenge Allah ke nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ko yaad karenge Allah ke baare mein baate sunayenge to aap apne family walu ko bulayin or ڈسکس کریں کہ ہم یہ مسجد کیسے بنا سکتے ہیں ہمارے فیملی سے ہو سکتا ہے آپ کے پاس اس وقت پورے ساڑھے سات ہزار دس ہزار پونٹ نہیں ہیں لیکن اگر آپ اپنے فیملی کو گھٹھا کریں گے اور اپنے بچوں کو پوچھیں گے دیکھو آپ کام کرتے ہو آپ ڈاکٹر ہو انجنیر ہو آپ جو بھی جوب کرتے ہو ایڈیٹیل میں جوب ہے یا ریسٹورنس میں جوب ہے یا جو بھی ہے ہم ایک فیملی گھٹھی ہو کے ایک مسجد بنا سکتے ہیں آپ دو تین لوگ جانتے ہیں آپ ان سے دو دو سو پونٹ تین تین سو بورٹ گھٹھا کر کے آپ ایک دو ہزار گھٹھا کریں اپنے بیٹے کو کہیں کہ وہ پانچ چھے لوگوں سے پیسہ گھٹھا کر کر کے اب تھوڑا اپنا حصہ دالے اپنے دوستوں سے رشتہ داروں سے انہوں قریبی جو لوگ ہیں ان کے کولیگز ہیں یا کام پر جو ہیں یا بزنس پر پر جو ساتھ بزنس پارٹنس ہیں سارے تھوڑے تھوڑے پیسے گھٹھے گھٹھے کر کے آپ ایک مجد بڑے آرام سے بنا سکتے ہیں سڑے سات ہزار آپ بڑے بڑے آرام سے آپ گھٹھا کر سکتے ہیں and this is سبحان اللہ ہم جب محنت کرتے ہیں پہلا قدم رکھتے ہیں اللہ دوسرا قدم زیادہ آسان کر لیتا ہے پھر تیسرا اس سے زیادہ آسان کر لیتا ہے تو ایسے آسان کرتا جاتا ہے اللہ آپ کے دروازے کھولتے جائے گا اللہ سبحان و تعالی آپ کے پور آپ پر بھی پور آپ کے فیملی پر سبحان اللہ آسانیاں پیدا فرمائے گا اور This is how we gain and, 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 and attract the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look at these young children. Agar ing pas mazij ho jayegi, ye Quran seekhenge, jo har harf ki tilawat karenge, aapko uska swa pounch raayega, aapke family wallon ko uska swa pounch raayega, aapke rishidharun ko swa pounch raayega. And this is how we have to come together. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا In a hold on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. And this is one of the ways to invite everyone around us to gather together so we can build the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah we're going to continue and discuss about the masajid. But before that, I want to go to the side of the Shaji. And we will go to the side of the Shaji. And we will ask them to give us some hand, 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 some hand. And when Allah has increased our love, we will make it for Allah. تو اگر ہم اللہ کو تھوڑا یاد کر دیں اس طرح اللہ ہمارے دل میں توفیق ڈال لے یہ بات ڈال لے کہ مجھے بنانی چاہیے بنانا چاہیے ایک مسجد سبحان اللہ تو میں درخواست کرتا ہوں شاہ جی ہمارے لئے کچھ انشاءاللہ پڑھ لیں تو ہم کو جگہ دیں بردر حرم اللہ پاک آپ کو جزائے خیر دے اور آپ میں دیکھ رہا تھا کافی دیر سے ماشاءاللہ مساجد کے حوالے سے جو الخیر فاؤنڈیشن کی یہ اپیل ہے آپ بڑے اسے اچھے انداز کے ساتھ لوگوں تک ترغیب دینے کا آپ حضرات سے اپیل کرنے کا اصل عجر اور ثواب تو یقیناً اللہ پاک آپ کے نام آمال میں لکھتے ہیں اور مساجد کے حوالے سے تو یہ ایک خوبصورت میں سمجھتا ہوں الخیر فانڈیشن کا پروجیکٹ ہے اللہ کا گھر بنانا گویا کہ آپ نے اپنا جنت میں گھر بنایا یہ میری بات نہیں ہے آپ سنتے ہیں بزرگان دین سے بھی آپ نے سنا جو بندہ یہاں اللہ کا گھر بناتا ہے اللہ کریم اس کا جنت میں گھر بناتے ہیں یہ محض افسانہ نہیں ہے محض مفروضہ نہیں ہے تو ماشاءاللہ ہمارے بڑے بہن بھائی ہمارے بزرگ اور ماں بہنیں ماشاءاللہ اس ڈونیشن میں سامنے آئے ہم ان کو خراج تحسین بھی پیش کرتے ہیں اور یقین مانی ہے میں 
تو چونکہ وہاں سے آیا ہوں مجھے پتا ہے کہ وہاں پہ اس کی کتنی اشد ضرورت ہے کتنے ایسے مقامات ہیں جہاں پہ لوگ بڑی دور کی مسافت تیہ کر کے عبادات کے لیے جاتے ہیں جب آپ کی طرف سے وہاں ایک خوبصورت عالیشان مسجد تیار ہو جائے گی وہ لوگ قیامت کی صبح تک جب تک وہاں پہ اللہ کا ذکر ہوگا قال اللہ قال الرسول کی صدائیں بلند ہوں گی نمازیں پڑی جائیں گی تراوی ادا ہوگی اور پھر یہ ہے کہ چھوٹے چھوٹے معصوم بچے جب وہاں پہ اللہ کا کلام پڑھیں گے تو وہ ثواب کس کے نام اعمال میں جائے گا یقیناً انہی کے جنہوں نے اس مسجد کو بنایا جو ذریعہ بنے تو ماشاءاللہ آپ حضرات آگے بڑھ رہے ہیں ہم اس پہ آپ کو بہت ہی خراج عقیدت بھی پیش کرتے ہیں اور ساتھ ساتھ یہ ترغیب بھی دیتے ہیں کہ آپ ضرور مساجد کے اس پروجیکٹ میں حصہ رہیں ہاٹ لائن کو بیزی رکھیں ہمیں ماشاءاللہ اطلاع ملتی ہے جس انداز سے آپ کالز بھی کر رہے ہیں وہاں پہ اور ڈونیشن بھی ویب پہ آپ کر رہے ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ آپ کو بہترین بدلہ عطا فرمائے تو اس موقع پر آئیے اللہ کا ذکر کرتے ہیں اللہ کی وحدانیت کو بیان کرتے ہیں اور اللہ پاک اپنے ذکر سے بہت خوش ہوتے ہیں بندہ جب اللہ کا ذکر کرتا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ بہت خوش ہوتے ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ خود قرآن پاک میں فرماتے ہیں کہ اللہ کے ذکر سے دلوں کو سکون ملتا ہے تو میں چند اشار حمد باری تعالیٰ کے اللہ رب العزت کے حضور پیش کرنے کے ساتھ حاصل کرتا ہوں ہمارے ایک دوست ہیں مسعود بھائی انہوں نے یہ اشار لکھے اور مجھے آج ہی بھیجے حرم بھائی تو میں ابھی آپ کے سامنے پڑھ رہا ہوں دیکھتے ہیں کیا ہوتا ہے اٹھ باندھ کمر کیا ڈرتا ہے پھر دیکھ خدا کیا کرتا ہے انشاءاللہ تو ملاحظہ فرمائیے اللہ کا ذکر کرتے ہیں اور لطف لیجئے ایمان کی تازگی کا بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے وہی داتا وہی مولا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے وہی داتا وہی مولا ہے بے شک اللہ تنگ دستی میں مایوس ہے کیوں کر تنگ دستی میں مایوس ہے کیوں کر رزق کا اس نے وعدہ کیا ہے رزق کا اس نے وعدہ کیا ہے وہی داتا وہی مولا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے اللہ کے سوا معبود نہ کوئی اللہ کے سوا معبود نہ کوئی اللہ کے سوا معبود نہ کوئی مختار کل وہی یک جا ہے مختار کل وہی یک جا ہے وہی داتا وہی مولا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے بے شک اللہ بہت بڑا ہے فکر نہ کر اے آسی تو فکر نہ کر 
आसी को वो है शफीक और वो बाला है वो है शफीक और वो आला है वो ही दाता वो ही मौला है बेशक अल्लाह बहुत बड़ा है बेशक अल्लाह बहुत बड़ा है गैरों की परिस्तिश को तुम छोड़ो गैरों की परिस्तिश को तुम छोड़ो देगा वो ही जिस पैदा किया है देगा वो ही जिस पैदा किया है वो ही दाता वो ही मौला है बेशक अल्लाह बहुत बड़ा है बेशक अल्लाह बहुत बड़ा है जो खुद मोहताज उसे न पुकारो जो खुद मोहताज उसे न पुकारो रब से मांगो वो हाजत रवा है रब से मांगो के हाजत रवा है वो ही दाता वो ही मौला है बेशक अल्लाह बहुत बड़ा है बेशक अल्लाह बहुत बड़ा है वही दाता वही मौला है सुबहानल्लाह सुबहानल्लाह जजाकल्लाह शाह जी बहुत खूबसूरत बहुत खूबसूरत माशाल्लाह वेरी ब्यूटीफुल कलाम हम्द by uh, Sayyid Aziz Rahman Shah Sahib, Alhamdulillah, who's, uh, you know, with us here, you know, normally, you know, it's very difficult, like Muftar al Muntakim always says, it's very difficult to get our hands on him in Pakistan. He's always traveling somewhere, he's always reciting somewhere, there's so many requests, but Alhamdulillah, we are so blessed and our viewers are blessed to have Shahji here with us. Uh, we can listen to him, we can request from him, and inshallah, he's here. And I hope, my brothers and sisters, this woke us up, or uh, Allah ki muhabbat badgi hai dilno mein, or uh, inshallah, इस मोहब्बत को लेकर हमने बस मोहब्बत नहीं बढ़ानी मगर हमारे अमल भी बढ़ाने हैं और इन अभी एक मस्जिद बनाना चाहते हैं एंड आई एम गोना आस्क हु इज़ दैट पर्सन एंड हु इज़ दैट लकी पर्सन दैट वंस टू बिल्ड द हाउसेस ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान ऑन दिस ब्लेस्ड नाइट इज़ द नाइट ऑफ जुम्मा ये कोई आम रात नहीं है ये जुम्मा की रात है ये बाबरकत वक्त है बाबरकत लम्हे हैं और इसमें अल्लाह बहुत कुछ अता कर देता है और इस रात को रमज़ान के रातें अल्लाह सुबहान व ताली थेक्स द पीपल हु आर डस्टन फॉर जहन्नम एंड एंथ दम इन टू जन्ना सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह हाउ कैन वी बिकम दोज पीपल हाउ कैन वी गेन द मेस फ्राम अल्लाह सुबहान व ताली के अल्लाह हमारे लिए जन्नत लिख रहे हमको ऐसे काम करने चाहिए ना जिससे अल्लाह हमारे लिए जन्नत लिख ले We should, we should do those actions that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much that Allah says this is a jannah. This is a jannah. Like the Messenger of Allah, the Prophet of Badr, they gave up their lives for Allah's path. They fought, they gave up their lives, they got injured. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran reveals an ayah that there is no worry after today on you anymore. You are all forgiven. You are all forgiven. That even if you do nothing after this day, even if you do nothing, you will go to Jannah. But the Sahaba had such high iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
that despite after Badr, despite Allah revealing this ayah about them, they continuously you know, strived hard to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is something that we have to do, my brothers and sisters. We have a call, I believe. So let's go. Okay, okay subhanAllah. We are going to hopefully get a call. Not yet. But we are waiting for the next person who's watching right now. Imam explain توفیق تب ہوتی ہے جب اللہ نے آپ کو مال بھی دیا ہوا ہے آپ کے سامنے مال لگانے کی جگہ بھی دکھائی ہوئی ہے اور راستہ بھی دکھائے ہوئے تو آپ یہ تینوں چیزیں آپ کے سامنے ہیں تو اس کے مطلب اللہ نے آپ کو توفیق دی ہوئی ہے اللہ has given us this opportunity اللہ has given us the ability now he has left it to us اللہ ہمارے لئے ہمارے جیب میں تو نہیں آدھا لے گا ہم نے خود جاتے اپنے جیب میں آدھا لے گا اللہ ہمارے سامنے دکھا دے گا یہاں پر آپ لگا سکتے ہو خرچ اپنا پیسہ پھر اس پر لگانا ہماری ذمہ داری ہے ہماری ذمہ داری ہے so brothers and sisters you know ہمارے پاس how many how much money do we have lying in our bank accounts you know thousands and thousands of pounds اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کرنے میں آپ کے پیسے میں کمی نہیں آئے گی this is the حدیث of رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم promise of رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یہ وعدہ ہے رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا that he takes three customs, you know, before he said the statement. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made three customs. I take an oath by Allah, I take an oath by Allah, I take a custom by Allah. That your sadaqah will not decrease your wealth. Your sadaqah will not decrease your wealth. Subhanallah. That this five thousand, seven and a half thousand, ten thousand pounds that you are going to spend in the path of Allah. Yes, in your bank account for a couple of uh, days, weeks, months, you will see minus... Seven and a half thousand. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace that for you. Allah will replace it for you. And how, what more beautiful can it be, my brothers and sisters, that your money is being used to build the, the, the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you open the Quran, my brothers and sisters, so many ayat uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah is telling us to do good deeds. Allah is telling us to spend in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is telling us to struggle in His paths. And subhanAllah, you know, I've got so many ayat here where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about, you know, giving in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is subhanAllah, my brothers and sisters, the, the reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us for us to give in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, in one place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I've got it in front of me. In Surah Anfal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ That Allah says in the Qur'an, the believers are only those whose hearts tremble at the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whose faith increases when His revelations are recited to them, and who put their trust in their Lord. And then in the next ayah, Allah says, "Alladina yuqimu nasalata wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiqun." They are those who establish prayer, and they donate from that which we have provided to them. But Allah tarif suna raha. Hamko bata raha ki mu'min koon hota hai. Yeh kota na Muslim. Muslim wo ta jisne izhar kiya hai. Usne ka khule am ka hai. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasoolullah. Jo zakat deta hai, namaze padta hai, hajj pe jata hai. ٹھیک ہے یہ جو پانچ پیلرز ہیں آف اسلام ان کو فولو کرتا ہے روزے رکھتا ہے اور یہ مسلم ہو جاتا ہے ابھی مؤمن کیسے بنتے ہیں اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کہتا ہے وہ لوگ ہیں جب اللہ کا نام اللہ کا ذکر ہوتا ہے they hearts tremble they hearts tremble سبحان اللہ at the remembrance of Allah سبحانہ وتعالی this first the second quality of the مؤمن and the mu'mineen is the iman increases when the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recites to them like I'm reciting these ayat your iman increases subhanallah you say Allahu Akbar you your iman becomes strong the third who put their trust in Allah who put their trust in the Lord کہ پتہ کہ جو بھی میں اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کروں گا یا جو بھی میں زندگی میں کروں گا میں اللہ پہ توقل ہے میرا I trust and put my trust completely in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I don't fear 
poverty, I don't fear hardship, I don't fear issues, as long as my trust is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah koi na koi rasta nikal dega, ye ek mu'min hota hai, ye tisra quality, what's the fourth quality, the fourth quality is, alladheena yuqeemuna salata, those people who establish their prayer, jo namazhe padhte hain, Allah ke saamne, subhanallah hazri lagate hain, aur namaz padhte hain, Allah ka zikr karte hain, Quran padhte hain, this is the fourth quality, and the fifth quality Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa mimma razaqnaahum yunfiqoon, and they spend from that which we have provided to them. Allah ke raaste mein kharch karte hain us maal mein se jis ne Allah ne hamko jo maal diye. They spend from that which Allah has provided to them. This is the fifth quality Allah says in the Quran. Subhanallah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next verse says something, uh, not in the next verse, in the same surah. In verse 28 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّمَا أَمْوَالُكُمْ وَأَوْلَادُكُمْ فِتْنَةٌ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ عِنْدَهُ عَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in the same surah, in a different place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, And know that your wealth and your children are a fitna for you. They are a test for you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that with Allah lies a great reward. What, what does it mean that this wealth is a test for us, my brothers and sisters? It means that, subhanAllah, my brothers and sisters, you know, are we going to use this money in the good way or in a bad way? Are we going to spend it in a way that Allah is pleasing to Allah or are we going to spend it in a way that is displeasing to Allah? This is how Allah has made our wealth and our children a test for us. The children are tests as well. How are we raising them? Are we giving them the knowledge of the deen? Are we giving them the, 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 the ayat and explaining what Allah wants from us in his life? What our purpose is? Are we telling them about Allah? Are we making them ashiks of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Ummatis of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? This is a test from us as well. This is a test for us. Just like our children, our wealth is a test for us, my brothers and sisters. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in so many different places in the Quran is speaking, out, is, is speaking about. And they are, subhanAllah, you know, there's... They have subhanAllah, so many ayat I have in front of me, I don't know which one to recite, which one not to recite subhanAllah. And this is my brothers and sisters, uh, a, a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and upon us is a responsibility to spend this money in the best way possible way. You know, we can build the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need to just have the first qadam rakli. You know, first set the first step and if you can't go for the seven and a half thousand and ten thousand pound masjid, which we are going to build this Ramadan, no problem. If you are willing to wait for in the coming year, 5,000 pounds, you can build the masjid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A medium masjid for 5,000 pounds. Get five people together from your family and get everyone to give 5,000 pounds. Masjid Bangi. And imagine the reward. The reward that's attached with the masjid. First of all, we have the hadith of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whoever builds a house for Allah in this dunya, Allah will build a house for him in Jannah. And even if you build a small masjid in the dunya, Allah will make a big house for you in Jannah. Allah will make us a big house in Jannah. This is the first virtue. And then my brothers and sisters think about all the other virtues and rewards that are attached with the masjid. Now think for a moment. You have built this masjid, you made the investment of seven and a half thousand pounds, ten thousand pounds, you've made the investment, this, this money has left you. Now what will you get in return? Because we are humans. You know, I'm going to Tijarat ke term sim sam jate hain. Jab bhi agar khas kunda, mujhe badle me kemi. Right? That's how we think. Now imagine it, Khali. Now the masjid is completed, uska to alag suwabe manane ka. Phir usme jo ibarat hoi ki. جو نماز ہر دین پانچ وقت نماز ادا ہو رہی ہے مسجد میں ہر دین آپ کو نماز پڑھ رہا ہوتا ہے شہید ہو جائے پھر جو قرآن کی تلاوت ہو رہی ہے اس کا آپ کو سواب ملے جو بچے آ رہے ہیں قرآن سیکھ رہے ہیں جو پڑھا رہے ہیں اس کا آپ کو سواب ملے گا بہت سارے مسائل ہیں کوئی زمین سے کچھرا اٹھا رہے ہیں جو کچھی ہے ان کو جو مجد کے طرف چل رہا ہے ہر قدم پہ جو اس کو سواب ملے گا آپ نے مجد بنائی آپ نے فسیلٹی کی ہے اگر وہ مجد نہیں ہوتی تو وہ نہیں چلتے ہیں مجد آپ نے کچھ کو سواب ملے جو ازان دے رہا ہے اس کو سواب ملے جو جمعہ ہو رہی ہے جو خطبہ ہو رہا ہے جو سبحان اللہ ذکر ہو رہا ہے جو تلاوت قرآن ہو رہی ہے اچھا اس کو سواب ملے رمضان کا مہینہ آگیا ہے
رمضان میں جو ترابیاں ہو رہی ہیں اس کو خواہ وہاں پر جو لوگ توبہ کرنے اللہ کے سامنے اس کے مسجد میں حصہ ڈالیں وہاں پر جو اتقاف ہو رہے ہیں سبحان اللہ اتقاف اس کا سواب آپ نے اور یہ ایک سال کا سواب نہیں ہے یہ ایک رمضان کا نہیں ہے جتنے رمضان آئیں گے اتنے آپ کو سبحان اللہ سواب دیتے ہیں موسیقی How long did, were they alive for? The Sahaba, Abu Bakr Siddiq, for example, let's take the example of him, the best of men after the Anbiya, alayhi salam. He was 63 years old when he passed away. He spent 63 years on earth. And now he has spent already over 445, more longer than that, subhanAllah, years in his, subhanAllah, qabr, Mubarak. Right, so... We spend more time in the grave than we spend in the world, in the dunya. So, why don't we prepare for that time in the grave? And imagine, you know, ہمارے کوئی عمال اتنے اچھے نہیں ہیں کہ ہم مطلب اس ان پر امید لگا سکیں کہ مطلب میرے نماز اتنی اچھی تھی ہیں میرے دعائیں اتنے اچھے ہیں میرے کرات اتنی اچھی تھی ہیں قرآن کی جو تلاوت کی ہیں اتنے اچھے تھے اس پر ہم I don't know if we can, you know, rely on those. But subhanAllah, by making investments as building the Masjid of Allah, doing Sadaqah Jariya for ourselves, for our loved ones, subhanAllah, we will be in the grave and for hundreds of years this Masjid will continue and you will get all of the reward. Every Salah, every word uttered, every minute spent. You know, whoever sits, whoever sits in Salah and they wait for the Salah to start, it is as if they are praying their Salah, that's the reward. Imagine someone just sitting in Namaz, waiting for Salah. You are getting that reward. So my brothers and sisters, we truly don't understand the reward. For centuries to come, we'll be in the grave. But this sadaqah will help us. This sadaqah will help us. And this is, my brothers and sisters, what we need to do to prepare ourselves for the akhirah. Because on that day, my brothers and sisters, how are we going to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How are we going to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be able to explain and, and, and subhanAllah, you know, give his up? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, subhanAllah, you know, and talks about uh, uh, the day of judgment. He will talk, he will ask us for, subhanAllah, you know, in this one ayah, on the day he will gather them. It will be as if they had not stayed in the world except for an hour of a day. As though they were only getting to know one another. Lost indeed will be those who denied the meeting with Allah and were not rightly guided. Subhanallah, Surah Yunus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this. You know, this is, my brothers and sisters, that we have to realize that we have to, you know, prepare for that day. Ye din aiga. The meeting with our Rabb is, is, is as huck as it can be. You know, the fact that you're watching TV right now and you're listening to me, how real is this? This is real, Right? Just like you are watching me right now on TV and, you, and you're watching TV, that's how real our meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be. This is not a fable or story that we tell you, or not just a, a, an idea. This is true. One day we will have to stand in front of Allah. We will have to give up. This is not a story that we listen to, that one day Allah will be in front of Allah. We will have to give up to Allah. This is reality. We have to, subhanAllah, this is reality. We have to, subhanAllah, uh, you know, uh, prepare ourselves for this. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Isra says, subhanAllah, وَكُلُّ إِنسَانِ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ فِي عُنُقِهِ وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابٍ يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا Allah says, we have bound every human's destiny to their neck. And on the day of judgment, we will bring forth to each a record which they find laid open. Yani on yawm al-qiyamah, you know, we will show them the book in which all of the actions are written down. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Iqra kitabak kafa bi nafsika al-yawma alayka hasiba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and it will be said to them, Iqra kitabak, read your book. 
This book that I have laid in front of you, Allah says, read this book alone are sufficient this day to take account for yourself. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues, whoever chooses to be guided, it is only for their own good. Whoever chooses to stray, it is only to their own loss. No soul burdened with sin will, burden the soul, the, uh, will bear the burden of another. And we would never punish a people until we have sent a messenger to warn them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, whatever, you know, whoever is choosing to be guided, whoever reads the Quran to be guided, Ya Allah, mujhe hidayat de. Ye apne aap ke liye kar rahe Allah ke rahe. Ye aap kisi or ke liye nahi kar rahe. Apne aap ke liye kar rahe ho aap. Ye aap agar majjid binana cha rahe ho, ye aap mere liye majjid nahi bina rahe, kisi or ke liye nahi bina rahe, apne aap ke liye bina rahe ho. Allah is saying this, فَمَنِ اِحْتَدَا فَإِنَّمَا يَحْدِي لِنَفْسِ اگر کوئی ہدایت پانے چاہتا ہے وہ اپنے آپ کے لئے ہدایت پائے گا کسی اور کے لئے نہیں وَمَنْ ضَلَّ فَإِنَّمَا يَضِلُّ عَلَيْهَا اور جو سبحان اللہ whoever gets misguided he is getting misguided for his own deeds he will be misguided no one else and no one else will bear the burden of another you will not be asked about your neighbor you will not be asked about your you know the actions of your your friend you will ask about your own actions کہ میں نے ٹھیک ہے آپ کی دوست نے کیا جو کیا آپ نے آپ کے فیملی میمز نے کیا جو کیا ان سے ہمیں حساب لوں گا مگر جو آپ کو میں نے پیسے دیئے تھے آپ کو جو اتنا رزق عطا کیا تھا آپ کو اتنے نعمتیں آپ پر برسائے تھے آپ نے اس ساتھ کیا کیا ہے آپ نے تو اپنا سارا پیسہ اپنے گھروں پر لگا دیئے خوبصورت کرتے پورے زندگی لگا دیئے خوبصورت خوبصورت کرتے کرتے اور پتہ نے کیا کیا لگاتے لگاتے زیادہ کمریں بڑھاتے بڑ اس پیسے کو اللہ کے راستوں میں کیوں نہیں خرچ کیا اپنے آخرت کیوں نہیں بنائی کیونکہ یہ تو آپ اپنے آپ کے لئے کر رہے تھے اللہ قرآن میں یہ سورہ اسراء میں سبحان اللہ is saying this and then سبحان اللہ اللہ continues in the next آیا یوم یدعوکم فتستجیبون بحمده وتظنون اللہ بستم اللہ قلیلہ اللہ says on the day he will call you on the day he will call you, you will instantly respond by praising him, thinking you had remained in the world only for a little while. You know this, this, this thing that we say that this dunya is, is just a little bit of time. Allah is saying this, that the day he will rise again, the day he will be resurrected, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us life again, and we will wake up, you know, we will wake up praising Allah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. And then we will think to ourselves کہ جو دنیا میں نے وقت گزارا ہے ہم تو بھی سوچنے ہیں یار کتنا لمبا وقت ہے پچاس، ففٹی، سکسٹی، سیونٹی، ایٹی، نائنٹی ایز، ہنڈر ایز مگر قیام کے لیے ہم کو ایسے لگے گا یار ہم صرف ایک گھنٹہ کے لیے دنیا میں تھے ایسے لگے گا اللہ قرآن میں یہ کہہ رہا ہے So we have to wake up ہم جنت میں جب دنیا کے بارے میں سوچیں گے ہم کو اس بس یہ لگے گا ہم بس ایک گھنٹہ کے لیے دنیا میں تھے بس ایسے لگے گا ہم کو اور اگر ہم کو ایسے لگے گا تو ہم یہ سوچیں گے نا یار اگر میں پوری زندگی اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کرتا اپنی زندگی اللہ کے راستے میں لگا دے تھا بس تھوڑا ہی وقت تھا پچاس ساٹھ سال ہی تھے وہ اللہ کے راستے میں لگا دیتا تو آج میں ایسے انجوئیمنٹ میں ہوتا کہ ہم سوچ بھی نہیں سکتے بکوز جنت کے بارے میں ہمارے سوچ بھی واندہ نہیں پہنچتی You can't even think about it. That's how amazing it will be. Or Janat Hamesha ke liye. Now you tell me, brothers and sisters, we think that we have to reach Janat to reach the rest of the world. You know, if we have to reach the lowest of Janat, it's okay. It's okay. But subhanallah, imagine Janat Hamesha ke liye. You will always stay in Janat Hamesha ke liye. Then you will think that if I have to work a little bit, it was a little bit of time. Jannat is not for 60, 70 years, 100 years. It is not for 200 years, 300 years. It is not for 1,000 years. It is not for 10,000 years. It is not for 100,000 years. It is not for a million years. It is not for 10 million, 100 million, 1 billion, 10 billion, 20 billion, 100 billion, 1 trillion, 1 gazillion. No. It was it forever. Forever. So what's... What's 50, 60, 70 years compared to a billion, trillion, gazillion years? And it's even more than that, Jannat. It's forever. It will continue forever and ever. There is no death in Jannah. But Jannat, I'm thinking, 
یہ تو میں نے اپنے آپ کے ساتھ ظلم کر لیا اگر میں وہ ٹائم اللہ کے راستے میں لگا لیتا اپنا پیسہ اللہ خرچ اللہ کے راستے میں خرچ کر دیتا میں مسجدیں بنا لیتا میں لوگ بھوکے لوگوں کو کھانا کھلا لیتا میرا کیا جاتا چلو تھوڑی مشکل حالات سامنے آ جاتے ہیں مگر میں ابھی اس وقت ساتویں جنت میں ہوتا میں نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے جنت میں ہوتا میں صحابہ کے جنت میں ہوتا میں انبیاء کے جنت میں ہوتا مگر اس وقت میں سب سے لو اس جنت میں ہوں پہنچ تو گیا ہوں مگر جو لطف ادھر ہوئے گا اس پہلے والی جنت میں نہیں ہوئے گا ادھر بھی ہوئے گا سبحان اللہ پلیجر دوں گے میں رونگ بٹ دا 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 پلیجرز آف دا سیونت آن دا آن دا ہائیسٹ آف جنہ العدن الفردوس is 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 going to be completely different to the jannat that's going to be in the lowest uh, lo, the lowest one so my brothers and sisters we have to prepare for it we have to prepare for it and we have to realize that we are here for a few hours that's how it's going to feel to us we are here just for a few hours Allah says in fact an hour we're going to think we just came in the dunya for an hour so my brothers and sisters Now you tell me how we are living our lives. Are we spending in the best possible way? Are we building the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are we feeding the, the needy like we should be? And are we sp- how much of our wealth are we keeping behind? And how much are we spending in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And every penny that we are holding back, my brothers and sisters, is, is going to go against us. It's going to go against us because subhanAllah, every penny that we're not spending in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, We are going to regret, we are going to regret and I have some, you know, ayat here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, talks about this. Allah says, you know, and do not let those who greedily withhold Allah's bounties think it is good for them. In fact, it is bad for them. Subhanallah, my brothers and sisters, listen to this. Allah is saying in Surah Ali Imran, verse 180, Allah is saying, And do not let those who think that withholding Allah's bounties think it is good for them. In fact, it is bad for them. They will be leashed by their necks on the day of judgment with whatever wealth they used to withhold. And Allah is the sole inheritor of the heavens and the earth. And Allah is all aware of what you do. La ilaha illallah. Listen to what Allah is saying, my brothers and sisters. Listen. What does withholding wealth mean? It means we have to spend on food, rent, you know, insurance, whatever you have to spend money on. I'm not talking about that wealth. I'm talking about wealth that we have extra. Wealth that is there all year long and we're not using. Take care, you know, you have some money left for a difficult period, rainy day. We understand. But all the extra wealth we're talking about, wealth that, subhanAllah, we're just holding for no reason. Allah is saying, That do not let those think who greedily withhold, do not let those who you know, withhold their money and they don't spend it, think that this is good for them. Allah is saying this is bad for them. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they will be leashed by their necks on the day of judgment with whatever wealth they used to withhold. Allah is saying we will take this wealth, the gold, you know, Joe Zaver, Pasa, and we'll be holding it. Allah ke raastam mein ya kharch nahi kare usko. قیامت کی نل کر ہم کے گردنوں کے گول ان کو یہ وی ول ہولڈ دس لیش نہیں ہوتا ہم جو یو نو ڈاگ وی ہیو اے لیش اراؤنڈ دا ڈاگ اللہ سینگ ول ٹیک دس ویلتھ اینڈ وی پیک دس ویلتھ از لیشڈ اراؤنڈ دے نیکس اللہ اکبر اینڈ دین اللہ سبحان تعالی سے سیز دے ول بی لیش بائی دے نیکس اون دا ڈے اف ججمنٹ وی ول ایور ویلتھ دے یوز ٹو ود ہولڈ اینڈ اینڈ اللہ از دا انہیریٹر اف دا ہیونز اینڈ دا ارتھ اینڈ اللہ از اول اے وے اف وٹ یو ڈو Subhanallah, this is my brothers and sisters, you know, uh, withholding our wealth. This is not something that we should be doing, my brothers and sisters. We should be spending it wherever we can in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by doing this, inshallah, we will gain uh, the, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will gain the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's come together and let's spend on the masjids of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you, do, if you don't, uh, you know, discuss this with your family, you know, at least niyato kar نیت تو کر لیں کہ چلو اس وقت مے بی یو نو از ڈیفیکلٹ فار می برادر آئی نو وٹ یو سینگ از ٹرو آئی انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ یو سینگ آئی بلیو ان وٹ ایور یو آر سینگ اینڈ آئی ڈونٹ ونٹ ہولڈ مائی ویلتھ آئی ونٹ اسپینڈ اٹ بٹ یو نو دیر از سم ایشوز کامنگ اے ہیڈ 
I understand, we all understand, Allah understands. Allah knows us better than we do, my brothers and sisters. If your excuse is valid and is sincere, Allah knows. Don't worry. But if we are making excuses to withhold ourselves, then there's a problem there, right? But that's a different topic. So, uh, my brothers and sisters, let's come together and let's spend as much as we can in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make the niyat. Niyat baan leke, inshallah, may Allah ka ghar banana chaata, may banana chaati. اور پھر دیکھیں جب نیت بنائیں نا اور آپ پہلا قدم رکھ لیں آپ اپنے اکاؤنٹ سے جو, جو بھی ہے دو سو پانچ سو ہزار دو ہزار تین ہزار جو ہیں آپ وہ فیصلہ کر لیں کہ یہ اللہ کے گھر کی طرف جا رہا ہے اور آپ ابھی فون کر کے آپ وہ ڈونیشن دے دیں یا آپ بنا دینا چاہتے تو آپ مگر وہ سائڈ پہ رکھ دیں پھر دیکھنا اللہ آپ کے لیے کیسے دروازے کھولتا ہے پھر آپ اپنے فیملی والے سے بات کریں مشورہ کریں ہوتا ہے وہ کچھ دے دیں اور آپ کی مجھے تیار ہوگی سبحان اللہ So at least make the intention, inshallah. But before, inshallah, anything else, I would like to go to Shaji, inshallah, again. I would like uh, Shaji for us to wake us up again. Because uh, the time is getting late. Log aram aram se, malab khana kha ke, relax ho ke, thoda, you know, getting sleepy. So humko zinda karne ke liye, humare dilon ko, subhanallah, humko Shaji ki zaroot aati hai. So inshallah, Shaji ke roh jate hai, aur usse request karte hai, humare liye koi kalam, inshallah, padhe, inshallah. بہت شکریہ جزاک اللہ بردر ہارون اللہ پاک سلامت رکھے اور یقیناً یہ جو لمحات ہیں یہ بڑے ہی قیمتی لمحات ہیں بے شک اور بڑی تیزی سے کے ساتھ گزر رہے ہیں اس مرتبہ تو یقین جانیے بالکل عجیب محسوس ہو رہا ہے کہ ابھی کل کی بات ہے کہ رمضان شریف کا آغاز ہوا تھا اور آج انیسویں رات ہے بالکل آخ کل ہم آخری عشرے میں داخل ہو رہے ہیں کل رات کو Allah. میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ یہ قیمتی گھڑیاں ہیں اور ہمیں ان کا بہت ہی زیادہ فائدہ اٹھانا چاہیے الحمد للہ ہمارے ناظرین سارے سامعین الحمد للہ عبادات میں مصروف ہوتے ہیں تراویح میں روزے میں سحور افطار کی عبادات اور یہ وہ مواقع ہوتے ہیں جس میں اللہ پاک دعائیں ضرور قبول فرماتے ہیں تو ان گھڑیوں میں آئیے اللہ کو ہی یاد کرتے ہیں اور اللہ ہی مالک مالک الملک ہیں کارساز ہیں دستگیر ہیں اور ہمارے محکم ہم تو محکوم ہیں اللہ پاک ہی حاکم ہیں تو آئیے میں چند اشار ایک مشہور حمد بار تعالیٰ کے پیش کرتا ہوں ملاحظہ فرمائیے فرمائیے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی چلا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی چلا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے دکھائی بھی جو نہ دے نظر بھی جو آ رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی تلاش اس کو نکر بتوں میں وہ ہے بدلتی ہوئی رتوں میں جو دن کو رات اور رات کو دن بنا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے 
وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی کسی کی سوچوں نے کب سراغا وہی ہوا جو خدا نے چاہا کسی کی سوچوں نے کب سراغا وہی ہوا جو خدا نے چاہا جو اختیار بشر پہ پیرے بٹھا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی نظر بھی رکھے سماتے بھی وہ جان لیتا ہے نیتیں بھی جو خانے لا شعور میں جگمگا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی کسی کو تاجے وقار بخشے کسی کو زلت کے غار بخشے جو سب کے ماتھے پہ مہر قدرت لگا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی سفید اس کا سیاہ اس کا نفس نفس ہے گواہ اس کا جو شولے جان جلا رہا ہے بجھا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی چلا رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے 
دکھائی بھی جو نہ دے نظر بھی جو آ رہا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے وہی خدا ہے کوئی تو ہے جو نظام ہستی سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ You know, subhanallah, you know, I hope uh, Sarun ki iman taze ho gaye because subhanallah, you know, we have to remind each other about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ki Allah koon hai. What does he do for us? Itna sab kuch Allah maare liye karte hai, aur hum bool jate hai. Bool jate hai, and this is, you know, yase kalam sun ke, hum ko phir yaad dilate hai, ki waakai, yaar Allah, sab kuch samalta hai. ہم آنکھیں بند کر لیتے ہیں مگر دنیا بھی تک چل رہی ہوتی ہے ہوائیں بارش پانی نہریں دھوپ چاند پورا آسمان اس کا پورا نظام سبحان اللہ اللہ چلا رہا ہوتا ہے ہمارے جسم دل دھڑک رہی ہے سانس لیا جا رہا ہے خون سبحان اللہ رگوں میں دور چل رہا ہے جو بھی کہتے ہیں اس کو سبحان اللہ you know this is all happening to the nizam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah chala raya nizam ko. And we have to remind ourselves because we are here for a purpose. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created man or jinn except for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how, and what is worship? You know, your ibadah does not just mean to face a, a, a direction and that is it. No, ibadah is physical ibadah, is to raise your hands, is to speak to him, is to beg to him, it is to spending our wealth, ibadatul mal, is to spend our money, it is to, when you go to work with the intention, Ya Allah, I'm, 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 I'm earning this halal uh, income so I can feed my family, I can spend in your path, that becomes ibadat. You go to sleep with the right intention, that becomes ibadat. You know, everything, your whole life can become ibadat. Ibadat is not just standing in namaz, that's not just ibadat. Ibadat is so much more. You dealing with others is ibadat. You bringing people together is ibadat. You reminding others of Allah is ibadat. You reminding yourself ibadat. You cooking food and feeding others is ibadat. You feeding your family can become ibadat. You spending time with your wife. Ibadah. Imagine that, my brothers and sisters. Spending time with your wife is ibadat. Everything can become ibadat. But for that, we'll have to live a life like this, my brothers and sisters. And, and, and inshallah, we're going to continue, but we have a call. So let's take the call first, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, I uh, don't want to give my name, brother. I'm just no calling problem. from Bradford. MashaAllah. What's your message, my brother? I just, I just wanted to know, I, uh, they're still doing the orphan sponsorship yet. Is there still an appeal for that? Yes, yes, we have started the orphanship sponsor already. So, inshallah, if you uh, tune in tomorrow evening, or you call the donation hotline, you can already sponsor an orphan. But if you like a specific profile, inshallah, tomorrow in the evening, we will show you the profiles and you can, inshallah, choose a profile. Thank you for that. Yes, inshallah. No problem, my no brother. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. You know, brother just asked about the orphan. Uh, again, for the brother, if he's listening, inshallah, we have started it for the past couple of days. We were doing the orphans. Today, we didn't do the orphans. But inshallah, tomorrow, we will uh, do the orphans. We will show you the profiles. And we will, uh, inshallah, uh, show you the profiles. You can choose the child. We are doing uh, orphans in Gaza. So, Alhamdulillah, it's, it's, these are the children of the Shuhada that we are showing you uh, tomorrow, inshallah. So, do tune in and everyone else that wants to sponsor an orphan, the children of the Shuhada of Gaza, you can uh, tune in tomorrow, inshallah, and we can uh, sponsor the orphans together. And we will show also other projects, inshallah. We will have uh, uh, our day uh, friend and a colleague, Mulana Imran Musa, also here in uh, London in our studio. You know, I'll have uh, the, the, the pleasure of having him with me at the... Uh, appeals which I'm looking forward to inshallah so 
brothers and sisters, we shall meet you very soon again. We're going to go on a break. Keep watching Ikra TV. Keep supporting. Keep giving the path of Allah. We'll see you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs>
then sending from Cairo and so on. So while basically from Cairo it might be a little cheaper, uh, this might be about 20% uh, more expensive, uh, but it is much more quicker, which means inshallah within last 10 days of Ramadan, they will receive your donated food packs inshallah. So brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, on this blessed day of 17th of Ramadan, I would like to see how many of you will come forward and will sponsor how many boxes. Uh, if anyone would like to sponsor £5,000, that is one pallet, plus few more boxes also, inshallah, on top of it. So, Jazakumullah khair, brothers and sisters, you donate and we deliver in shortest possible time. Bless and be blessed, inshallah, this Ramadan with Al Khair Foundation, mashallah. We are delivering this in partnership with uh, King Hussein of Jordan and the King of Jordan, his uh, organization, mashallah. Uh, King Hussein's organization and Al Khair Foundation delivering in partnership. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this partnership and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your and our partnership of being donor and organization. Bless and be blessed this Ramadan. Fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ਸ਼ਨਾਜ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਰ ਭੈਣਾ ਦੋ ਭਰਾ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਮੜੀ ਅਮੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੜਾ ਅਬੂ ਫੌਤ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਉਸਕੋ ਕੈਂਸਰ ਦੀ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਆ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਇਲਾਜ ਉਸ ਤਾਂ ਪੂਰਾ ਨਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਦੇ ਰਾਤ ਉਸ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਹ ਉੱਠ ਜਿਲਦਾ ਸਾ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਖਤੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਥੇ ਰਾਤ ਹੀ ਖੜਨਾ ਵਾਲਾ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਸਾ ਅਬੂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਨ ਬੰਦ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਕਲਾ ਕਰੀ ਨਾ ਸਾ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਮੰਗਦਾ ਸਾ ਜਾਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਤੇ ਸ਼ਾਰੇ ਕਰਦਾ ਸਾ ਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਮਰਦੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਕਿਸੇ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਾਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਇਹ ਅਮੀ ਜੁਲਦੀ ਆ ਕਮਾਸ ਤੇ ਮਾਲੇ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਟੁੰਡਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਸਾ ਦੇ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਧੋਣੇ ਹੋਈ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਕਿਸਾ ਦੇ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਇਸਤਰੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੋਈ ਜਾਂ ਬਾਰੀ ਮਾਰਨੀ ਹੋਈ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਲੱਕੜੀਆਂ ਕਿਸਾ ਨਾਲ ਚਾ ਕੇ ਖੜ ਕਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਕਾ ਕੱਪ ਕਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਕੇ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਮਿਲ ਗਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਪੱਕੀ ਰੋਟੀ ਜਾਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਆਟਾ ਜਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਮਿਲ ਗਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਕੰਮ ਨਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਭੁੱਖੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਰੋਟੀ ਨਾ ਖਾਂਦੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਤਰ ਕਾ ਵਈ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੁਕੀ ਰੋਟੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ ਕਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਸਾਗ ਜਾਂ ਤਲਾਂ ਦਾ ਰੁਚਣ ਕੇ ਕਹਿਣ ਆਂਦੇ ਆ ਪੱਟੀਆਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਖਰੀਦ ਕੇ ਸੇਨ ਦੀ ਤਾਕਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਸੇ ਸਾਗ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਣੀ ਨਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਕਿਤੇ 2-400 ਰੁਪਏ ਕੋਈ ਥਾ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਬਸ ਆਟਾ ਬਸ ਆਣ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਪੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਤੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਆਣ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਤਰ ਅਸੇ ਆਸਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਜ਼ੁਕਾਮ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੱਗ ਜੁਲੇ ਪੈਸਿਆਂ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਦਵਾਈ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਬਗੈਰ ਇਲਾਜ ਹੋ ਜੁਲੇ ਤੇ ਸਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਤ ਅਸੇ ਜੁਲਦਿਆਂ ਤੇ ਇਧਰ ਉਧਰ ਮਾਲੇ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਯਾ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਰਿਸ਼ਤੇਦਾਰੀ ਵੀ ਲੋਕ ਆਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਵਾਨ ਜਵਾਨ ਕੁੜੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਰਦੀ ਹਨ ਬਾਹਰ ਕਿਧਰ ਜੁਲਦੀ ਹਨ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਲੋਕ ਆਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਆਤ ਸੜੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਨਿੱਕੀ ਜਿਹੀ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਘਰ ਨਾ ਸਾ ਤਮੂਆ ਸਾ ਉਸ ਪੇ ਚੋਲੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੱਲ ਕੇ ਸੜੇ ਹੁਣ ਮਾਜ਼ੂਰ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹੁਣ ਜਾ ਦਰਦ ਕਰ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਇਹ ਆਤ ਰੋਟੀ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਮੈਂ ਨਾ ਪਕਾ ਕੇ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਰੀ ਰਾਤ ਅਗਰ ਬਾਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਆਈ ਤਾਂ ਡਰ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਫਿਰ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਆ ਅਸੇ ਆਖਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਬਾਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਅੰਦਰ ਆ ਜੁਲ ਸੀ ਚਾਰ ਦੀਵਾਲੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੀ ਬਾਹਰ ਬਾਥਰੂਮ ਅਸਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਾਤੀ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਾ ਨਿਕਲਦੀ ਨਿਕੇ ਪੈਣ ਪਰਾ ਕੋਈ ਉੱਠ ਤੇ ਪਿਛਾ ਬਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਅਸਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੇ ਦੋ ਦੋ ਨਾਲ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸੰਗ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਖਲਦੇ ਆ ਬਾਹਰ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਜੰਗਲ ਹੈ ਇਧਰ ਉਧਰ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਬਾਦੀ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਾਸ਼ਰੂਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਚਾ ਮਕਾਨ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍
बारिश होती है जो पानी भरते उस मिट्टी बिचों लैके थले जुलते पक्की छत नहीं आस्ते करा दी तो जिस तरह तूफान या इस तरह वहाँ होती है तो बहरों गंद जो धूड़ वगैरह जी होती है वो सारी उठ के अंदर आ जुलती है क्योंकि अगे दीवार नहीं प्लास्टिक फिर बाजार तो असें आन ना आखते तो इस तरह घर भी इस तरह मौजूद प्लास्टिक है नहीं किसी दिन बिस्तर से जुल दिन तो रात जिस टाइम सर्दी होती है तो असं एक ही दुई नाल चिमड़ के बैठते हैं जुड़ जुड़ के बैठते हैं जी सर्दी को बचने आते कसा तो बिस्तर आंदा है कसा तो बिस्तर आंदा ही नहीं तो फिर ठिर दें आखते हैं जी इतना होवे जैसे रात अग वगैरह नहीं इस तरह बिस्तरे होवन जैसे रात गर्म हो जाए बार बर्फ भर दी है बारिश भर दी है अंदर बैठ के ठेरते रहने अस आखते हैं जैसा कार नहीं जैसा तो घर हो असा कुछ नहीं बड़ा करा तो शौक नहीं जैसा दी अब कोई बड़ी बिल्डिंग हो या बड़ी कोठी हो अस आखते हैं इतना घर हो उ तो बारिश ना तले आवे पानी ना तले आवे तो अंदर हवा ना जुले तो एक असा तो वाशरूम हो इधर अगर चार दिवाली हो जो है बहरों कोई लंघे अंदर देख है ना इतने घर भी हर कोई अंदर देखते ना कोई चार दिवाली है या इस तरह कोई अस आखते हैं अस लोग नजरिए को महफूज हो रोजे भी इस तरह अस भौखे रोजे रखते हैं कहते कोई अफतारी आते कोई चीज माली बच्चों थोड़ी बहुत चाह दी तो घर कहते हैं ना तो इसी चाह न कावे न सुखी रोटी थोड़ी थोड़ी हुई तो खा कहते हैं दिल करते हस्ता प कि समोसे आना या पकौड़े आना लोग आने या फ्रूट आना या गोश वगैरह आना तो लोग आने तो अस किस तरह आना को पैसे नहीं कुड़िया कपड़े आने आप बूट चप्पली इस तरह कोई चीज आने तो असं उन्होंने देखते हैं ऐसे फिर रोंदे अस इतने पुराने कपड़े फिर तो के ला कहने असों को लोग कपड़े देंगे वो भी फटे पुराने कपड़े जो लाने के होंगे इन अस उन्हें भी गुजारा करते हैं स्कूल जाने की वर्दी नहीं है कसा सुन दिते कपड़े आने ला के जुलते हैं तो उन्होंने भी रंग बिल्कुल खराब हो जाए लोगों के जनक आंदे नवी वर्दी होंगी है इन्होंने कपड़े बिल्कुल छोटे छोटे हो जाए रंग खराब हो जाए स्कूल में ठंड लगती है तो बच्चे आके कार रखते हैं कि अज असों को स्कूल भी इतनी ज्यादा ठंड लग लग के जनकों को कोट आ सी तो इस तरह से ठेर ठेर के बिल्कुल असर रोना लग गया याद आंदे जैसे आखते हैं लोगों दिया कुड़ियां तो भैया आंदे उन आंदे पे आंदे नाल उन नाल सामान या इस तरह कोई चीज देंदे ते आज तो पे आंदा ते आज सांगो भी कोई चीज देंदा ते आज सांदे थे कुछ शेयर भी नहीं आज सांगो लास्ट करा दी रूटी आज सांगो दो टाइम आंदी नहीं थान दी तो और कोई चीज आज सांगो मिल जिस तरह लोग कपड़े बनाने ना आखते हैं साला भी एक एक सूट भी बना के ना तो असा को भी मुचे अस दुआ कर दें कि असा को कोई करा दी छत चार दिवारी चाह देवे या असा को रमजान आस्ते कोई राशन चाह देवे या कोई कपड़े वगैरह असा को चाह देवे अस सारी जिंदगी अस दुआ कर सा 
اسے آخرت ہونا دی خدا دنیا آخرت کامیاب کرے مال خدا ہونا کو آخرت بھی دیوے تو جڑا آسان آل کر دے تو اونا کو خدا دیوے ان الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear respected brothers and sisters I pray you all well الحمد لله welcome to another segment of ours at Ikra TV we are here الحمد لله trying our best to collect as much funds as we can so we can help as many people as we can around the world alongside helping the people of Gaza by providing food, medicines, medical aid, shelter, tents, uh, you know, and all of the hot meals and, and all the rest of it, alhamdulillah. Uh, we are also still working in many, many other countries around the world. Just like the years before, we are still delivering in every country that we were delivering before. Uh, for example, the food packs in Lebanon, in refugee camps, the food packs in uh, Syria, the food packs in uh, Turkey. And, and subhanallah, so many other things we are doing alongside even in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, in India, in, in Kashmir and so many other places we are still operating there. So we also request everyone to also pay attention to all those projects uh, in Pakistan and, and in the rest of the world, in Yemen for example, and many African countries, Somalia, etc. You know, where they are still in need as well and we need to be looking after them as well. Alongside the humanitarian aid, Alhamdulillah Al Khair Foundation, because we uh, you know, consider ourselves to be uh, an organization that's doing it for the sake of Allah. So we have to do those projects that will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of those projects that we have is the building masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to building the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Ya Allah, we are not just feeding people, we are also establishing, establishing uh, places where your zikr will take place, places where your remembrance will take place, houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where the ibad of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come and they can pray and they can reconnect with the Lord and right now alhamdulillah we have such a masjid that we need to build in Pakistan and alongside looking at the physical needs of our brothers and sisters we also look after the spiritual needs of, of our uh, ummah around the world especially right now in Pakistan where we need to build many many massages after the flood in Pakistan that you know happened subhanallah after uh, about a year two years ago we my brothers and sisters uh, lost over 70 to 80,000 masajid and alongside that there are still many many locations in Pakistan that don't have a masjid that don't have a place where they could go uh, unite and, and gather and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together we all know how important it is to have a masjid in the community in fact Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam when you look at his seerah when he went and did hijrah from Makkah al mukarramah and he went towards Medina al munawwarah the first place where he stayed uh, for a few days was Kuba and subhanallah the first masjid that, that even in that place where Rasul Sallam stayed for a couple of days he built a masjid and today we know that masjid is masjid Kuba and Allahu Akbar subhanallah when Rasul Sallam left um, uh, Kuba and, and the masjid he built there he went to Medina al munawwarah and the first thing that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa did in Medina in terms of physical thing was building the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we today know as Majid al-Nabawi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this shows us the importance of building the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, though only those people who believe in Allah and the last day and they give their zakat and they establish prayer are the ones that build the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah you know, put these characteristics specifically to those people that build the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that are attached to the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, we want to show you now a video, and in this video we want to show you a community in Pakistan that want a masjid, that need a masjid to educate the next generation, so they can spend their, uh, you know, days in the, ta in the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they have no house of Allah available. So this is a story that we want to build, uh, that we want to show you in front of you, and inshallah we want to build this masjid before Eid 
And this is possible because we have the infrastructure available and we are promising this to you. We are going to show, if you donate to this tonight, we will show you this masjid completed before Eid, inshallah. So my dear brothers and my dear sisters, if you're watching right now, you know, stop doing whatever you're doing, inshallah, for a few minutes and let's watch this documentary together. इधर मले में मस्जिद हमारी नहीं है बच्चों के सपारा पढ़ने की और कुरान पढ़ने की बहुत तकलीफ है आसमान के छत के नीचे हम चटाई लगा के बच्चों को पढ़ाते हैं जब बारिश होती है और वो बच्चे फिर छुट्टी कर देते हैं जब धूप होती है हम यहीं पे खुले आसमान के नीचे बच्चों को पढ़ाते हैं زلزلے کے بعد جو ہے ابھی کینیا میں لگی جگہ ادھر آئے ہوئے ہیں ہم اور ہمارے یہاں کے علاقے کے بہت زیادہ مسئلے ہیں پانی کا بھی مسئلہ ہے مسجد کا بھی مسئلہ ہے اور بچوں کا جو پڑھائی کا وہ بھی زیادہ مسئلہ بنا ہوا ہے ہماری یہ رپیل ہے کہ ہمیں مسجد بنا کے دی جائے بزرگ اپنی نماز ادا کر سکیں اور یہ چھوٹے چھوٹے بچے تعلیم سے معروم ہیں یہ اپنی تعلیم جاری کر سکیں اسے چٹائی با کے اسے نمازاں پڑھنے آئے تھے بچے بھی آسان دے اسے طرح سبق پڑھنے چٹائی با کے بارشاں بھی جڑی ہوندی ہے تو وہ رہے کہیں دیا ہونا کوئی سبق رادہ دے مارا تھا لیکن ہمارا وہ سیل نہیں تھا ہمارے جو بڑے ٹور نہیں سکتے ہیں وہ تے گروہ میں نماز ادا کرتے ہیں جو چل کے وہ چٹائی تک پہنچتے ہیں تے ہمارے ساتھ جماعت میں بھی شامل ہو جاتے ہیں بہت غریب لوگ ہیں اور زلزلے کے متاثرین مارے ہوئے ہیں یہاں پہ آئیں وہ اپنا خرچات ہی نہیں پورا کر سکتے ہیں یہ مسجد کہاں سے بنائیں گے جدر مکان جس کا بنا ہوا اس کو اوپر چھت نہیں ڈالی ہوئی کسی نے ترپال لگائی ہوئی ہے کسی نے چادر ڈالی ہوئی ہے اگر وہ اپنی ریائش نہیں کر سکتے تو مسجد کے در سے بنا دیں گے کوشش بہت کرتے ہیں لیکن وسائل نہیں جگہ جو ہمارے بزرگ تھے ادھر آئے تو انہوں نے کہ یہی خواہش تھی کہ ہم ادھر ایک مسجد بنا لیں تو ان کی خواہش تو وہ دوری رہے گی وہ تو دنیا سے چلے گئے مگر ہمارے پار بھی اتنے وسائل نہیں کہ ہم چندہ بھی کر لیں تو پھر بھی ہم جو ہے کہ مسجد کی نہیں کام کر سکتے ہیں پانی کی بہت زیادہ مشکلات ہے پینے کا پانی بھی بہت زیادہ دور سے لاتے ہیں وہ چشمہ چھوٹا سا لیکن وضو کے لیے یہ کٹھا جا رہا ہے لیکن شاک تو ہے کہ پانی گندہ ہے یا صاف وضو بنا لیتے ہیں لیکن پینے کا کوئی انتظام نہیں یہ گالے سے بچت بن گئی اس میں بچے نماز پڑھ سو آسے بڑھیرے بھی پڑھ سان پانی ادھا بھی اللہ انتظام کر سو سی ہمارا مسجد کے لیے اتنا دل خوش ہوتا ہے کہ ہمارے بچے بھی تعلیم سکھ چھیں ہمارے بڑھے بھی نماز تو پہنچیں مسجد قریب ہو تو ہم خود بھی مسجد قریب ہوئے کی نمازی بن جائیں گے کہ یہ گمانڈ میں ہماری اعزان ہو گئی ہے جب اعزان ہوئے کی تو ہم سب کم چھوڑ کر اپنی مسجد میں حضر ہو جائیں بزرگوں کو بہت زیادہ مشکلات ہیں دور دراز مسجدیں اور کچھی عبادی ہے ہمارے بزرگ جب دور دراز جاتے ہیں پانچ کلومیٹر جا کے وہ جاتے ہیں جماعت کے لیے وہ جماعت کو پہنچ نہیں سکتے جو بندہ ہم کو مسجد بنا کے دے گئے ہم اس کے لیے دعا کریں گے اور اللہ سے رو رو کر مانگے گے اللہ پاک اس کو غور زیادہ مسجد بنانی کی تفیق دے مناسن کو اس مسجد جڑی ہے اس طرح بہت ضرورت ہے 
نفری بھی زیادہ ہے بچے بھی زیادہ ہے لوگ بھی زیادہ ہے رمضان اور مسجد بن گئے تو مسجد بھی تو تراویاں تھے خوش ہو کے پڑھ سو مطلب ہے سر کی کہا کہ جلے مسجد اپنا قرآن پڑھے اس کو تکلیف نہیں ہوئی میں بار میدانے بھی چاہاں کہ تو مسجد بھی یہ تقریباً ساٹھ ستر گھر بنے ہوئے در تو ان کے لئے ہماری پانی کی بھی اچھے ضرورت ہے اور وہ جو مین مچد ہے وہ مچد ہماری اگر ہمیں مچد کو مل جائے سی کوئی بندہ ہو جو اللہ کا نیک بندہ ہو ہمیں مچد بنا دے تو اس کی دنیا بھی آخرت کے لئے بچے بھی دعا کریں گے اور جو نماز پڑھیں گے ان کے لئے بھی وہ دعا ہوگی سکر جاری رہے گا ہماری الخیر فانڈویشن آگے یہی درخواست ہے کہ ہمیں مسجد بنا کے دی جائے اگر مسجد بن جائے تو وہ اللہ آگے بھی دعا کریں گے اور جو بنا کے دے دے ہمیں اس کو بھی دعا دیں گے کہ یا اللہ اس کو اور مسجد بنانے کی تفریق دے سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ اندر village subhanallah that needs a place to where they can gather together to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but unfortunately they don't have a place as such and as the brothers in the video the, our brothers they were saying subhanallah you know we don't even have enough money to construct our houses properly uh, so how can we you know collect the funds to build a masjid you know some have a, a, a house but they have plastic sheets as their roof if that's the state that of your house, subhanAllah, you know, we can imagine, all of us can imagine how difficult it is for them to, you know, have the funds or collect funds to build a masjid. You know, if they started to collect, maybe it will take 10 years for, before they have enough money maybe to build a small masjid. But here, subhanAllah, Allah has blessed us so much that one person comes forward. One person comes forward and their trouble and their issue is gone. And a house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established in that lands. And every, uh, every tree, Every, uh, every, anything that's in the area that will hear the adhan will testify on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, subhanAllah, for this person. Every person that will pray in this masjid will testify on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, As-Sadaqatu Burhan, that our sadaqah is a proof that on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, when, when you, you know, when we arrive at the court of, in, in this world, right, we have to have proof with ourselves, evidence that, look, I'm innocent, or he is guilty, and you have to show the evidence to Allah, to the judge, I mean, to, you know, this is uh, my innocence, or this is the proof that why uh, it's, it's like this, or it's not like this. Just like that, my brothers and sisters, on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, when we were in the court, uh, in front of the judges of all judges, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Hakim, you know, Al-Adl, the one that will do justice, you know, we will, if you bring the proof with us that, Ya Allah, look, you know, I, I tried my best, I built these masjids, I've built this, these homes, I've built all of this for your sake. You know, and these will testify for us that subhanAllah, yes, look, this is what he did to me. And the piece of land that you're building, us, building it on will become part of Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will include it into Jannah. Imagine that, you're buying yourself a piece of Jannah basically. Yeah, I mean, in these mountains and these valleys, you know, you have got, God knows, let's say for the past 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, 100 years, you have a masjid in Haiti. You know, I think for the far, past 50 years, you have a masjid in this valley. Can you hear me? Yeah, in this, uh, in this valley, in these mountains, there has not been a masjid, subhanAllah. Allah. For, the, for the past that. 50 years, 100 years. And, uh, you know, it's been the, the, you know, the request and the shock and the desire of the, the villagers to have a masjid there, you know, and Allah has given you the ability, you know, amongst all the people, amongst so many people, you know, it could have been anyone else, even local, someone over, over there yeah. who could have built that masjid. But no, his, subhanAllah, that need has come to you today in front of you on the TV here through Iqra uh, TV and through Al Khair Foundation. That need, their need has come to you and inshallah, one of the brothers here in the UK or sister in the UK is going to be in the one putting the hand up and saying, Allah. Subhanallah, I'll build the masjid. Subhanallah. You know, what a beautiful thing that is. Absolutely. And you know, uh, for a moment, you know, I'm not going to tell you to imagine yourself in their place, but I'm going to imagine yourself in your own place. You are living wherever you're living in, in the UK, in Europe or wherever else. And imagine you don't have a masjid near, nearby. It's, it's the month of Ramadan. You are going to, the, uh, to pray Tarawih because there is a masjid available, isn't it? You are sending your children to recite the Quran because there is a masjid available. I mean, I'm just going to show, I'm just going to share one, 
when reality what happened mm. today. Right. I mean, you know, for the part in Al Khair school, secondary school, uh, in the basement we were, we, we, there was a small room which we dedicated for five times prayers. Right. And uh, only today, only today, we've extended that. For the past five months, the work has been going on. Uh, so that small room has become like four times bigger now. Right. So it's wow. become a, a bigger sort of a prayer okay. area for about 120 people now. Nice. Before only maybe 30, 40 people could fit in. And earlier on when we were doing the afternoon meeting, I was there and they were putting the carpet down. Awesome. And so we were arranging where the softs are going to be, right. how big the soft will be so that we can fit the maximum number of people in that area. So that's where I was uh, today. And we, alhamdulillah, for the first time today, they, they are reading taraweeh there right now. Alhamdulillah. Yeah? And this has been closed for the past one and a half years because they were refurbishing and all of that. And we extended into the basement, which was never used as a masjid before. It was right. used as, you know, just for storage. So alhamdulillah, only today. Mashallah. And so, you know, this is my story for today and our that today, alhamdulillah, we've expanded that masjid, that prayer area. It's not a masjid like a shari masjid. Yes. It's a Jamaat Khana prayer area. We've extended that. It's become a big area, prayer area for about 100 and uh, 20, 30 people, inshallah, and they're praying there you know, for the first time in the last, well, they've never prayed Tarabi there. But the amount of relief the yes. community has now, the amount yeah. of relief the, the children of the school have now, because subhanAllah, first it was a struggle, even though they had a place to pray, yes. well, subhanAllah, it was, it was a struggle. But now, subhanAllah, you know, they have a place to pray. And just like this, like I said, you know, we are living here in the UK, and imagine we had no masjid available in our community. You know, you would feel, you know, that, that, that this comfort in your heart every time you thought about the fact that you know I, I want my children to learn about Islam about this deen and the older we grow the more we realize how important it is you know when you ask a child he might not give you the right answer why we need a masjid or you know he might give you an answer that he heard somewhere but we as we grow older and we start to realize the purpose of life uh, why we're here what we should be doing you know we realize the importance of educating ourselves and having the education at the early stage of our life telling us about what salah is, what zakat is, how do you fast, how do you do wudu, how do you do ghusl, what are the sunnahs, wajibs, farz, what are all of these different things that are within Islam. You know, all the basics that we need to, to be living our daily lives, it's important to instill that into a child when they're young. And how important is it, my brothers and sisters? You know, uh, I was watching, uh, subhanAllah, recently, uh, someone I know, and he was saying this, that uh, he was reciting the Quran at home, right? And... He was memorizing it and he was doing door of, of what he's, what he's recited. So. And at one point, he, he, you know, his sound stopped for a second, you know, because he got out of breath. And he stopped two letters, two words before the uh, end of the uh, uh, ayah. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he stopped here, his two-year-old daughter oh. finished the ayah. Subhanallah. So he was like, huh? What is this? So he, he said, my wife was sitting next to me. So we looked at each other in shock. What did just happen? Then he said... For the next couple of ayahs, I kept stopping two, three words before the ayah finishes. And every time my daughter would finish it, just by listening to the Quran, being recited in the house, the child picked up the Quran. Yeah, picked up the That's Quran. how important it is as a child to instill these values and the ilm and, and education into, this, in, into, into our next generation. Now, the, it, it, just on that basis, sorry, I don't know if yes. you'll finish, but just on that basis, if you, get, if you uh, do something else, like you listen to something else in the house, yes. how quickly does children Absolutely. pick up that? Absolutely, when you're, well. when you're constantly fighting with each other, you know, the, ch the child picks that up yeah. because you are the teacher of your child. They observe you. They don't listen to what you say. They watch what you do. It, it, that's why when a woman is pregnant, they say read Quran more. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. indirectly, the you know the the child listens absolute, to the uh, to the mother reciting the Quran. And there's been instances in Tariq that you know a, a, a child has been born Hafiz. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, Subhanallah. Yes, and, and and in some cases I've heard it becomes very easy for them to, for to, them to memorize the Quran, Quran because yes. they've heard it so many times. And is instilled in, into their being that subhanAllah when the Quran, uh, you know, they learn it, it's, it's very easy for them to recite it, very easy for them to, you know, memorize it. And, and subhanAllah, this can only happen, my brothers and sisters, if you have that facility available within your community where you can send your children to learn about the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where they can learn about Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How otherwise would they build that connection with Allah and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? That's why when the Messenger of Allah and his mission was Allah and Rasul. His mission was Allah, right? So the first thing he comes and does in Medina is build a masjid. 
And if you didn't have a masjid in your community, what do you do? You come together with the people and you build the masjid because you understand the importance. Now all of these men that you can see here, they all have children. They all have the next generation that's growing up right now. They themselves, you know, they ajaten and asparlet and they want also a place where they can go and pray and do taraweeh and do itikaf and they can go to the Juma Salah and the elderly who can't walk far because when you're living in a mountains area, it's not easy to, for an elderly person to be walking up and down those mountains and, 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 and it's, it's sometimes steep, sometimes they don't have that power left in them. So, you know, it, it's not possible to go to the nearest masjid which is like, kilometers away. So having a place of worship in their village is not going to give them the relief of having a place to go where they can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they can prepare the next generation. Subhan you know, imagine how painful will it be, Mulan Sahib, that you're thinking to yourself, okay, I'm going to die one day, and there is no majid in my area. I can't send my, majid to, uh, my child to a madrasa to learn the Quran. And when we are going to die, they don't even have the comfort in their heart that my child will Quran, my child will do the Quran, my child will do the because subhanAllah there is no place to facilitate that mm. and you are providing that facility to this community for five thousand pounds we are going to build this masjid and we're going to build it in the month of Ramadan you might be thinking there's not much time left but we are going to make it we promise you my brothers and sisters by Eid if you call in straight away and you say I'm going to build, build this masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then by the end of this month this masjid will be ready and it will be handed over to this community. And inshallah, if we can also sort out uh, a water facility because they're saying we don't have uh, drinking water nearby. Well, that's uh, part of the masjid. Yeah. When we build the masjid, we always talk about how we're going to get... They need for yes. wudu. Yes. Wudu and uh, the toilet. They need, uh, they need um, uh, a wudu facility. They need water for that. So whenever we build the masjid, a water pump or a hand pump or some kind of water source is a must. Subhanallah. It's a must. It has so, to be so part you know of what I mean? the package. It's, it's, it's the saying, one stone, two birds. Yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. So you're making course. this one donation, but you're not just providing a masjid. You're also providing water. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the best of charities is, is providing water. Subhanallah. Yeah. So this is what you can do tonight on the night of Badr. The night in which Subhanallah the Sahaba radiallahu anhum got ready. And they were ready to, to sacrifice their lives for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we, in today's world, could be sitting here and talk about, let's build masjids, let's build masajids. Because there's so many Muslims around the world, but there is no masjid for them to pray in. Allahu, Allahu Akbar. You know, this, uh, the ayat that I recite normally, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ It's a great, this is a great honor. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you the, you know, the, the, the stamp, the certification, that if you are building a masjid, you are one of those people who oh. believe in Allah and the Akhirah and give zakah and salah and you don't fear only but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This, this, is, this is a great certification. If Allah has given you the, the opportunity, the chance to actually build a masjid, Wallah, you are the most fortunate because this, this is something that will continue, subhanAllah. You know, you may live for another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. After 100 years, none of us will be here. But you know what? Your masjid will be here. And after 50, 60 years, no, you, won't be, you won't be here maybe. Okay? 100 years, no one will be here. Okay? Mm -hmm. But you know what? Subhanallah, your masjid will Allah. be there because you've built it and inshallah people will keep on praying. You'll be long gone. You'll be long gone from this world. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will subhanallah, keep on sending those rewards Allah. in your qabr until... That masjid is being utilized, subhanAllah. Subhan until Allah. every child is reciting Quran, until a person making sujood, until a person making wudu, doing the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever it is that they're doing, Absolutely. you're going to get the reward, subhanAllah. And, and if you think about it, look, we can never say, we never guarantee this, or we can never guarantee this. But giving your sadaqah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this, you know, He takes a sadaqah and He multi keeps multiplying for us. It's like a tree, you know, like a seed, and a tree grows and people eat from the fruit. You know, people keep benefiting by, by, by planting it one time, multiple people, hundreds of people benefit. In fact, in some cases of the trees which are hundreds of years old, generations benefit from that tree, right? That's our sadaqah. We invest it once, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it so fruitful for us that we continuously get benefits from it. Not just us, the people around us, the people in that community from it. And the example is, for example, you know, let me tell you example. Imagine in this masjid now, because the community is... They're so excited that they finally have a masjid. 
they can send the children to, to, to study the Quran, learn the Quran, learn the deen. And one of these children, because of this masjid, gets so inspired, he's decided, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm going to, because I've seen the effect this masjid had on our community, I want to become a hafiz of the Quran and I want to you know, do the work of deen. Because of this one action of you, you know, you, you, you will never know about this. Maybe we'll, we'll never be able to show you either. But this is tracked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this child goes on and he studies the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, becomes a hafiz in that masjid, with the imam sahab, with the qari sahab who's at the masjid, and, the, and he recites the Quran, becomes a hafiz, he grows up. Now every letter of the Quran this child will recite for the rest of his life, whether it's tarawih, whether it's teaching other children, you are getting reward. And now the next children that are getting taught by this teacher, they, subhanAllah, whatever recitation they are learning, you will get their reward. And one of them or two of them or three of them become, subhanAllah, a hafiz from them. And they continue and they build their own masjid, madaris and their own masajid. Mm -hmm. And in those masajid you have hundreds and two hundred, three hundred children. And every single one of those in the madrasa is becoming a hafiz. And that continues and continues until a day will come that we will meet our Rabb, we will meet our Lord. And we'll stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we open our book of deeds, we will see the way we will have lived our lives. And honestly, brothers and sisters, you know, me included, you know, what are we doing to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really? How have we spent the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years of our lives? Have we lived a life that Allah can say, Ye mirai banda hai. Me radi Allahu an wa radu an. You know, is, is there anyone, anyone that can claim that Allah can say this about us? Because subhanAllah, our lives are, you know, dunya me dube me am. Right? And this is, everyone can testify for themselves. So, by doing these actions, my brothers and sisters, when you open our book on, on the Day of Judgment, and we're going to see our actions, we're going to say, oh, if only, you know, if only I spent my entire life doing the zikr of Allah, into my entire life reciting the Quran. But then suddenly we'll start, look, flick to the pages and we'll say, huh? I can't remember reading this many Qurans. I can't remember building masajid and madaris. I can't remember becoming, a, 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 you know, learning ilm and teaching ilm and writing books and de bringing people to Islam and people are doing, you know, and we'll be shocked. Where has this come from? And then we'll remember, subhanallah, that 5,000 pounds I've spent on a masjid. This is the result of it. Subhanallah. This is the result continuous, of it today. Continuous reward, subhanallah. subhanallah. This is a sadaqa jariya. And, Absolutely. And we can build this on behalf of our loved ones. Yeah, yeah of course, that's the best thing. You know, if, if you, and you can build it on behalf of yourself, Sadaqa mm Jariya, -hmm. but if you want to build it on behalf of your parents or your grandparents or someone, of course, this is the best thing. You know, I was just thinking, whilst we were talking about how ilm, look at, um, look at some of these ahadi, books of hadith, for example. Huh? You know, Imam Bukhari, for example. Allahu you know, he, writ, he wrote this uh, collection of 7,200 hadith. Uh, in his Bukhari, um, Sahih Bukhari. And, uh, you know, subhanAllah, he, it took him 16 years. 16 ah. years to write this book. And every time he would write one hadith, he would uh, shower and he would pray two rakats and then he would write the hadith. Allahu and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it so maqbul that even 1400 years or 13, you know, uh, 1300 years after, there are still people, subhanAllah, benefiting. In fact, you don't become a scholar until you have recited Subhanallah. and you if, have gone through Sahih al-Bukhari. If today when people speak about the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they speak about Bukhari. Because you cannot mention the life of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam without Bukhari being present there. Because the hard work that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, that, that uh, Imam al-Bukhari uh, rahimahullah did, today subhanAllah, every madar, madrasa around the world, whether you, you know, it doesn't even matter what sect you belong to. You know, Jobi or Brailvi or Devbandi or Salafi or Mukallad, Ghair Mukallad, Jobi No one uh, disputes Bukhari. Yeah, Everyone studies Bukhari. Bukhari, subhanAllah. Because they, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted that deed from Bukhari, yeah. Imam al-Bukhari, uh, rahimahullah. And likewise, that become a sadaqa jariya. Now every single person that is narrating, qala Allah, qala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Imam Bukhari in his grave is getting the reward. Subhanallah. subhanallah. Look at the martaba. They say the most sahih book after the Quran is uh, the Bukhari. And similarly applies to masajid, for example. Similarly applies to those people who build masajid yes. 100, 200 years ago. The masajid is still Nabi. there. Masjid the Nabi, sallallahu alaihi wa and so many masajid over here. Allah, yes. You, you know, know the, Masjid Abu Bakr, this Masjid Abu Absolutely, Masjid, you know, so many, uh, the, 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 the land that, subhanAllah, Masjid Nabi was built upon 
was donated by a Sahabi. So this is the rank you can earn yourself, inshallah. We're going to go on a break. Yeah, in inshallah. this break, inshallah, you know, think about it. Do much with your family. And inshallah, when you come back, make sure you are going to make that donation, inshallah. See you after the break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, I'm inside Syria and uh, this is basically a refugee camp here. In this refugee camp, uh, we are distributing uh, this uh, Ramadan food pack, mashallah. Uh, the food pack is quite heavy. Initially, I thought it's only two boxes, but it's more than two boxes. It's two boxes and two bags, mashallah. So in 50 pounds, uh, they're getting, mashallah, such a heavy that uh, it's difficult for one person to carry. Um, they need uh, two to three people to carry this, mashallah. So generally, basically, one person carries uh, bags and then uh, two more people carries uh, boxes, mashallah. So that's how the delivery is done, mashallah. And the beauty of this is that uh, on each box, um, and this is basically our quite old practice uh, for past many years, mashallah, in Middle East. Uh, on each box, there is uh, this list. So this is famous quote, uh, quote uh, there is a list. <laughs> Um, with all the items um, basically included in here and their description and if any item is missing or any item is basically damaged then they can contact on this number and they will replace the item or send those items missing items and so on so mashallah on each box uh, basically whatever is contains uh, there are list of those items mashallah so Jazakumullah khair, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and bless you. Brothers and sisters, we are distributing Ramadan food packs throughout the world, mashallah, in many countries. But more important than that, it's not only about Ramadan, food pack basically is daily need, weekly and monthly need. So alhamdulillah, we need donors who can donate even one pack, but every month. You adopt one family, one donor, one family. So inshallah, try to um, come to this habit that you donate food pack every month by you know, set up direct debit with our team. So that way, inshallah, for years to come, you will look after one or two families. If you can afford to do more than one pack a month, that's fine. But I'm not asking too much. Even if you do just one pack a month, if I have thousand people who donate one pack a month, that's thousand families to look after. That's very good starting point, mashallah. Jazakumullah khair. We're already looking after basically a number of uh, beneficiaries in each and every country almost every month, alhamdulillah. Uh, but we want to expand that, inshallah, with your support, with your donation. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear respected brothers and sisters Welcome back to tonight's appeal for the people of Gaza Tonight we and you together will be doing our efforts and trying our best so we can feed and help as many people as we can in Gaza my brothers and sisters, over the past many, many months now, we have been aware about the situation in Gaza. Every single one of us knows what's happening in Gaza. We are all aware about the pain, the suffering, the hunger, the bombing of, 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 the, of the Gazans. And we are also aware, alhamdulillah, at least our donors and our viewers are aware about our work that we are doing in Gaza, the work Al Khair Foundation is doing inside of Gaza. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with the opportunity that He is allowing us to use our money to be used in the best possible way to help the people of Al-Aqsa, to help the people of Gaza, to help the people who have lost everything in their lives, from their homes to family members, to their own health, to their belongings, to their own clothes, they have nothing left. They have completely stripped to just them and subhanAllah the clothes they have been wearing subhanAllah some people have been wearing even the same clothes for the past four or five months this is reality in Gaza right now this is how they are facing this uh, challenge and this test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they are in my opinion passing it with flying colors the way they are responding to the trauma the way they are responding to the, uh, the suffering it is just inspiring to us subhanallah it is inspiring to see someone have so much iman that when they are seeing their homes bombed when they are standing in front of the bodies of their own families and entire families not just one person entire families the only thing that comes and leaves them out and their tongue is the shukr of Allah it is the hamd of Allah it is inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un and the words are so amazing that they say ya rabb continuously to take from us until you are pleased with us hatta tardak until you are happy with us and this is their iman so the people of Gaza are not just Muslims they are mu'mins they are people of iman who truly believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they believe in his promise and when they need food when they are hungry, when they are thirsty, they don't turn to anyone except to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the fact that we are standing here today, the fact that you are watching this today, the fact that we have been giving to the people of Gaza is a testimony that they do aza to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah makes and mobilizes the ummah to come to their help. And this is part of that mobilization. This is part of the response at the Battle of Badr. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding the people who fought in the path of Allah. He said, when they fought, they did not fight, but Allah was the one that was fighting them. And when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the battle took sand and he threw it at the enemy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَا that it was not you that threw the sand, but it was Allah that threw the sand. And the likewise, my brothers and sisters, when we are giving our money towards the people of Gaza, when we are helping the people of Gaza, it is not us who is helping the people of Gaza. It is not us who is feeding them, but it's Allah is feeding them. Allah is helping them. Allah is coming to the Nusra, and to Him we belong, and to Him we ask for help, and to Him, my brothers and sisters, we return. My brothers and sisters, Tonight, as we're going to continue this appeal, we want everyone to wake up. Because for a few hours a day, for a few minutes a day, at least we can be sincere towards the people of Gaza. At least we can take some time out and say, you know what, let's stop everything else for a moment. I need to include myself in this work. Because tomorrow when I have to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I need something to say. I need to have some proof ready. I need to have a burhan ready. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, As-sadaqatu burhan, that your charity is a proof. So on Yawm al-Qiyamah, we have all of this proof ready, the sadaqah that we spend in the part of Allah, to show Allah, Ya Allah, we did not come empty-handed. Ya Allah, we did not neglect our, neg neglect our brothers and sisters in Gaza, but rather, Ya Allah, when we heard about the suffering, and we found a means to get our aid to them, we used that means, we used that organization, and we sent our money in the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, as you can see, Mulana Rayyan Saab is also here next to me, Amir al Mu'mineen, Hazrat Mulana Rayyan, Dan Barakatuhum. So I hand you over to Hazrat Ji. How are you doing, Harun? I'm good, man. Alhamdulillah. How's Ramadan? Ramadan is flying by, man. I'm going to be honest, it's flying yeah. by. Uh, you know, in, in, in the beginning of Ramadan, you, you know, I remember I'm saying, you know, before we're going to know it, we're going to be in the middle of Ramadan, and then we're going to be in the end of Ramadan. 
it's you actually know, happened. It's, it's, it's happening, man. <laughs> it's going so quickly. The, from the 10th till, the, till today, I didn't even realize this, this, how, where this part the went. The other day, I remember just saying, the first Ashara has finished, and we've just moved into the <clears throat> second Ashara. Yeah. And now, that just seems like the other day. The other, literally. And now, in a couple of days, we will be saying, the second Ashara is finished, we'll be yeah. moving into the third Ashara. And by the time you know it, we'll be saying, in a couple of days, it's going to be Eid Kirat. Yeah, we're going to give you Eid gifts back. That's what we'll be saying. Please donate your Eid gifts back. Eid will be there. Subhanallah. So time is, is, is going flying by, by. extremely, extremely fast. And uh, therefore, we have to also um, work extremely fast. Yep. That people have not been um, participating, people have not been donating, people have not been uh, coming and saying labbaik to the appeal. They surely have. Yep. And, uh, you know, our way of helping the people of Gaza is actually this. Yes, absolutely. This. This because is yeah. what else can we do? Jolog Vahapi Jasik Tehem, well, close to Gaza, like Mulana Qasim um, has gone, he is there, and you have seen him. Um, that's the closest that we will ever get there. Not all of us can go there because some of us have to stay here in the studio. Um, as much as I would like to be there. Harun Mashal has been. He would like to go again. Um, but someone has to, some people, some presenters have to stay here and we have to yani, play this role in the yes. studio. Alhamdulillah, we play it very, very happily and we do this very, very happily. Yes. Because this is our yani, way of uh, showing and expressing uh, to the people of Gaza, hey, hum yaha pe hai. We are here, the Ummah is here, ready for you uh, to do whatever we possibly uh, can for you. And you on the other side uh, are doing exactly the same thing, or we want you to do uh, the exact same thing. Uh, thinking and believing that you, uh, from your positions, from your houses, you are doing by supporting and by coming forward and by donating whatever amount uh, that you can possibly donate for this uh, cause, unfortunate cause, unfortunate cause uh, indeed. Look how much the people of Gaza have been suffering. It's not since the 7th of October. It's the first time. How much? And uh, um, 70 years they've been seven, de eight, uh, um, seven, eight decades. Yeah, so was suffer Kare and they are in this strip of land called Gaza. They have been thrown in this area and they are they are simply trying to live their lives as refugees, nothing else. Yeah. Because their main houses and properties and lands has been taken away from them and they, they do not even know where that is anymore. They are in Gaza and now in Gaza, if, you, if they are to go and find their property, the house, it will be impossible. Absolutely. They surely will not know. May, once upon a time, I used to live here in Gaza. Once upon a time, I used to play around here in Gaza. The, because Gaza is all flat. So this is our way of showing to the people of Gaza that we are with them. Therefore, uh, Ramadan food packs, uh, iftar meals, uh, tents, whatever Al Khair Foundation is able to provide for the people of Gaza. This is why we are saying or appealing that come forward and let's not, let, let's not allow mm. these days that we are in uh, to go to waste. Absolutely. So you can go ahead every single person. You can also call us, not only on 03000-999786, but also here in the studio and give us with us. That's what we want from every single person Inshallah on the other side. Today another iftar has gone by. How much are we actually praying for these people? In kiliye ham vaqiyatan kar kya rehen? On screen ha in kiliye dua karte hain. Kya do we once we I go off screen once you uh, stop watching us? Kya do we make dua for them? Do we make dua for the ummah? Do we make do we say Ya Allah? Have show mercy and help the people of Gaza. 
کیا ہم یہ کہتے ہیں دعاؤں میں اللہ نوز بیسٹ اللہ نوز بیسٹ وائی اول دس از ہیپنگ ہمیں نہیں پتا اللہ سبحان و تعالی نوز بیسٹ دس از قدر دس از دا وے اٹ از سپوز ٹو رول آؤٹ فار واٹ ایور ریزن اللہ نوز دا بیسٹ ریزن از ایمان والے وی بلیو اینڈ دس از اے فیٹ دس از اوا قدر دس از اے قدر آف دا پیپل آف غزہ دے آر سپوز ٹو گو تھرو واٹ دے آر گوئنگ تھرو انفارچونیٹلی بٹ ایٹ دا سیم ٹائم وی آر ہیئر فار ٹو ڈو اوور پارٹ اینڈ دس از اے ٹیسٹ فار اس از ویل Are we doing enough for them? Are we, when we do, when we do the appeal kia aap, is appeal kia andar shariq ho rahe? That's the sawal, that's the question that you should be asking yourselves. Are we going to help the people of Gaza to the max? Because when you read, you know, even last night, I don't want to say it because it's just so um, sad. Mm. Yesterday, um, I was, uh, after my taravi and me, my mom, And my fa- family members, we made uh, dua together, li- li- like we do every night. And I look forward to it so much. I finish from here, takes me two hours to get home. I get home, I do my wudu, and the prayer mats are all laid out. And you know, I do my isha, and I do my taravis, because they had finished by then. And they wait for witr salah, we do witr salah together. Then we make a long collective uh, a dua. Not just dua in the sense that we make dua, but we go to the sujood. And you know, you feel refreshed. You feel, you know what, I've, I've, you know, I've ended my night um, in a nice way, Sahri se pehle, you know. And Sahri se pehle, sometimes what happens, mom's still awake, so she's in her room reading her Quran. You can, I, can hear, I can hear her from my area, and she will call me down, you know, come down, let's make another dua. Put a mic room, pijake, you know, we make another dua in her room. And it, it's just satisfying, because Sahri se pehle, you've done so much. Uh, you, you know, and that's the way it, it should be, and that's the way it's been my Ramadan. Otherwise, I feel it's not enough. Absolutely. You know, once you've, you've, you've made a habit of doing something and you don't do it, it feels like, you know, you, you, there's something missing. There's something Absolutely. missing. Absolutely. And, uh, and this moment in time, we have to do, uh, do this. You know, appeal is not just enough. Mm-hmm. Me standing here and doing appeal and trying to encourage people to donate is not enough. No. Yeah, no. We have to yani, uh, combine a dua with this and it all has to work uh, together, inshallah. And something will surely come out of this. Something will surely come out of this. A 13-year-old girl, the way uh, she was kidnapped and starved for five days, and uske baad, us 13-year-old ke saath kya hua, I don't want to go into that. No, I do not want to go into that because it's just devastation. And imagine uske baad, she was thrown after being used, you know, in a such a bad way, horrific way, and then the father took her to the hospital, whether she lived or not, wallahu alam bis sawab. But uh, the situation is like that, a 13-year-old, 13, terasal, 13-year-old, the, um, the way she was hand, uh, um, handled and treated is, is beyond expectation. Or is that not only girls, but boys ke saath bhi. Uh, uh, um, you know, and there are so many, so many incidents, people, jo aap bhi shayad, social media pe ja ke, you hear these interviews, people coming on and saying exactly what happened. And, uh, you know, it's heartbreaking, you know, and I don't know, I don't have words to um, speak or say, you know, what, what, they, go, what, what they actually go through. It's, 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 it's very hard to Yanni it's here, it's, it's, um, it's very difficult. So let us, let us at least, viewers, may I say, yeah, kahunga, um, when we do an appeal, you know, if you have donated, Allah bless you. Wallahi, Ameen. Allah bless you for your donation and for Allah bless you for the duas that you are making. Lekin aur bhi baut saare log hain, jo is waqt TV ke saamne hain, aur aap se hum ye appeal karne, that come forward people and let's give as much as we can in this blessed month of Ramadan. Call in the studio, 0208-662-4550, before run, aap call kare. Subhanallah, absolutely, and... Brothers and sisters, when Mulan Sahib is saying, you know, these people have not been suffering since October 7th. You know, they have been suffering for a very, very long time. And you know, I actually have a list of all the massacres that have taken place in Palestine. Mm. 
And subhanAllah, you know, I, I just want to go quickly. The, 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 subhanAllah, about 27 on, li on this list, right? You got the Hebron massacre, 1929. Yeah. You got the Haifa massacre, 1937. Yeah. Jerusalem massacre, 1937. Haifa massacre again, 1938. Balad sheikh massacre, 1939. Haifa massacre, 1939. Haifa massacre, 1947. Abbasiyah massacre, 1947. Al-Qisas massacre, 1947. Babel Amut massacre, 1947. Jerusalem massacre, 1947. Sheikh Burek massacre, 1947. Jaffa massacre, 1948. Tantura massacre, 1948. Deir Yassin massacre, 1948. Khan Yunus massacre, 1950. Jerusalem Massacre 1967, Sabra and Shatila Massacre 1982, Al-Aqsa Massacre 1990, Ibrahimi Mosque Massacre 1994, Janine Refugee Camp in April 2022, Gaza Massacre 2008 and 9, then Gaza again 2012, Gaza 2014, Gaza 2018 and 19, Gaza 2021, and Gaza Genocide 2023 which is still ongoing. Ongoing. SubhanAllah. When you look at, SubhanAllah, what these people have been facing and going for, again, this is not just about Gaza. You know, don't be deluded that this is a, a Gaza thing. They are going through all of this because this is uh, the land of Al-Aqsa. This is the land uh, that SubhanAllah promised, not for, SubhanAllah, a specific group only. This is a, a religious place for the Muslims. This is also important for the Jewish community and the Christian community. That's why when the Muslims took over Jerusalem at the uh, reign of Umar ibn Khattab, عنه, he actually ordered to bring 80 families into, uh, yeah. into Al-Aqsa. You know, yeah. bring them, because this is part of their religious tradition as well. Inko, don't ke leke don't ke leke Go don't and ke leke find ya. these these families and bring them back to Jerusalem. Why are they not here? Exactly. Mm. And then subhanAllah, when... The, uh, when, 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 when the, uh, what do you call that, you know, when they came and, and they took over Laksa again, they subhanAllah killed and murdered everyone. SubhanAllah, when, what do you call those again, the, the Templar Knights and, 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 and the whole thing they did. SubhanAllah, when they came and took over, uh, the Christians came and they took over Laksa again. The, the Not the no, Romans, no, no, no. The, I've got the name, SubhanAllah. It's not coming to my mind. But come. the Templar Knights and yeah. the Christian army, basically, yeah. that was sent. Crusaders. The Crusaders. Crusaders. When the Crusaders arrived at Jerusalem, they came in Jerusalem and they murdered every yeah. single person. You know, they, in, in the narrations mentioned that we have we, uh, we, we, we spilled so much blood that the streets of Jerusalem were flowing with blood. Imagine that. It was flowing with blood. That's, what, that's, that's how much blood there was, subhanAllah, that they shed in Al-Aqsa. And when Salahuddin Ayyubi, rahimahullah, arrived and conquered Al-Aqsa again and he entered. What did he do, my brothers and sisters? The justice, they, they were scared that they, the Muslims are going to come and take revenge from us, that's what we did. They're going to come and they're going to kill our children. You know, they, they got so scared that people started to commit suicide. Yeah. People committed suicide because they thought, you know what, it's better to die than to, to be tortured to death by these Muslims. But when Salahuddin Ayyubi entered, he, he in fact, subhanAllah, not only did he tell them that you have a safe passage to leave from here, and we will in fact protect you, and we'll send your own army with you to protect you, but subhanAllah, he allowed families, whoever, who, you know, were not any harm to the place, they allowed them to stay. Safe and, haven for them. Yes, yeah, safe haven. And then again, during the, the, the Salahuddin Ayyubi, he ordered the Jewish community to return again because they were, you know, ex uh, executed and killed and, 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 uh, and you know, exiled from Jerusalem when the Christians came. So the Muslims brought the Jews back, subhanAllah, and told them, you are safe here now. And for example, you know, Salahuddin goes into one of the churches and he takes the cross, you know, one of the, uh, and, and that was the cross they said Jesus, uh, they, they hung Jesus on. So they said, that is the cross. So instead of going in there and destroying everything from the Christians, he took it off with respect. He placed it in a box. He, uh, you know, closed the box and he handed it over to the Christians. This, this is your amana. You know, this is how the Muslims have treated the community in that space. And then again in 1948, 47, in 1940s and the 30s, when the Nazis were killing the Jews, they were committing a genocide of the Jewish community. It was the Palestinians that opened their arms and said, come and live in these, in these lands. You know, you, you, there's still uh, images of the Jewish community arriving with big banners saying that, uh, you know, don't do us what the Germans did to us, what the Nazis did to us, you know, yeah. have mercy on us. You know, don't do what the Europe did to us. 
Subhanallah. So it was the Palestinians that opened their arms to these people and said, you know, come, you're allowed to come and live here. Live here with respect and dignity. But subhanallah, today we can see how evil has overtaken subhanallah that land and how they are subhanallah bombing innocent children. They are bombing women. 70% of the people that have been killed in Gaza, 70% have been women and children. Yeah. 70%. 70% my brothers and sisters, that's not a small percentage. That's the majority of the people that have been killed in Gaza are women and children. And there was a time when a Muslim, you know, Al-Mu'tasim, you know, there's a woman in the Roman lands, in one of the areas in, in, that was under the control of the Byzantines and the Romans. She was imprisoned in, falsely, right, Without, wrongly. And she was crying out, Wa Mu'tasima, Wa Mu'tasima. Look what they're doing to your Muslim sister. And when the local, uh, the, the leader heard of this, and he came and he said, you know, do you think Mu'tasim is going to come and save you and help you, and he's going to come with his army on black and white horses to save you, uh, mockingly. But when this news reached Al-Mu'tasim, when he heard of this, that one Muslim sister, one Muslim sister has been imprisoned, and they are mocking her, and they, the way they're treating her, Mu'tasim left straight away with an army on black and white horses. Not only did he go and save her, they conquered the entire land. They conquered the entire land and when he entered the prison, he said, Oh woman, Mu'tasim is here on his black and white horse. This is, my brothers and sisters, the izza, the honor, the ghayra, the ghira the men had. Today, my brothers and sisters, our women, our women, our girls, our boys, our women are being, subhanAllah, la billah, but they're being raped. You know what they're doing? They're putting the men in a line, they're putting the women in a line, they're telling every single one of them, take your clothes off and look at each other. And if you don't look at each other, we're going to shoot you. They are saying, who is the honorable from amongst you? Or when they grab a woman and she says, I'm honorable, they take them specially to the side. Because you're honorable in society, you come with me. You're honorable, you come with me. You're honorable, who else is honorable from his women? If someone says, I'm honorable in my community, they take her as well. And they take her clothes off and they say, everyone look at her. This is your honor. This is what's happening with our women, my brothers and sisters. Not Palestinian women, our women. Our women, our children, our girls and boys. You know, these, these borders have, subhanAllah, divided us. But there are no borders for the Muslims. They are as much as our brothers and sisters in Palestine, as much as our brothers in Yemen, as much as our brothers and sisters in Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, China, you know, and wherever in the Middle East, in Europe, if you have said the kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, you're part of this family. And we are going to be there for you and we are going to look after you. And today, when they, today have been being starved to death, Starved to death. You know, they have announced that the UN, UNRWA, they are not allowed to take any of the trucks to the north of Gaza anymore. They are not allowed to take the trucks to the north of Gaza anymore. So the only, the only aid that is reaching the north of Gaza is through these charities like Al Khair Foundation now. And I can tell you, majority of the charities that are delivered in Gaza, in the north of Gaza especially, are doing to Al Khair Foundation through our kitchens, because we have an infrastructure in place which other charities don't have. Because our leadership had the foresight to be opening all of these places throughout Gaza. You know, many charities have one office and they have one warehouse. We have warehouses all across Gaza. We have kitchens all across Gaza. Because we know when a situation like this arises, we need to have something in place in the different areas within Gaza. When other charities were trying to find a way into Gaza, Al Khair Foundation, not on the 7 October, 6 October, 7 October, 8 October, 9 October, our trucks were going in. I think 9 they closed it, I think, but 6, 7, 8, our trucks, convoys of aid was going in already. Not because, you know, we decided a day early to send, because we have been sending convoys into Gaza since well before 2018. Our entire hospital that was built in Gaza was built using material imported. So we have. Alhamdulillah, an experience when it comes to delivery in, 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 in Gaza. But we don't stop there. You know, we could have said, Alhamdulillah, so far over 250, almost 300 trucks have entered Gaza. And, you know, Alhamdulillah, our work is going great, amazing. Let's, you know, chill because the system is working now. People are donating, appeals are happening, and the trucks are going. Alhamdulillah, I'm not going to No. 
What have we done now? We thought, okay, the people of Gaza are starving. What shall we do now? How can we get more aid into Gaza? What can we do to get more of food items and tents and all these items into Gaza? What can we do? Okay, we found the Abu Salim crossing. Abu Salim crossing isn't crossing in Israel. They are allowing more trucks to enter from that border. How can we reach that border? Okay, let's go to Jordan. We partnered up with the kings, King Hussein's personal own organization. We partnered up with the king's organization. And we are using the Jordanian army. Not subhanAllah, you know, just uh, here and there and trying to figure something out. We are working with subhanAllah the top level. We are working with the Jordanian army. We are using their planes. We are taking, we are filling those planes, insha- alhamdulillah. It's going to the Al-Arish airport. It is because of the system that they put in place for the airports. Our aid is reaching the borders of Abu Salim and they're letting it through. Because subhanAllah, when, on the 25th of March, I'll give you an example. On the 25th of March, from the Rafah border, 155 trucks entered. 155 trucks entered. But from the Abu Salim border in, in Israel, they allowed 237 uh, trucks to enter. So they're allowing more trucks to enter from that, that part. It could be political reasons, it could be whatever reasons it is, but that is the reality. So, but even though this is more expensive, one pallet is costing us 5,000 pounds, my brothers and sisters. 5,000, well, not us, it's costing you 5,000 pounds. It's costing the whole operation, it's more expensive, 20% more expensive than using trucks. One may say, oh, why are, you, why are you doing the more expensive part then? Because we are not here to save money. We are here to save lives. We are here to save lives. And if we find tomorrow another way, and it's 30 and 40% more expensive, we are going to take that route. Because we know we can get you aid to Gaza, and we know our donors, that they are going to come forward and they are going to give. And this Saturday, this Saturday, our next plane is leaving. And many, many people have donated entire pallets. But there are still pallets which are, un, which are not donated for. We need you to come forward and start donating towards these pallets. If you are a business, if you are an organization, a masjid, a school, a volunteers group, a whatever, a group of friends, a group of investors, a group of whatever you are, and you can get 5,000 pounds together by yourself or by a group of people, we honestly, and, and I'm not saying it in any other way, we are begging you, to come forward and to give because the people of Gaza are relying on this food to survive. Children, women, grandmothers, grandfathers. SubhanAllah, imagine my brothers and sisters, there's a grandmother, she's 80, 90 years of age. She has got her, her, both her sons, her daughters, her da- daughter-in-laws, all have, have been murdered and killed. And now she's got, SubhanAllah, three, four small babies. She's got five, six toddlers. And she's the only responsible. How much stress, stress is she going through? I've seen a video of a woman and we showed you on screen of a grandmother. She's sitting there and she's got leaves in front of her and she's watching and she's cutting the leaves. And while she's cutting, she's just crying. She's crying. And the cameraman sees her and, 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 and she records it because, you know, oh mother, why are you crying? She goes, because I have nothing to feed my children. I've got nothing to my, my, my sons have died, my daughters have died, everyone has died, my grandchildren I have to look after, how am I supposed to feed them? He goes, I have to feed them these leaves. They are boiling the leaves, they're making a little stew out of it, and uh, getting some lemons or whatever other thing they can find, and they get some bread, which is sometimes not even uh, new bread, it's subhanAllah, days old bread, which has become hard, and they're using that to eat and, 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 and to, to f- fill themselves up. Whilst another grandfather, they asked him on camera, again we showed these videos in the past to you. They said, you know, they said, oh, ma- mashallah, you've got a beautiful smile. You've got a beautiful smile. And the grandfather said, you know, because you smile at me, I, have to, I smile back at you. And, and, he, and, 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 and he goes, uh, you know, what are you, gonna ha- what are you having for iftari tonight? He goes, the same thing I had for suhoor. And he said, what was that? He goes, water. They are closing and opening their fast with water. This is reality, my brothers and sisters. And then, in contrast, in contrast, look at our Dastar Khan when we sit for food. The amount of food as Alhamdulillah, in and Alhamdulillah, it's there. But the fact that it's there, it should make us realize that eight minutes, if I'm having this food here, all of this food here in front of me, what are my brothers and sisters in Gaza going through right now? Have I given something to them? Have I given something for them? 
Have I, you know, sacrificed maybe some of this food? If I couldn't do anything else, maybe could have, I could have sacrificed all the samosas and the pakoras and just gone to the main, main, main meal instead. And all the money that I'm spending on the pakoras and the samosas and all the rest, I could have sent it to, uh, to Gaza. This is how, really, I'm not saying that, like, you know, you, you start, you know, throwing everything away you have. And what I'm saying is we need to have that thicker in us. We need to respond. What do you think, Mulana? No, I, I agree, uh, um, Harun. And it's, it's, um, it's so hard, really, to digest what's going on Absolutely. in Gaza, you know. And the more we speak about it, the more hard it gets. And the more images and videos we see on social media, the difficult it gets. But, um, you know, we feel a, a, peace, um, a peace of mind when we come here in front of the camera and we speak to you or phir aap se ye baatein share karte hain and aapko ye batate hain phir that look guys what shall we do hum aage is pe tarakki kaise kare how do we go forward and th this is when we expect hamara viewers call karke bar char ke food pack ke liye bhi beshak aap donations dein uh, iftar meals ke liye bhi beshak donations dein inko tents bhi chahiye rehne ke liye to tents ke liye bhi ab aage aaye and medical yani jo case hai ya medical box hai uske liye bhi aage aaye sanitation ke liye bhi aage aaye taaki apne aap ko wo yani park saaf bhi kar sake so there are many many packages al khair foundation can offer but those packages people requires us to come forward and donate isliye aap se sab viewers se main kehna chahta hu that call in Call into the hotline, call in here in the studio and tell us, share with us what you've seen on social media. Or is kill up kya karre? What are you doing about what you can see? As you can see, the Gaza food here, five a um, hundred pounds for a food. Donate for Gaza food, hundred pounds for a food, two hundred and fifty pounds for hygiene, Jesame Abikaha, five hundred pounds for jo medical killer. 2,500 pounds sponsor half a pallet, 5,000 pounds ke zariye se sponsor full pallet with your name displayed, right? Now name displayed, it's going to be there, but that's not really important at this time, in my opinion. Mm. Yes, it's there to, yani, aapko kuch motivation dene ke liye, but really and truly, 5,000 pounds dene ke liye viewers me se, how many people are out there that can give a full pallet? Because is waqt, hame full pallet ke zoro te. Haan, beshak, baaki chizon ke andar aap donate kar sakte. 100, 250, 500, 2,500, half a pallet. I'm looking at the last two. Last two ke liye, हमारे व्यूअर्स में से कितने लोग आ सकते हैं और अगर ये हाइजीन अगर ये मेडिकल है इसके लिए भी 500 पर इक्तिफा ना करें बल्कि हजार दें यू नो गिव 1500 गिव 2000 गिव 5000 how many people out there ye jo list yahan par hai is list ko ada karne ke liye how many people can come forward that's what i want to hear from you because the people in gaza are starving the people in gaza they do not have anything whatsoever aur ye bilkul baat pakki hai now the only way they will get some form of aid the only way they will get some form of support and something to eat so they can save their lives and the lives of their children and prevent them from dying is if we provide 5,000 pounds full pallet unko hum desake. So come forward and dial the number 03000-999-786-0208-662-4550 Jo studio number hai and tell us who will be the next person line pay, next person to say I will give one full pallet. Aap mein se kitne log tayyar hai? How many people are ready for this? Aagi aayin and think about Gaza. Think about our situation here in this country, alhamdulillah, we have everything. Hum daawat bhi karte hain. We feed, yani, jo family members hain, iftar party karte hain, iftar daawat karte hain. By all means, do that. Enjoy karein. Lekin jab jama honge, unko bhi yaad karein. Jab jama honge, jitne afraad ko ab daawat denge, unse so, do so, paanch so, wusool karein. Wusool karke, throw it towards 5,000 pounds towards the full pallet. That's what that daawat should be really aimed at. Aisa nahi hai, ke sab ko daawat denge, iftar party karein ge, and you 
eat as much as you can and then apne apne gharo pe chale jate hain but make the daawat yani worthwhile abhi jo halat duniya ke andar hai any daawat that we do we have to make it worthwhile chole kol ki taraf chalte hain assalam alaikum assalam alaikum assalam alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullah ji kahan se baat kar rahi hain aap ji main na sausal se baat kar rahi hu ha ji मैंने ना डोनेट करने थे पैसे हाँ जी मैंने 200 सौ पाउंड डोनेट करने हैं दो सौ जजाक जी दो सौ पाउंड के लिए आप जो है कॉल सेंटर पर भी कॉल कीजिएगा जीरो थ्री थाउजेंड ट्रिपल नाइन सेवन एट सिक्स और कोई मैसेज देना चाहेंगे आप मैसेज बस यही होगी कि अल्लाह अल्लाह हम सब को अल्लाह हदायत दे उनके लिए दुआए करे हम सब موسیقی How they are living their lives. ये सोचने वाली बात है. Think about the fact हमारे viewers में से जो afford कर सकते हैं, जिनके पास माशाल्लाह माली ताकत है, and they can afford it. Five thousand pound आपके लिए अगर कुछ नहीं है, तो आप call करके five thousand pound for a full pallet दीजिए. Inshallah, you will be saving. You do not know how many lives. You do not know how many lives आप save करेंगे. So this is the aim we should have and the intention we should have so i really want hamar viewers mein se kon hai next who will be next mashallah sautol se call aayi hai who will be the next person in line to call and make a big donation inshallah especially those people dekhiye main saaf keh raha hu aapko jo log afford kar sakte hain jo log nahi kar sakte hain aapko main push nahi kar raha hu whatever amount you can donate aap call karke wo amount donate zarur kare lekin 5000 ke liye how many people are ready We want many, many five thousand pounds because the cargo is going on Saturday, mashallah. You know, and we want to send many more cargoes. We want to send many more cargoes. But when it will happen? When our viewers will give us five thousand pounds for full pallet, two and a half thousand pounds for half pallet, and the rest will be in front of you, mashallah. Here, here, on the screen. So pick up the phone, dial the number, and do not hesitate. Ab himmat karein because we are here for the people of Gaza. Absolutely, and Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, uh, you know we are here and we are waiting for your next call. Whoever's going to call in, and they're going to say we want to drink five thousand. Call it, Mr. Harun. Call it. Ha. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jee, kahan se baat kar rahi hain ab? Main Skantop se baat kar rahi hain. Skantop se baat kar rahi hain ab. خریت سے ہیں آپ الحمدللہ جی 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 کیا بتائیں گے آپ سٹوڈیو میں بترو کیا ہے ہاں یہ سٹوڈیو یہ ابھی اس وقت آپ سٹوڈیو میں ہے جی جی ٹھیک ہے میں ایک ہزار پاؤنڈ ڈونیٹ کرنے جاتی ہوں ایک ہزار پاؤنڈ ڈونیٹ کرنے جزاک اللہ جی اور ایک ہزار پاؤنڈ غزہ کے لیے نا جی 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 غزہ کے لیے اور کوئی میسیج ہے بس دعا کیجئے جگہ اللہ تعالیٰ ہمیں اور بھی توفیق دے تاکہ ہم ان کے کام آ سکیں بلکل جی بلکل آپ اس طرح بھی کیجئے گا پلیز ہوت لائن پر کھول کیجئے گا اور وہاں پر کھول کر کے بتا دی جو ان کو تھاؤزن پاؤنڈ آپ ڈونیٹ کر رہی ہیں اوکے ہمارے لیے بھی دعا کیجئے گا ضرور پیری فیملی کے لیے ضرور اللہ بلیس کرے فیملی کو جزاکم اللہ دعا میں یاد رکھیں گے آپ کو انشاءاللہ نو ڈاؤٹ جزاکاللہ سکانتوب سے کھول آئی ہیں ایک تاؤزن پاؤنڈ لیٹس آف مو پیپل حارون کھولیں گے the most important thing here حارون is that we have ہمارے ویورز we have a great chance absolutely because مولانا قاسم is doing amazing enormous work and the way he is doing his work is on the screen absolutely apparent hai bilkul bilkul so really and truly hamare viewers mein se next call main sunna chahta hu mashallah dekhe 200 pounds se 1000 pounds from scantop who will be next 
ہو ول سی کہ میں پانچ ہزار انشاءاللہ دینے کے لیے تیار ہوں فل پلٹ اس طرح ہمیں متعدد لوگ چاہیے مینی مینی پیپل دیٹ کین کھول ان افورڈ یاد رکھیں یو آر فیڈنگ ٹو سیو لائفز دس از اے منیمم بے منیمم ہم یہاں انگلینڈ بیٹھ کے کر سکتے ہیں اس سے زیادہ ہم سے نہیں ہوگا وٹ ایلس کین وی ڈو ادر دین گیو your money your hard earned money your nafli sadqat inshallah your zakat inshallah to the people of gaza <coughs> and save lives through al khair foundation we had, we have, number 4 in milan we have our donors alhamdulillah are giving in a part of allah you know we just had shumi ali who was given towards uh, the gaza up emergency appeal 2000 pounds mashallah we have mahmoud ati who was given to the palestine appeal 150 pounds may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept we have arjuman bano rahim who was given 500 pounds towards the gaza appeal in between we have many other projects that people are giving to as well i'm just reading out the specific ones for gaza we also have liaqat sheikh who was given 100 pounds we have Khairiya uh, Marikar, we have Rizana Nazir, we have Alhamdulillah Ramadan Kitchen Majid Malid, Farzana Qamar, Parveen Akhtar. SubhanAllah, so many many people are coming forward. Imtiyaz Muhammad, Shafi Jamal, Nasreen Zahid, Imtiyaz Virasat, Mahmoud Khawaja, Pauline Begum, Wajid Hussain, Imtiyaz Khan. Alhamdulillah, the, the donations are coming in. Alhamdulillah, people are giving. But we want you to take part in also the appeal, inshallah. So alongside the donation hotline, inshallah, come forward, come into, call, in, call into the studio. Mulasa, what's the studio number? 0208 Yes, call into this number, inshallah. Speak to us, speak to the rest of uh, all of us, inshallah. This is a joint effort. This is not an effort from me and Mulana. This is not an effort from just Al Khair Foundation. This is a joint effort from you and us and all of us together. We are one team. And let's call into the studio. Let's get this appeal going so everyone at home gets inspired by you as well. Alhamdulillah. See, we had the first caller. After the first caller, the other callers got inspired and they start calling to the studio as well. And then, subhanAllah, when you will call, many more people will get inspired and more people call to the donation hotline than the studio hotline. So you don't even know the amount of rewards that you are getting. You, you can't even realize the amount of donations that are written in your name, even though, subhanAllah, you haven't spent a penny from those donations. But this is uh, the beautiful thing, the one that directs another person towards good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward, reward that person with the, as the same amount without taking any reward away from the person that donated in the first place. This is the mercy, the, 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 the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, get in Allah ki khazana mein kukami nahi hai. Right? It is not that uh, we are going to spend our money and Allah will have to distribute it accordingly because there's a certain amount He can only distribute. No. Allah gives with ghayri hisab. There is no hisab for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gives to whoever He wishes and however much He wishes. So to some He gives a lot, to some He gives a, a bit less, but He gives to everyone. He gives to everyone and it's all upon our intention. The hadith uh, that we learn and subhanAllah, the first hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari is إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ that all of your actions depend upon your intention. All of your actions depend upon your intention. So make the intention. Make sure your intention is right. That, Ya Allah, I'm giving this for your sake. I'm giving this for your sake, for your happiness. I'm doing this because you have, subhanAllah, put a test on them and on us. And I'm trying to fulfill that, that responsibility, that covenant, that oath I've taken with you, that you are my Rabb. And when you have become my Rabb, I believe in you, I trust you, I, I rely on you. And this is, subhanAllah, that we all, uh, it's something that we all have to do, my brothers and sisters. Straight away, we want the next person to call in straight away. Call the studio hotline. Call the studio hotline, we are waiting and uh, you know you have to be careful today because today you know you've got the Karamul Katibin in front of you. The one that's uh, writing the Hasanat and one that's writing the Sayyat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> he's got one in white and uh, I got just by All chance in, 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 in complete black. So it looks like you know he's writing the Hasanat today and I'm writing the Sayyat. I'm the lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> You're the lucky I'm one. I'm the today. fortunate one. <laughs> Subhanallah. Hopefully you know it's the month of Ramadan and I don't have to write much today. No. Uh, I hope you're more busier today. Inshallah. But Alhamdulillah brothers and sisters please keep donating, keep supporting. You know I have a we are going to go on a break, so inshallah we're going to show you, uh, you know, some uh, stuff later after break. But uh, inshallah, brothers and sisters, you know, the prices are here right next to me. You can give towards all of these items, and these are specific prices for the air cargo. Again, just to explain it to you, these are specific prices for the air cargo, which is leaving this Saturday. 
So by this Saturday, we need to have uh, the funds ready. In fact, we need it before that. So today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. So there's not much time left, my brothers and sisters. If you want to donate, you have to donate right now. 100 pounds towards the food, 250 pounds towards hygiene, 500 pounds towards medical, 2,500 uh, half a pallet, 5,000 pounds full pallet. Again, my brothers and sisters, if you, for example, cannot, you know, you've got 2,000 pounds and you haven't got 2,500, it doesn't mean that, okay, you have to go to the 500 pound one. It means give 2,000 pounds. Inshallah, we will take your money and we will, inshallah, arrange it that it, there's a full pallet ready and there's enough food packs on there and that will be in your name, inshallah, as well. So let's come together. Let's, let's take a call. There's a call. Let's, a call. let's take the call. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum, assalam. Ji, ji, Kaza. Are you talking about Rehan? Yes, افغانستان میں جی میرے بیٹے کا نام ہے آجی فیزف خان رسول شہید ان کے نام کی مسجد دو سال ہو گئے ہیں میری بات ہوئی تھی وہ دوسرے پائی جو ہیں آپ کے نام ان کا پور گئی ہوں انہوں نے میرے سے بات کی تھی جی 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 آج میں بات کر رہی ہوں آپ وہ ووٹر ہینڈ پامپ لگاتے ہیں پاکستان میں تھار میں کراچی میں جہاں پر بہت زیادہ تکلیف ہے پانی کی ہاں جی ہم ووٹر ہینڈ پامپ لگاتے ہیں لگاتے ہیں مگر اس کا لوکیشن ہم سپیسیفکلی ہم آپ کو پرومس نہیں کریں گے کہ آپ کا اسی علاقہ میں لگے گا ہمارے ٹیم نے اسسسمنٹ کی ہوئی ہیں تو جہاں جہاں پر ضرورت ہیں وہاں پر لگاتے جا رہے ہیں تو ایکزیکلی ہم پورے پاکستان میں لگا رہے ہیں ہم جہاں پانی کی زیادہ تکلیف ہے وہ پاکستان بھی ہے اور بھی کیا کہتے ہیں وہ خامران میں بھی ہے بہت ساری جگہ ہیں بہت ساری جگہ پر پانی کی ضرورت ہے تو وہاں پر ہر جگہ پر جہاں جہاں ہماری ٹیم نے اسسسمنٹ کی ہوئی ہے وہاں پر ہم لگا رہے ہیں مگر جب آپ دونیشن دیتا جاتی ہے سپیسیفکلی ایک لوکیشن سندھ کے پاس ایک گاؤں ہے جو پورا گاؤں جل کے آخر پتہ نا بکریاں بھی سب کچھ ان کا گھر بھی جل کے ہیں تو وہاں پر اگر آپ ووٹر پمپ لگا دیں تو وہاں وہاں نہیں ٹھیک رہے گا جی بالکل ٹھیک رہے گا ٹھیک رہے گا مگر سپیسیفک کیونکہ پھر مشکل ہو جاتا ہے امپلیمنٹیشن میں کہ اگر ہماری ڈونر سپیسیفک جگہ کہیں کہ ہم نے وہاں پر لگانا ہے تو ہمارے لیے کیونکہ جس طریقے سے ہم نے سسٹم لگائے ہوئے ہیں جہاں چاہاں ہم پر ضرورت ہیں وہاں لگاتے جا رہے ہیں مگر انشاءاللہ ہم آپ ہم سے بات کر لیں انشاءاللہ آپ عبداللہ خان سے بات کر لیں انشاءاللہ دونیشن اولائن پر کول کریں 03000-99786 پر تو عبداللہ خان آپ سے بات کروں گی اگر آپ کو پیسے دوں تو آپ میرے بچے کا نام لکھوا دیں گے میرے بچے آج اکیز فرخان اسے شہید ہو چکے ہیں اللہ کو پیارے ہو چکے ہیں دو سال ہو گئے جن کے نام کی مسجد بنی افغانستان میں پانچ ہزار پونٹ دیا میں نے امام قاسم صاحب اس کو مسجد کہتے ہیں بن رہی ہے بہت ساری مسجدیں آپ بنوا رہے ہیں آپ انشاءاللہ اگر آپ عبداللہ خان سے بات کر لیں اس کے بارے میں میری بات تھوڑی سی سن لیں پلیز تھوڑا سا ٹائم دیں نا مجھے پلیز پلیز ایسا کریں کہ میرے بچے کا جہاں آپ بوٹر پمپ لگائیں نا ہینڈ بوٹر پمپ وہاں نام لکھوا سکتے ہیں تختی لگا کے جی 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 بلکل لگاتے ہیں بلکل 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 تو پھر آپ نے وعدہ کیا تو لگا کے فوٹو مجھے بھیجے نا پلیز ٹھیک ہے اب اس طرح کیجئے اب ایسا کریں اب جو عبداللہ کو جانتی ہے نا آپ آپ کو بھی جانتی ہو ریان بول رہے ہیں نا جی جی بول رہا ہوں جی آپ عبداللہ کو فون کر لیں 03000-99786 اور یہ ساری باتیں جو ہے عبداللہ سے آپ شیئر کریں اور انشاءاللہ وہ لکھ لیں گے اور جو میں نے دینا ہے اپنا فدیا دینا ہے ہاں جی دو سترانے دینے ہیں آپ ہی کو دے دوں آج ہی جی بالکل دے دیجئے بالکل دے دیجئے بالکل دے دیجئے لیکن دینے کے لیے اس نمبر پر کول کریں آپ کون سا نمبر ہے اب سکرین پر ہے 03000 آہ میرے بیٹے کو پتا چل گیا ہاں اسی نمبر پر کریں لیکن مجھے نسید بھی بیٹھ گیا ہوگی میرے ووٹر پمپ لگا کے مجھے فوٹو ضرور چاہیے ہوگی جی ضرور 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 انشاءاللہ اور ریان دعا فرما دینا پلیز دعا فرما دینا ابھی ابھی دعا فرما دینا ٹھیک ہے نا ضرور دعا کریں گے جی آپ کے لئے میرے لئے میرے بچوں کے لئے میری بیٹوں کے لئے غم کا عالم میں پریشانی ہے ہمیں صبر کی دعا بھی کرنا ضرور آمین بیمار رہنے لگ گئی ہوں میری بیماری کے لئے بھی دعا کرنا میرے بچوں کے لئے بھی دعا کرنا پلیز بہت سائی دائیں کرنا امام قاسم صاحب کو میرا سلام کہہ دینا پلیز ان سے میرا بولنا وہ بھی میرے لئے سپیشل دعا کریں ٹھیک ہے نا میرے لئے میرے بچوں کے لئے میری بیٹیوں کے لئے پیٹوں کے لئے غم کا عالم ہے ریان پوز دعا کریں میرا جوان بچہ سرٹی ایٹ چلا گیا اللہ کو پیارا ہو گیا اللہ ان کو جنت جنت میں میرا بچہ آج کال اتقاف کی تیاری کر رہا ہوتا تھا 
مسجد میں اس کا بیٹھا کرتا تھا جی 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 پہلی صاف میں تراوی پہلی صاف میں نماز جمعہ قرآن پاک پورا ختم کیا کرتا تھا اس کے ہاتھوں کا قرآن میں پڑھتی ہوں تھوڑا تھوڑا جی جی دعا کریں پلیز 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 دعا کرنا بہت ضرور 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 کریں تو اب کیا کروں بہت شکریہ کا اور میں آپ کو دے دیتی ہوں پیسے اور پیسے لے کے بھی دعا کرنا جہاں جہاں میں بولوں گی وہاں دے دینا انشاءاللہ انشاءاللہ جی جی بہت شکریہ ریان آپ کو اور دوسرے پائی صاحب کا نام ہی پتا آپ کی تمام پوری ٹیم کو سب کو میری طرف سے سلام آپ کو بھی جی تینکیو سو مچ تینکیو جی آپ بھی دعا میں یاد رکھیں اللہ بلیس یو اللہ بلیس یو فیملی اور جو بچہ ہیں ان کو جنت الفردوس نصیب کریں اللہ اور جو بھی پریشانی ہے اللہ دور فرمائیں اور جو بھی مسائب ہے اللہ دور فرمائیں انشاءاللہ اور جس مقصد کے لئے آپ ڈونیٹ کر رہے ہیں انشاءاللہ ان مقاصد کو اللہ پوری فرمائے جزاکم اللہ جی آسان الجزا تینکیو سو مچ الحمدللہ الحمدللہ اگر آپ نے دونیٹ کی ہاند پم فرمائے آپ نے دونیٹ کی ہاند پم اور آپ نے دونیٹ کی ہاند پم اور آپ نے دونیٹ کی ہاند پم اور آپ نے دونیٹ کی has to be given to a specific family, for example, uh, non-sakat, sadaqa one can be put out in the open. So our team knows best where to put those locations. Uh, you know, we, we cannot take your specific request that I want in a specific location uh, because, you know, it's, 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 it's not our terminal system. We have a specific system in place and we'll have to work according to that so we can work in the best possible way. Otherwise, you know, we'll have delays and, and all of that mm -hmm. will start happening and people will become unhappy. So we have a, put, put a new system in place and we're following that system to make sure that everyone's uh, hand pumps and water wells and everything else is being done uh, in the best possible way and as soon as possible. You know, Alhamdulillah, our family did some, you know, I got the uh, reports, the hand pump and the water wells that we put on, you know, I've got them, I know where they are in Pakistan, the entire report uh, we received, Alhamdulillah. So, you know, whatever you spend, wherever you spend, Alhamdulillah, it is being, uh, you know, fulfilled, it is being delivered. And we have been doing this now for many, many years, so we have experience. You know, of course, Mulan Sabda is just like in every, any business, any department, any organization, there's always place for improvement. There's always space for, uh, you know, th doing things a better way, and we are always working on that. Hmm. That's why you have a, a returns department. In every store, in every organization, you have a d returns department. Because there's always unhappy customers. There's always people, you know, maybe they're not happy with the way it was done. So, you know, complaints will always be there, no matter how amazing you are as an organization. So, you know, Alhamdulillah, it's a journey and we are all on this together and inshallah we will continue this my brothers and sisters but right now we need their focus on Gaza we need more people to come forward and give towards Gaza let me also refresh this and see how many more of our brothers and sisters have given because we are inshallah having an eye on you uh, like I said this is the uh, you know the kitab that we are writing all your good deeds in and uh, this, uh, this is where it's appearing alhamdulillah we had Peer Khan mashallah given uh, just now towards the Gaza appeal, 250 pounds. We had Raiz Khan given 100 pounds towards uh, emergency appeal and a gift pack for 25 pounds. We had, subhanAllah, Jawad Akhtar Seti, who has given 5,000 pounds. Subhanallah. subhanAllah, towards an entire pallet. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your donation. Uh, wallahi, what you just have done, we don't realize. You know, for us, it was money that we spent. But when this food and these pallets arrives to the people of Gaza, uh, this is something Amazing. that we can never truly appreciate and understand that this is what we are doing. And, and uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, when we read the Quran, you know, there's, there's a surah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, describes the people of Jannah. And he, 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 he subhanahu first says that these people are those who believe in Allah and they feed others for the sake of Allah only. Liwajhillah. We only f feed you for the sake of Allah. We want no jaza and no shukur. We want no thanks and jazakallah from you. We want no duas from you. We want no thank you from you. We are just doing this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, whoever donated have this intention that this is just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that surah, this is in the last uh, 28 or 29th para, he is subhanallah describing Jannah in detail. Their Jannah will be like this, where they will have, he's describing the, the color of the clothes, he's describing them that you'll be on big couches, and on the couches there will be canopies, and around you there will be, you have cups of, 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 of silver and emerald, and you will have, subhanAllah, uh, you know, servants all around you, and you will have so many servants around you that when you look around them, they will be like scattered pearls, you know, uh, you will have, uh, they will be like, scattered pearls around you. You know, Allah is describing Jannah in so much detail for the one that feeds others. In a different ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about when the people of Jannah will be speaking amongst each other and they will get a chance to speak to the people of Jahannam. And when the people of Jannah will say to the people of Jannah, what made you end up in Jahannam? Fisakar, what made you end up in that hellfire? 
what will the people of Jahannam say? They will say, "Lam nakum min al-musallin." We never used to be from those who used to pray. Wa lam nakum min al-nutaimul miskin, and we never used to feed the poor. Subhanallah, the two things that they came up with and said to the people of Jannah, the reason that we used to chill together in the dunya, you and my friend, we were together, right? I used to see you all the time. We, you know, we used to you know, walk past, we used to live next to each other, we used to live, and, and when we in Jannah and Jahannam, we were speaking to each other, we are going to say, the reason I'm not in Jannah with you is because I never used to pray, and I never used to feed the poor. Subhanallah, look at the, the importance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is placing in this ayah for us to learn and understand that this is the, how important it is for you to be feeding others. Because you know the Quran is perfect. There is not even an extra word in the Quran or there is not a, a missing word in the Quran. It is the perfect amount. Allah didn't add anything extra and He didn't leave anything out. Whatever had to be in there is in there. And everything, every word, every letter has a purpose in there. So when Allah is mentioning these stories of the conversations between Jannah and Jahannam, it's for us to read it and, and to understand, hold on, whoa. So there's people in Jahannam that, subhanAllah, are there because they never used to pray and they never used to feed others. You know, there's a purpose in there. And today, my brothers and sisters, you're getting the chance to feed people, not just anyway. That's sadaqah as well. But what's more important to call people that have food available or to feed people that have absolutely no food available? Mm. You know, is it more important to be feeding the people, alhamdulillah, whose fridges are full of food or those people, subhanAllah, that don't even forget a fridge, they don't have a home left, they don't have nothing left, they are starving to death. They are eating cat and dog food. They are taking the seeds of birds, you know, they feed the birds. They're taking the seeds, oh. they're grinding those seeds to make into a paste and using that paste to make it into a dough to eat the bread. And when they eat the bread, it is so sour that it's impossible to eat, but they have to eat it. Because if they don't eat it, they will starve. This is the condition in, in Gaza. And wallahi, the brothers and the sisters that are donating, you are doing a very great deed. You know, you are, and we pray to Allah, you are the people that in Jannah that are asking the people of Jahannam that, why did you not? You know, because you are the ones that are feeding them. And, and you know, Mulan Sahib, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in the Quran about the people that came in the past, Aad, Thamud, he speaks about the, you know, the Qawm Lut, Qawm Saleh, you know, all of these nations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about, these are people that are from the past, right? We are not including those people, we were not there, we were not those people, we never spoke those languages, we never lived in those homes, and we never did those actions. But my brothers and sisters, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Qiyamah, He speaks about Jannah, He speaks about Jahannam, we are included in those people. We are going to be present there as well. And we have to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, don't make us from those people that are in Jahannam. Na'uz, Allahumma ajirna min al-nar, Allahumma ajirna min al-nar, Allahumma ajirna min al-nar. But just lip service won't work. Actions speak louder than words. Not just in the dunya, but also in, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actions speak louder than words. And word service, you know, lip service is not enough in this situation. We have to spend our wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bashak, we have to spend uh, our wealth in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have to spend right now. Um, I, I, I really want to uh, say a massive, massive uh, jazakumullah to the uh, brother, uh, the donor that gave an entire um, pallet, 5,000 pounds. Or bilok chahiye that can come forward or himmat karke. You know, 5,000 pounds for a full pallet. This up again, donations, log, mashallah, there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless people, your donations there. We have Alhamdulillah Razia Khan who just gave a thousand pounds, donated a thousand pounds for Gaza and Palestine. We had Nadira Seti who's given 250 pounds in, uh, out of a, uh, uh, 250 pounds for Gaza, and then she has given 3,900 pounds for a truck of food supplies to Gaza. An entire truck. Is given towards Alhamdulillah. Then we have Alhamdulillah, uh, you know, Zareenullah who has given 100 pounds towards Palestine. We had Liaqat Tahir Saab who has given 50 pounds towards the appeal. My brothers and sisters, let's not hold back tonight. It is the night of Jum'ah. Mm. It is the night which is more blessed than mm. other nights. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we have the month of Ramadan. So it is Noor ala Noor today. It is light upon light, like Allah says in the Quran. Ooh.